Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm John. I'm Claire. Says, Ted's over there. Says many a true dad. Almost got. I, I regularly missed that one. Do we used to do this for Tabby? Did Tabby get involved in the live stream? Because she didn't really come and sit with us as, as, as yeah, regularly. Yeah, because she didn't really come and Because we were in... There, that's true. No, yeah. we, we, we were here when Tabby was here because she's literally buried outside. Well, I know that, but, like, she wasn't used to spending a lot of time in this office. That's true. That's true. That's definitely true. Because she true. had her, like, little heated mat that's and true. stuff That's true. She had her little places. heated mat. That's true. Well, well the many a true note. And welcome to City Skylines 2. Where today, don't worry, don't worry, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna start this, start this as we mean to go on. I want you to oh know, God. I've been thinking about my city, and I've got a plan. Okay, wait, this is I've I've don't worry everybody, I've got a plan. This is this had this this peak many a true nerd right here. I've got a plan. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be great. I'm gonna fix, but but first, first before I fix the city and make it work, I just want to say. I'm very, very disappointed in all of you. Because I think nobody noticed the thing I did in my city. Even though I left the original city skyline's end card on the back, just as a reminder. Just so hopefully so I don't think I don't think I saw anybody spot what I did with the city. Because there was there was an incredibly sophisticated joke. Berit. In the in the city skylines two video, Claire half got it, but didn't realise why she got it. Uh, she... Uh, Claire edited this at one point eight speed while yeah. you were going to walk the dog in the afternoon, yeah, so that the true. video could come out. That's so I think true. Claire gets a pass. Yeah. So... What did you do aside oh. from making boobs? No, that's it. That's the answer. That's just the boobs. original city I made in City Skylines. By the way, this is this is they just released a patch today that's supposed to be the performance patch. I'll be the judge of that because because uh, we'll, 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 it's it definitely it's it's chugging a bit right now. It's chugging a bit right now. I'll, I'll be the judge okay, of. I definitely noticed that there were boobs before. I literally said that to you. So yes, but you didn't twins. realize why there were boobs. I there just were, thought that that was a reason in itself. There were boobs because the original one-way city I made in that, because I had the, the junction with the two balls and I made it look like this, it looked like a penis and, pe and I, that was unintentional. But you said you deliberately made the city look like a penis because I had the long sticky out residential bit that had like the interacting one-way roads and someone said, John, you deliberately made your city look like a penis, didn't you? And I didn't. But my second city I deliberately made look like a pair of boobs. And nobody, and well, okay, some people may have noticed it looked like boobs, but I'm not sure anybody noticed, or if they did, they didn't say that they realised the reason I did that was because my original City Skyline video, it looked like a dick, so I made the second city look like a pair of boobs. Again, I didn't actually think there was a reason needed <laughs> to make the city look like a pair of boobs, it's just funny. Yeah, there we go. So, okay, let's, let's just very quickly, just as a reminder of how this city works, and, and works as an in inverted commas here. So what we've got is we have got a series of, hang on, if I go into the road system, I think it's it's more obvious right here. Yeah, you can see the road arrows there. So like the, it's it's a series, of, it's it's one way systems. It's a series of loops and it's, it's three, it's, I think it's um either two or three uh lanes and it just goes round and around with intersecting connecting roads. Again, one way and one way up top here. Okay, that's that, that was, that was the plan for city number one. And, and that has caused problems. Because it means, uh, you may notice that there is a motorway that leads into... Oh, this is... Hi, City Skylines. You okay? You okay, honey? It, 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 I noticed it, 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 it stuck a lot when I first started playing it. That it kind of recovered a bit. So I'm not sure... I, I, I'm hoping it's going to get a little bit better over time. You may notice this This is a motorway. <laughs> this is... It keeps keeps going. The motorway... Okay, the motorway is basically... How fun... Hey, hey, John? Yes. Titty Skylines. <laughs> Didn't think of that, but yes, that's <laughs> Thank true. Thank you, Barry Pascal. That so, was yes, very good. The motorway is now basically entirely... Oh, and sorry, Cutie Funny said it first. So I wouldn't rob you, Cutie Funny. The entire highway is, is entirely gridlocked all the way back here. And the reason for that is because, yes, all the traffic has to go onto uh, Glade Street here. And if it wants to get onto any other street, it comes to this massive snarl up right here. This is right by the the, the medical center, actually. 
So if anyone, like, you know, dies or anything, like, of old age in their car, then the situation <laughs> resolves itself like that. And please, please stop trying to cross the... Please, okay, no pedestrians. Please stop getting in the way of all the traffic. Literally all the traffic in the hey, world. Hey, John, if yes. somebody dies of old age in their car... Yes. How does that solve anything? The car doesn't move if there's not a driver. I don't... I'm hoping that's not a thing the game models. I'm hoping anyway, so anyway. Anyway, shout out to Thomas in chat, um, who said, I hate so much how John's design are both very car focused and very anti-car. That's true, actually. Mm -hmm. So, okay, the problem we've got in, in this system is a massive tailback. That then I attempted to improve the design. This is basically an episode of Doctor Who. Then I basically that attempted to improve the design by coming up with, and this one's working better, the spiral. Mm -hmm. The spiral, okay, where we just spiral outwards and it's a one-way system. And I've literally called it Spiral Street, obviously. And it's all one street if you just hover over it. It's literally it's one street. How now, much of it is on fire right now? None of it's on fire currently. There are slight problems with emergency services accessing the outer loop. It, it, they have the, to, I'm sorry, do you mean the burnt-out husk of the outer loop? It will be rebuilt in time. Mm -hmm. And and also, when people die, it takes a long time for the hearses to get here. Yeah. Um, the, the, so there, there are problems. But like... Here was, the, here was the, the bit that blew my mind, by the way. One of the comments pointed out the purpose of the spiral was to create a scenario where there are no junctions because the traffic just drives and drives and drives until it reaches its destination. However, someone pointed out to me, mm -hmm. there is absolutely no reason that has to be a one-way system. If I created yeah. a spiral that was a two-way system, then exactly there's still no junctions, but you could just go both ways. Yeah, but probably you'd have issues with people just turning in the middle of the. That w if they do that, they will be shot. The police have been the <laughs> yeah. police have been given permission to shoot drivers who attempt to do that. Lol. So I'm going to at some point set up like a secondary spiral that's simply a two way system, and we will compare them side to side. Now speaking of comparing things, John. This is a very weak seg, but okay. Well, you don't know what I'm segueing into. Okay, fine. Um. Now, yes. me and the chat uh -oh. have got a plan, much like you, so that's going to be perfect and beautiful and work just like your plan. Okay. Yeah? The plan is we've come up with some other shapes that you can try that are not spirals and Ooh. circles, and then we can compare. Okay, that makes sense, yeah. Uh, so shout out to uh, X Die Kill Die and uh, Cutie Funny. Mm -hmm. uh, it says instead of uh, spirals or circles, John should uh, only build in triangles. They are the strongest shapes after all. Pyramid of strength. I'm going to be honest. I have actually got a, a triangle plan already. I've right. already got a triangle plan. Next up, yeah. uh, Andrew says octagon because there are four cardinal and four subcardinal directions. Okay, interesting. Yeah, I can see the sense in that. Camellia uh, suggested one of those Renaissance star-shaped city. Interesting. But, of course, the best suggestion of all, and the one I'm throwing my might behind, um, is from Bob Space and Shitbeard, who uh, said, obviously, hexagons, because they're the best Yeah. Yeah. And uh, with all the corners of the hexagon connecting to a giant roundabout in the center, it will be peak efficiency, because it will be the shortest route to each new area. Public services are all in the middle. Well, that's actually vaguely what I was thinking. I was thinking of a system where we absolutely hyper districtize like everything like there's the you live here bit the you work here bit the smelly makes industry noise bit the office bit the things in the middle and then we simply have a series of interlocking raised highways so there's always a straight one-way system linking mm -hmm. everything to everything else directly so the small like districts can like have uh, the small roads but like you'll always be able to just get on the over the overarching highway which just go over the top of the um the central services that will flow outwards appropriately and it means that when there's residential only services that just need for houses we can centralize those in the residential zone mm -hmm. the problem with my mixed hybridized system where there is a blend of uh, you know housing and, and, you know, uh, businesses, as it means there's a huge amount of business space that's on roads that would be serviced by, say, uh, b -b 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 that would be serviced by uh, healthcare, and businesses don't need healthcare, uh, or at least, like, they don't for the sake of this game. Um, 
So yes, there's there's all sorts of weird bits and pieces going on in that regard. Though, I'm not sure, why why is this area not happy? There's lo the, the platform I've got is so many oh. businesses are like saying. Shall I count the ways? Well, they're all saying I don't have enough customers. Which I guess, like... They're stuck in the gridlock. It's quite possibly true. But okay, what we've got to do first is we've got to alleviate the massive gridlock. And I know precisely how we're going to do this. Because the problem is, all this traffic can't cocky get anywhere. So what we're going to do, if I'm even allowed to, to, to do this, because I'm not 100% sure if I'm allowed to do this, is if I'm allowed to build off the, the highway, I'm going to create a series of, like, spur roads so that traffic that wants to get into the spiral and doesn't want to go into Circle City at all can just get straight into the spiral. So that's that's kind of like operation. Do they currently have to go into Circle City in order to get to the spiral? Yes. If okay. If, oh, that's if, terrible. If someone's coming along the motorway, oh, they that's want. So bad. Okay. Let Let's say. Okay. No. 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 Let, no. 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 Shut up. Let me walk you through this. Let's say someone's coming into city right here. Pay Pay, pay attention, Claire. Pay attention. Mm -hmm. Someone's coming to the city here, and they need to get to this factory up here. Mm -hmm. Okay. So what they need to do is they go in here, right, and then they go round here. And then they go out to here, and then they go round to here, and then I think they go out to... No, then they go... Okay, they, they go in here, out, round, up, round, out, in, and then around, and around, and around, and, uh, and we've made it. Oh, so it, that's why they all go down. It only takes several weeks. Yes, the fire department is over here. So they also need to go boop, 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 woo, 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 woo. That's why it all burns down, yes. That's why it burns down. Turn off the oh, app. Apparently not enough customers is a known bug that will be patched soon. Oh, good. Okay, so my city's perfect. Basically, my city's perfect. It's the game that's wrong. I'm glad yeah. to hear it's the game that's wrong. <laughs> Um, that's good. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to build a series of oh, nice, simple skin. roads that basically just spit off uh, here. And then we're just going to go... How, how up is this, by the way? I think this is up to here. And then I think it's I think it's 20 is, is this. And then if we just put that to... Uh, is this 20 up here? Is that all that? That's merging. Or is that is that too high? Hang on. The main, I'm only to bring you over to here yeah that's fine okay so now a whole any traffic that comes along here that wants to go into the spiral can simply join up to the spiral here and enter the, the spiral central spine okay now what we need to do is we need to create a handful of additional roads and i'll admit this one's going to be a Slightly trickier to arrange um due to the level of th 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 there are a few roads around here already and we can't interfere with these ones because these are the intersecting circle roads. So what we've got to do is we've got to provide flyovers that will allow the traffic to immediately enter the circle of its choosing. So I think like the best way to do that would potentially be... Yeah, if I could just... Okay. If I just have a <laughs> thing off, off about like... Uh, are you explaining it as making this so much worse? No, no, it's fine. C Claire, please stage an intervention. The, okay. The you see, when Spiff made a city with a 19 hour commute, he did it on purpose. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, no. Stop trying to build Epcot. I just need to have a couple of flyovers that let oh, everyone God. access. Oh, hang on. No, 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 no. I think I think I see the solution. Oh yeah. yeah I think I see do. the solution. The problem is all these cars on a here and everywhere end up on this one road right here. Mm, that's one of the problems. Yeah. So what I've got to do is I've got to provide basically just a boop and then a boop. All right. Oh, is that the technical name? Yes, that's the technical name. Oh, so that there is a way for the cars to leave this area. Now this may admittedly cause certain problems for a bunch of other people, but we'll kind of we'll deal with that as we come to it. Okay. I don't know. They live in Spiral City. They used to have. No, these people don't live in Spiral City. These people don't live in Spiral City. These people. No, fine. they live in Circle City. Exactly, it's better. And this business says it doesn't have enough customers anyway. So fuck this. This business is about to get demolished. Um, you know, because it, it just is. So we're just going to. Yeah, I'm so sorry. I'm really sorry about this. So we just have. have... Shout out to I am from the year 2041, who says uh, John is the kind of guy to eat pizza with a knife and fork. That's not true. Except when it's calzone. 
Mm -hmm. Okay, we're just going to bring this round over to... You're just going to ignore that, are you? Yes, I am. <laughs> okay. We're just going to... I appreciate we're about to knock down a few businesses. Some businesses are about to get knocked down. Oh! -ho! I think we can actually avoid it. I think we can just make it go over the top of them, actually. I go. didn't know John was on the HS2 planning board. <laughs> get rid of that one. That didn't oh, work. Oh, Vibab, that was savage. I loved it. Everything's fine. Uh, okay. All we need to do is have a series of... Okay, just, just have you loop around here. And if I just get the, the angles right here, then this will actually all work out fine. So now just have you to here. And then round two... You're at ten, right? And then this two... <laughs> Here. No, this is working. This is working. Right, oh, right. I'm not laughing. Well, I'm laughing at you, but not because of this. Okay, here we go. This into here, yeah, and I've not knocked down any roads. So now the traffic can get off here and get immediately into this second oh. spiral. But what if it wants to go into the third spiral? That's fine. There'll be there'll be signs to help people navigate this. Don't worry about that. Um, so what we need to do is just move this to here. And Ooh, there that's still not... That's still the other... Yeah, you but, need to go under, don't you? Uh, I think it needs to. I think if I think this is at twenty and the the ground's at zero, so maybe if we could just kind of. I think we can make it. Well, we might need to go up a little bit. We might we might need to go up a little bit. Might just go up a little bit here. You go up, up to here. twenty. And then we need then we need to go up to thirty. All right, so this is getting a little bit expensive right now, but it's fine. So then it just goes over the top. Okay, and then it just goes over to... Where do you want it to go? Down, it needs to merge into here. So if it um... goes down to 20, and then this is... Oh no, but then if it goes if it goes into... No, it, it doesn't need to go here, because that, that's the, that goes off to Spiral City. And if they wanted Spiral City, they could have just taken... Uh, this road. Yeah, the new one. So they don't, they don't need that. So if they're, if they're missing the, the, the exchange out spiral city, that's fine. Because that's just past there. So then we just need to put that to here. And I fixed it. That will now work. This system will now work beautifully. Because now they can get everywhere. But I'm not done yet, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, because what we need to do now <laughs> is provide a way for the lorries to get directly to the to where they want to go. So all we need to do is have the entrance to the city here, which I think is, yeah, this this would work. So have uh, this over in this direction. Yeah, have have this over here. So just have have one little spur off in this direction, right? Okay, this is fine. Just round, round the corner. You can just follow around the back. And as long as we're not actually stamping on anyone's, like, house with the pillars, then nothing gets demolished. So we'll put that to there, right, and now there's going to be this spur, and we're just going to have this loop round over here, and we're just going to make it feed into the, uh, in, into the industrial loop over here, so that in the event that lorries need to get to the industrial sector, they can just do it, and it's going to be really easy for them. So if we just have this... Uh, like, perfect oh. Halloween city, it's entirely spooky. <laughs> Looking at this gives me anxiety. Look, we're gonna. We're... John's idea of fixing things is not the same as mine. Fixed it, he says. I did fix it. I'm fixing it right now. What do you think I'm doing? And then to here. I remember, I'm remembering the freeways video. There we go. Okay, so we've now got. Oh, hang on. Did that just? Oh no, 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 no! Mistake, 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 you... mistake. We we created an intersection. We created, no. a, we created a small intersection. That's unacceptable. Oh, we can't have that. No, absolutely not. No, that would be no. That would be mm -hmm. wrong. Uh, so we just need to go. That would be cram. Over the top of that, so just twenty. Okay, there. And then just over the top here. Okay, and then down to this. Okay, and slope slope a bit too slick. Okay, we might need to might need to demolish a few more. A few more buildings need to be demolished. There we go. That that few buildings might be demolished as a result. But now, okay, now what we've got <laughs> <laughs> Okay, you may sneer. But in mere moments, this is... Okay, I'm going to start time working again. And you may laugh now, and it may look a tiny bit untidy. Uh -huh. However, it's about to work. Okay, you just you just watch. Look, look how, look, how the, look how that truck just went there. Look how these guys are going there. Look how all this traffic is now going to go. Because these guys... Like, I know it, it will be a nightmare to navigate, actually. But, like, traffic in this game is quite clever. It knows which way it's going to go. It just maps itself automatically. Oh, dear. Looks to me like it's actually working.
Looks to me like it's working. There's been a small traffic accident. <laughs> That, oh, was game, that, game, was that was unrelated. That was great unrelated. Timing. That was unrelated. Well that was, done, that was unrelated. Game. That was unrelated. Oh, beautiful. Looks like a good in not to me. Every, no, it's look, it's working. Uh, it's working. Tom it's, Thomas it's, it's says, working. Thomas says, um, <laughs> Thomas says, as a Dutchman, I weep for any cyclists in this hell city. I don't think they model bikes do they i've not seen any um but it looks to me like yeah john just create abstract heart uh excuse uh, me we you notice how the complete flipping the complete flipping nightmare on the road is apparently oh, that was a bike no yeah, or a motorcycle a motorcycle it's a motor yeah it's a motorcycle all right transporting somebody right now a private vehicle driven by devon hamilton you can actually see where he lives and shit like that's very cool i like how everything was thing is models and yeah like all of a sudden the frame rates recovered it seems to stutter when you first load the game and i don't know why but it seems to be doing better now and oh my goodness look at that i fixed it look how i fixed everything look how it all just cocky works just works aside from why are you guys still struggling do you guys, by any chance, need any extra links? You know what? I could do that. What what height are you guys at? Are you guys at? You're not at zero. You guys are. A, are you guys at that ten? That looks like a ten. That's like a ten. If I just provide them with a small offshoot that leads out to Spiral City, then people coming from this direction, yeah, coming from this angle, can get over to Spiral City. Though it looks like they've only got one one thing right now, so there's no point giving them more than one. So. Are you guys actually 20? I don't know whether you guys are 20. If I go over to here. No, no, you're not at 20. Are you guys at 20? No, you're not. And no overlapping. Okay, that would that would that would destroy the highway underneath it. I need to find it. Okay, you guys come over here and then into here. Yeah, there we go. That's a oh, that's nice. That that's a proper actual merging lane, which is what I've been wanting all this time, but the game keeps generating these cocking intersections as opposed to merging lanes. So, okay, now, anyone who wants to can go via this street off to... Yeah, they, they can head off round to Spiral City, which is good. And Spiral City will never... It's got a small amount of traffic, but honestly, it's really not that bad. It's, it's not that bad at all. So... You know, well, I mean, it, wasn't it, looks as... like the, it looks like the traffic has just stopped for no reason. It looks like they're not... It looks like that. I think, well, it's it's like, it's, well, yeah. you don't drive, so you, you've never observed this, but when there are, this is an actual observable fact on motorways, which is when there's a crunch on a motorway and it comes to a gridlock, even if you completely clear mm, yeah. out the cause of it, it takes, it very slowly works its way out because, you know, people don't all start accelerating simultaneously. Sure. One other person has to go, and the next Fair. person has to go, and the next person has to go. So, like, it takes a while for a crunch on a motorway to resolve itself. And, like, we're seeing that right now because everyone's now moving, trying to move into the correct lane and whatnot. And in particular, there's a whole bunch of lorries and stuff. And they, when a lorry changes lane, it completely messes up lanes. So, everything is actually fine. It's all sort of working with the exception of these guys. Why are you really struggling is it because there's i don't know where you go it's, there's only one lane i think they keep getting cut off i mean i think that's true uh you know what we could in theory have if we're just willing to demolish the odd house or two if we could just have an extra spur like from here to here which would also just help with a little bit i mean it's only we it just it just be a single lane it can just be a single lane so if we just put that down we're just i'm just providing additional additional ways for people to like, you know, get where they need to go. And the, the, your your house gets demolished. Sorry. Um, that's, that's, that's just, that's just a thing, actually. Uh, yeah, your house gets demolished. Sorry. I mean, we might be able to, no, no, no. Your house just goes. Sorry about that. Uh, and then you go into there. Right, there we go. You can build new houses. Here, you, you can, you can now build new houses if that's what you want. Congratulations. I bet people are, th people will be thrilled to build houses around here just just watch they're going to be fine there we go people want to build houses there right away so that's just going to take the stress off this area if people want to get onto that particular loop and aside from the fact it's going to take a bit of time for this to all clear out at this point for the most part i'd oh 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 claire yeah okay so what we've what'd you do 
what we've done is we've slightly just moved. Okay, this, I, know, I know it looks like I've just made the situation worse because now there are crushes going in two directions, not one. But like, I thought there already were, but sure. I think it's because they keep getting cut off by the people merging in from like Chester or Why whatever. Why are you guys not just... Is it cocky pedestrians? Are, are you the problem? Rachel! God damn it, Rachel Paxton. God damn it, oh, Rachel. I mean, I think it might just be... Did yeah. Rachel just fuck up the entire transport infrastructure of this city? Because I feel like that was on Rachel right there. Why are there pedestrians? Why are you there? There's dogs. This person's taking Cappy and... They've got names! Cappy and dog. Are you a witty? You... Oh my goodness, people agitate their dogs out for walks. Yeah, you shouldn't be taking your dog for a walk on the freaking intersection of the highway. That's true. Give them don't. better road for walking their dogs. John, do it for the puppies. That's... Make a better city for the puppies. Well, now you know how to you know you know you know how to speak to me. Okay, what we I mean to... it has been fifteen years, John. Okay, so you know how this works really well over here. Mm -hmm. What we need to do is basically the same thing over here. What we need to do is okay. So what we did was we provided spur lanes so that people could get from Spiral Street oh. back onto the Central Spine. If, however, <laughs> I was to create inverted ones where people could get from the main entry spines down onto the different no shut up this works down onto the different spines all we're knocking down is a couple of like you know tiny little homes here like it's really fine and then people will be able to get i mean look at this look how much capacity there is on the edge of spiral street versus the middle like this this arguably is the prop okay we're, i'm seeing we're seeing the limitations of the spiral here which is a lot of people are simply going round a ro route they don't really need to go round because because yeah, they I have wonder, no choice but to do so. I, I, I wonder who designed the city with that particular purpose in mind. In the event that anyway. we simply create more lanes that lead to the different spines, then we will be able to resolve this problem nice and easy. So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to I'm going to do this. Okay, so I'm all I'm going all we're going to do is yeah, you you're just, you must just be a ten, right? Yeah, you're just a ten or something. Just round over to here, right? And over to here. And then we're just going to work okay, we're just gonna have number one. It's just gonna very gently go down in this direction. Okay, and then it's just gonna go down to about here-ish. Uh might need to demolish a couple of buildings, but I'm sure that's fine. Right, so that's now a huge amount of traffic that can just go down onto that particular thing. So that's all absolutely fine. No one's usually utilizing it right now because the whole the whole system is is gridlocked. But like, as soon as it get, people figure it out that that's a thing they can do, then that will be what they start doing, and it's going to be beautiful. And in addition, we just need to create matching systems. We're, gonna, we're just gonna have to demolish a few houses here. We're gonna have to demolish just a few a handful of houses, a handful of houses. Okay, so yeah, we're just gonna have to like you know make say from here just 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 down. Just straight down to to here-ish. Yeah, this is fine. And we've just demolished a few houses. I, I, I appreciate we've just demolished a few houses. And then, like, you know, one from, like, here down to here. Okay, that's... There we go. That's fine. Just another, more houses. A few houses are going to be demolished. We don't need that here, though. Because, you know, that, that, these guys don't go for the longest journey anyway. So now people can start, like, traveling on those, on those routes right there which is going to be absolutely fine but like if we can take some stress off this main area like seriously what why are you guys not go just go just go is is it traffic lights are you waiting for yes they're just waiting for the traffic lights to go come on come on city skylines you can do it you can do it city skylines you can do it you can do it oh this is the new performance patch by the way there we go. That's that. We, 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 we're getting there. We're getting there. Sometimes the game forgets to, like, draw. Every Sometimes the game just redraws everything, and it all is very peculiar. Performance is work in progress, clearly. Now, why are you guys not taking... It's green. Just, just, just go. Go. Take, take the other, take the other junction. Take, take, take the sensible route. 
Choose life. I'm asking, I'm begging you. Okay, just, just, okay. just a two. Starting from a ten. We'll, we'll give them more options. We'll give them, we'll give them more options here. All right, we're just going to give them a few more options. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Then, then we just bring it down. Bring it down right over here. That's. There we go. A couple of buildings get a bit demolished, but that's fine. That is. Look, look how you can get down to two entire loops from a here. Why aren't you? What on the plus? Oh, look, Claire, Claire, look. We we oh, complete yeah. we completely cleared this, and now I'm just doing this over here. So all we need to do is, so logically, once I've done that, traffic will just work. Yeah. That that will just work. Uh, apparently, by the way, you can also go into the tools and remove pedestrian crossings and, and uh, red lights from on the motorway if you want to stop Rachel from, you know. I just don't understand why these people are just... I think they're at a red light, John. Well, this is just, that's just not helpful. That's just not helpful in the slightest. Now, admittedly, I've built a lot of... Some people built their houses, and then I built roads over the top of their houses, which I feel like I might have impacted the property values in some capacity. <laughs> but, like, it's, it's you know... That's the price of traffic, not murdering everybody. That's, that's, that's the price we all pay. Okay? That's, that's what we do. And also a build... Oh, no, where, where's the building on fire? Where, where is aforementioned building that's on fire? Because that, that makes a huge difference as to where it is. I think it's on is. the outer circle of... Uh... Oh, fuck. That's the, that's the one place you don't want to be off. Okay, good luck. Uh, <laughs> don't pay attention to that. We, 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 it's, it, there's, there's nothing we can do. There's nothing... Actually, you know what? There is... The, 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 we should be able to get... Oh, 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 Claire. Uh, this... John, they are trying to turn right, and there is no room on the far side of the intersection, said somebody. Oh, but where are the people who just want to go left? Why why aren't you just going to go along this road to this completely empty bit of road? Just use the completely empty bit of road. Go on. Go on, guys. Go on. I, I believe in you. Use the completely empty bit of road. Why is nobody using this completely empty bit of road? Why? Why are you doing this to me? This... It worked over here! I mean, look at this! It worked! The system works! So why isn't it working here? Guys. Guys, 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 guys. What is this? Do we need to provide you with additional options for... Okay, if... Two lane versus three lane. Okay. No, no, no. I, I, I can see this. As this clearly, this situation is nowhere near as bad. We will simply provide an option for these people to jump ship. We will add additional fun options. They're so taking the shortest path, apparently. But surely they should take the time, the path that takes the least amount of time. There we go. Some people have figured out that's the right option. Right there, which is good. That's really good. And then, for those people who are here, if I was to simply... <laughs> nice. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. Um, I feel like in many ways your house yeah. building project is causing problems for our road infrastructure. Straight through the crowd. Straight through. Straight through uh, the crowd. John, you should remove the zebra crossings. Is what people are saying. How'd you do said thing? Go. Uh, apparently, you can go into the um, settings and such, this... or into like the the planning. Mm. You're just making up words now. Oh, it's working! Look. Okay. Now the traffic's cleared enough. They figured out what the correct route is. Okay. So this is now going to clear a bit. Because now there's plenty of now there's plenty of options, and now all we need to do. Well, yeah, but have a look at it. No, no, it's, it, no, no. It, I, I've got I've got a better plan. Oh. All we need to do is just have you here, oh. and then we'll just bring you straight down to here. We'll, we'll be demolishing a few houses. That's true. Yeah, well. That's that's fine. And that we will always just, are doing that. And that will provide more people the option to get off the central. Oh, spine. okay. So if you use the road tool. The road tool. Roll yeah. menu, road menu, then the tab with the spanner.
I haven't unlocked that yet. Advanced roads, but I've got plenty of points. Okay, roads. Advanced road services. Unlock. Yeah, brilliant. Parking, intersections, Grand Bridge, automated. Ooh, highways. Large roads. I like roads. Roads are good. Highways as well. Yeah, that's pretty sexy. I can't believe you haven't even unlocked roundabout. There we go. Intersections. Yeah. Ridiculous. We'll save up for the ridiculously unnecessarily giant bridge. Okay. So now I have got the ability to have no left turn, no straight, no right turn, crosswalk, wider than normal, street lights, sound barrier, trees. But I think now if you go to a street light, if you go to a pedestrian crossing, can't click on that. To... I cannot click okay. on that. Uh If I turn this off. Clicking on that doesn't in doesn't get rid of the traffic lights that are already there. Mm. Uh so I don't know. I'm not sure how to turn it off. But you know what? Okay, Claire, look at this. Yeah. The the traffic jam that was here is starting to clear. Ah, to turn lights or signs off, right click with that tool selected. Ah, okay. So now I've got rid of that. So like, say if you get rid of that, if you get rid of those crossings, now everyone can just go if they feel like if they're just well, feeling brave. But there's still a pedestrian crossing. That's true. But if I get rid of, they're not selected right now. I just deleted something, but I'm not 100 percent sure what it was. Well, clearly a traffic light because that's what you had selected. Right, traffic. Okay, everyone, it's a cocking free for all. All right, survival of the cocking uh, fittest. Let's go. Not going to cause no an issue. No more traffic lights anywhere. All right, everyone just gets to go if you can go. If you can go, then have fun. Yeah, now do crosswalks. There we go. Now everyone just basically goes and... If you do crosswalks, Rachel won't go on the fucking motorway. Oh, okay. Well, I can see how that's beneficial. Yeah, fuck you, Rachel. All right, get rid of... People do not need to cross this road. This is not the right Yeah, this is of... not a people road. This is not a people road, no. All right, so we've got rid of all that. I mean, we don't have people roads at all. Okay, now, but, yeah. okay. So that's going to sort that out. Oh, there's more pedestrian crossings still. Yeah, but that's that's not really the biggest problem here, really, is it? I mean, partly the problem is that you have, like, three roads merging into one. It's, it's... Yeah, it is three, fine. This, <laughs> this one doesn't do any... This one doesn't do much. This, this one's kind of fine. I mean, it is already <laughs> much better since you have deleted the... What are you guys even waiting for? I don't know if there's if they're catching up. Well, parent, are they being robbed? Is the van being robbed? What? No, I think these I don't people... know, there's just a guy running and taking his chances. I think yeah, the, the, if people would try, have to try and cross the road, and there's no crossing. They just give it a go. I I think maybe he's not leaving until the exit of his intersection is clear, possibly. Oh, like actually obeying. But, the... I mean, we've cleared we've cleared this. We've cleared this. I have cleared the traffic backlog. The traffic backlog is now clear. <laughs> now, what I'm also going to do is I'm going to take the exit road from the outer ring and I'm going to turn it into a two-way system. <laughs> uh, I know. I know. Whew. You know, I can't. I just can't. <laughs> I can't do it. I can't do it. But I, what I am going to do is I'm going to introduce a new second one-way system I love that you. sits adjacent to the one-way. Like, it's still a one-way system if this is a one-way road, and then there's a different one-way so road what going you're the saying other way. Is, what you're saying is, like a motorway where it's just got a, um, it's just got like a shoulder in the middle. Exactly. That's better, isn't it? It doesn't... Yes, I'll, I'll be your PR department. Straight through here. And then straight to here. Oh, and then straight dear. to here. So there is now a way to access from the outer ring of Circle City. They can actually get via this road to here. And by the way... What's it called? 
Briarwood Street. Wow. Just gets automatically named. What an innovation. I thought that was a giant cow there for a second, but no, it's, <laughs> no, it's, 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 it's a logging machine. I thought, Jesus Christ, there's a giant mammoth. We've got to stop it. Okay. Oh my God. So while we've been doing that, time is like everyone has basically acknowledged because the situation with the traffic is now much better. Everyone now wants to live in this city. Mm -hmm. So here's what we're going to do. God. Now that I've fixed everything. <laughs> yeah. No, shut up. Now that I've fixed everything. Not saying anything. What we're going to do is we are going to introduce a brand new mega area up here. Okay, and this what on earth is this doing here? How long have you been there and not doing anything? Why is there just a road here? Is is that a is that a two-way road? I think it might be. That's just a What's it called? It technically is like a feeder road into the town, but no one seems to be using it. It just it just like introduces traffic into the town. It go it goes to Wellston, which oh, doesn't yes. exist, but whatever. Um, and it's just sort of coming into this town. But I guess if I connect, I, I hook it into the road network, maybe someone will use it. Heather Highway. All right. I mean, sure. I guess just like you know, I, I'm sorry to these businesses. I'm really sorry about this, but like we're just hooking you in. There we go. I I don't really know. Maybe someone will start coming in to sub via Summit Street now that that's here. Who bloody knows? But yes, what I want to do is I want to set up a brand new system over here. And what I want it to be is I would like it to be basically a, a, a cross. I'd like it to be like a cross system, an X, okay? Because uh, what we can do is... Well, actually, you know what? Because Shout out to QT Funny who says, John, you're going to turn it into a penis again, won't you? Only by accident. That time it wasn't planned. But yes, if I were to create a large system like this, I would be creating a giant dick and balls. That's correct. But that's not actually the plan. It's not actually the plan. Oh, there is actually a lot of forest down here. We could create a really big, a really big source of, we could create a really big kind of uh, wood infrastructure in this bit of the world. Like, surely this has got to be, yeah, we could do a whole bunch of, a whole bunch of that down here. That'd be kind of cool, because I'm pretty sure the... Uh, hang on, go over to the... No, no, the city's finances. Uh, production. We are actually making... We are actually making a... Yeah, we're making a surplus of wood right now, which is kind of exciting. Now, presumably, therefore, we are, like, making money. Hang on, check the actual... The overall uh, budget situation. Service trade, service fees. How are we not making any money from... Surplus from city, no, surplus from city services. Well, then why, where does the, where does the money that goes from a surplus here go? Because it's clearly export. It's clearly being exported, yeah, income related to running city services. We're not, we don't care about services. I'm, I'm not talking about services, I'm looking at production right now. So, material goods, wood, 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 wood. We're also making, apparently we're, we're making a surplus of concrete. Which is impressive. I mean, maybe that's just the business that exports it is making money. Like, presumably. So, yeah, that was like, uh, buh, 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 was it you? Yes. You're, yeah, you're running at 102% efficiency. So that's nice. You're, you're, you're doing well. You're up to level two. Admittedly, the people next door probably don't care. Uh, are desperately thrilled about, yes, a high noise pollution. But what can you do, eh? But yes, what I've kind of got in mind is, okay. Like, the two, the biggest things we need, more than anything right now, is a secondary system. Actually, you know what, let's just check the, let's just check the, the key things here. Oh, we're getting close to needing more power as well. That's fine. Uh, how are we doing on water? Water we could probably do with more coming up t soon too. But that's fine, there's plenty more water we can pump out of the water reservoir down here. So that's not, we don't need to worry about that. Okay, what I'm thinking is, we need a giant residential area. In the center of the residential area, that's where we can put the residential servicing services, like healthcare and education, which will therefore stretch to everything. And this, this is not going to be a one-way system. Wait, sorry, sorry, what? Not paying attention. She, she's just on Amazon right now. She's on Amazon <laughs> looking Look, up, looking lying. up, looking at amusingly shaped duck toys. And some of them are quite loot. All right, I have follow-up <laughs> questions. Um... <laughs> 
What, what, what? Sorry, I was just looking at people's super chats. I have a giant amount. We have, we're going to have a huge amount of residential space, right? Yeah. And we're going to have a huge amount of uh, space for industry. Mm -hmm. And also, while we're looking at that, let's just have a look-see. In this brave area that we're about to set up here, let's see what you guys can produce. So there's no real capability. There's a tiny bit of, like, farming space here-ish. Okay, okay, this space here where there's no trees. There's potential for some uh, for some uh, farming, mm -hmm. which is kind of nice. We could do a bit of farming there. We could get some chickens. Chickies. Yeah, chickens. Like, fertile ground is happy for chickens. Also for grain. Also for vegetables. Also for textiles. Uh, trees, obviously, just need giant piles of trees. Uh, stone up in the McJibble. Coal, same basic deal. Um, and the others we have not unlocked yet. We need to get bigger and bigger before we can do that. So, okay. Let's say we have a world in theory where we're going to have a, a big industrial estate over here. A bit of farming and whatnot down over here. And a giant part of residential over here. And the residential can be set up in such a way as it all, like, permeates off. Like, I'd need some sort of shape where there was, like, space in the middle... For all the services that are oh, circles. Like some form of concentric circle would actually be Sean. idea. Okay, hear Hexagon. me out. Hexagon. No. Hexagon. Hear me out Hexagon. here. Hexagon. Teddy, he come on. Hexagon. Hear me out here. I've actually got... I'm, I'm going to refine the circle plan. Uh -huh. I'm going to refine it. I'm going to refine it. Okay. It's it's not going to be a one-way circle. <gasps> spider web, because it's spooky season. Spider web. It's gonna, it might end up looking a bit like a spider web. Ah, uh, yes. come on. In theory, like how many... What shape is a spider web? Does it form like a heptagon or a hexagon? Or is it, does it just does it vary depending on the spider and the size of the web? I think it's... Uh, it is, 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 yes. Yes. I think it varies, but yeah. Okay, so all I think a hexagon with yeah. some like uh, with some like star-shaped points will end up looking very nicely like a spider web. Nope, that seems suits fair. The, the spooky scene. So okay, 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 okay. Two lanes? No, that's not good enough. What we need is uh, for the overarching structure, four lanes. So yeah, with a divider in the middle, so two and two. Yeah, so that's kind of. So like if we a have like system. a hexagon there, and then we have a wider hexagon, and on each point it it, it goes outwards, mm -hmm. and then like there could be a load of much smaller roads like going in from the center, and in the center, and going outwards from there. So okay, this 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 all works. This theoretically works. So this is going to be a two-way system, mm -hmm. and we can just uh, and it will indeed be a hexagon. Hexagon can indeed be bestagon. So that's all that's. So you fine. can have a big roundabout in the middle. Well, it's a hexagon roundabout functionally. Yes. Yes, functionally, really. So uh, if it's about three, if we make it up three hundred ish, mm -hmm. like we don't need to be precise or anything. Three hundred ish, three hundred ish. I'm not. I'm, oh, I'm, you can you can choose your angle. You can choose the angle if you want it to be precise. But I like my city's having a bit of like you know. Like a bit of like yeah. artisanal, like you know, randomness to them. I, I find that quite pleasing. Sure. So like you know, it's it's roughly a hexagon. Yeah. And then up to here. So yeah, now what we've got ourselves is we've got ourselves a hexagon right there, and that's plenty of space there for like you know all sorts of bits and pieces. In fact, looking at that, we could I think we could have a smaller hexagon. Yeah. In the centre, I would say. So we could definitely have like a little bit of that there and whatnot. So now we can just basically follow. Yeah, this this that like, the blue outline is where the zoning will be. Nice. And then we can just basically do the same thing, the same thing, the same thing, the same thing, the same thing. And then all we do is we have like on the inter in the intersection, we simply have one going out, and we simply have and we just do that on every corner. And then that's a spider web. And that's kind of a spider web. Which works for spooky season. And it's a two-way system. So it, it all it all is going to work. I think it's going to work really well. I think it's going to work better. Well, than, yes, than but what... I was trying to be polite. Wow, rude. I love and you. then we just keep that moving outwards. That's so pretty. And then that's and then we simply can have services like in a situation where it just goes out. So if I just keep doing that out a little bit now, 
And then, yeah, broadly, we've got so much demand for housing. We can just, like, you know, we can just keep expanding as it needs to be expanded. So, yeah, I can literally use this. I can literally just use the outwards in order to vaguely kind of figure out where the the next McJibble should be. And then we can just basically go go like that. It'll all, it'll all broadly fit together. Clap. Over to you while I just draw this out a couple of layers. Yes, indeed. Shout out to the book 778 who gave us five pounds and says, Hey, John and Claire, it's been a really tough day. So thank you for this. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that book 778. I hope tomorrow's better. Yes, indeed. And hopefully the fact that we're now going for hexagons rather than uh, concentric circles also help. It's very similar to a circle in a way. It's a bit more pointing. Yeah, it's also two way. Uh, shout out to Gary, who's been a member for 21 months and says spirals are not the answer. Spiral is completely the answer. A two way spiral is absolutely 100% the answer. Uh, yes, indeed. Uh, let's see. Florence has been a member for 39 months. And says, I believe in you, John. Today is the day everything works. I believe they're right, um, yes. Hugs to Ted and Claire. Thank oh, you very much Ted. indeed. Okay. He's a very good boy. Now, what I think we should also do mm -hmm. is have the ability for people to very easily, <clears throat> excuse me, leave both spur Circle and Spiral City in order to get to the new environment. So we need to have a, a nice, smooth, easy roadway that leads out that gets them there so the logical way to do that would be to use the central spine and then just basically have a road that just goes straight there and then i think a road that branches so that it goes simultaneously to say one side and the other and then the same thing from circle city over here but going to a different branch the traffic is not delivered into the same area and if it's delivered into the center and then we expand outwards, that doesn't really matter so much. So what I'm thinking is, and we're going to have to be careful we don't, like, you know, accidentally knock down any buildings or whatnot. But uh, what's, the, what's the biggest system that we've got access to here? Uh, that is a six-lane divided road. Oof. That's, 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 that's a bit on the expensive. Actually, it's barely more expensive than the four-lane divided road. Fuck it, six lanes, let's go. So we're just going to have, from, like, here... The edge of this sector, we're just going to have you coming out to here. And we're just going to have... Well, this This can be nice and curvy. This can be nice and curvy. Just have it curving around here. We just need to knock down as few houses as possible while we're doing this. Just have it looping around to, to here. To try, try not to hit the try not to hit the, the big buildings that we're, that we're slightly... Okay, that's good. That's good. Try If we can avoid, if we can avoid knocking down businesses... Then that's great. The ones highlighted in yellow are the ones that are going to die horribly. That's only one. That's fine. Uh, and then we just have you going out in this direction. That's... That's, that's, that's like one. Oh, 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 oh. Is there a spot here that wasn't anybody dead? There. Yes. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Now just have this go out to here. No, no. Here. Have it curl a bit. Have it curl around a little bit. Just that's only one. That's one. Okay, now now we're in open space. Now we're in open space. Now we're in open space. And uh, what I'm thinking now is we divide it in two. So it just kind of goes around to, to here. This is all absolutely fine. Just kind of, you know, have it. Yeah, but are we keeping it a six line? Not all the way round because of the genius movement, the genius thing I'm about to do, which is I'm going to now split it into uh, two fours. Yeah. One of which, and they're going to go to opposite sides of the hexagon. Mm. Okay. That's this is this is the genius moment. This this is the genius idea I've got right here. Now, admittedly, there's I, I have questions about how precisely this is going to. To, to, to work in a way. Uh, there are there are questions as to... No, no, not like, not like that. And then if I have another one to, to, to here, and then... Um, I mean, I think that makes sense. So apparently, yes. this is just a road and not a highway, and a highway is a different, like, type in the road builder? Well, yes, but my city's not big enough to need, like, proper, sophisticated, higher more ways, are they? I think that's absolutely fine. So this is... I, I, I'm okay. I'm, I'm broadly okay with that. I'm, I, I'm okay with this system. This is, this is a good system. This is a good system. So now we're just going to have you all the way around here, 
can just have you kind of like, you know, just gently, you know, just gently just circling around. Super nice, super nice, super nice. And now we just bring you down and around and straight into here. And that's going to be into that. And we're going to do the same thing over to the opposite parallel point over to here. And this is just going to be, it's going to be beautiful. It's going to be beautiful, Claire. I don't know why you're even questioning me right now. I'm, I, I don't know what I've done to upset you this much. It's, it's very upsetting that you don't trust me. Uh, and then down to here. And then down. And just loop her around. Um, I'm at least very glad that you are now using curves. I was always using... Claire! I'm going to be honest, I was using curves already. In fact, I was using nothing but curves. Well, yeah, but sometimes when you were putting the uh, the road down, you weren't using the curve tool. Sometimes I misclicked and I couldn't be bothered cute. to fix it. That's different. <clears throat> okay, and now what we do, now the system is like, you know, running very nicely and whatnot, is now we have a similar system coming off the third ring over here. And it's going to do the same basic thing, but to a different opposite ends of the hexagon to feed more stuff into it okay so people who want to go here they can easily get there because there are now so many different ways they can loop around to the outer ring and the outer ring's got like barely in traffic on it so what we're going to do now is do something very similar but because this is only two two lanes at this point then again you know what if it's a yeah if it's a four laner then broadly it's going to be it's going to be about the same so we're just going to put you about here is fine. Okay, and we're going to we are going to demolish some of you. I I, I admit that, and I'm sorry about it. Uh, I'm not that sorry. Uh, and round to here, up to ten meters. And now we just uh yeah now we can just basically make it go straight through over here. Try not to uh, destroy anything if at all possible. Uh here and then just loop around the outside of the forest section that we're working. Loop her around a little bit, which looks very, very nice indeed. Just bring her in to about here. It's fine. And now we do a... This was a six over here, wasn't it? Oh, well, it, it, this is... I'm sure it's fine. I kind of... I forgot this is a four, not a six. But it's going to become a four, so it's fine. Uh, so you are now going to go down in this direction. Okay. But at the same point, there's going to be a diversion over in this direction. And you are going to go down to the ground here. And then you're just going to loop in around to... You shouldn't be... Oh, no, there's, there's, a, there's a thing there. But if we just work around it... There we go. There was, there was a pillar there. Yeah. But yeah, but that's absolutely fine. And now we just bring this around to the parallel side over on this side. And it's all going to work out beautifully. Keep it at 10 meters for the time being. Because uh, then we can just build underneath it. Oh, like, yeah. low-rise stuff can just go underneath it. Though, admittedly, I guess there's no particular reason why we shouldn't... Then again, if we, ha if we have buildings on it, it's going to create traffic that wants to visit it. If it's raised, it keeps the traffic flowing a bit more easily. Which I think is, is better, therefore. So we're just going to have this round to here. This round to here. This round to here. And then we're just going to bring her down to this spot. And that's absolutely fine, though. I don't know. This tiny bit is, is apparently uh, is buildable on, but that, that's fine, whatever. And now, this should all work beautifully. Okay? There's going to be so much capacity for, like, everything here. So what we're going to do is we're going to leave. Hang on, let's just, just, just of interest. Like, you know, if we want to build, say, a medical clinic, that doesn't, that, that takes not that much space at all. Barely takes any doesn't barely take any space at all. If we want to build something bigger, like say go over to schooling, if we wanted to build a high school, that basically fills. Ooh, actually, it's a tiny bit too big. Yeah, but surely you will have one of your spaces which will be big enough because they weren't like all exactly the same. That's interesting. The high school struggles to fit in. The high school might have to be, like, around the outside or something. Yeah, there you go. Well, weirdly, the high school doesn't have, like, a radius it affects, whereas the small schools do, which is very curious to my mind. I don't really know why that is, but it just is. But the high school doesn't have a radius. Like, people don't, like, it. people just travel further to high school. Maybe because, well, like... Well, I guess they maybe get, they'll yeah, have the... They, 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 I don't know. And then, kind of, you know, we've got, you know, fire station is... A fire station's tiny. 
uh, the police station is is tiny and doesn't that doesn't worry. So that that can go anywhere. So broadly, if we just kind of leave a bit of space in say ring number two. Mm. then that's absolutely fine but before we build anything and a nice big park in the middle of that parks and rag. i was gonna i was gonna spread it out a little bit so yeah. there's, a, there's a park maintenance depot so that's kind of nice mm -hmm. uh but yeah we can also have big parks we're gonna have, so we're gonna have some big parks oh yes archive says it does have a radius the high school but you already have coverage there presumably the previous high school there is no high school in the town right now. There's just two oh, basic yeah. schools. We literally do not have a high school. Fair enough, then. So I don't know. Uh, but we're just going to put down, you know, we're going to put down a handful of, of nice... We're going to put down a handful of big parks. There's going to be one right in the centre here. There's going to be a large plaza a little bit further out, which can be... Why can't you turn sideways? Just turn sideways. Just turn... Fine. It's going to be right on the outskirts over here. There we go. That's nice. And then there's going to be a large playground. Uh, that's doesn't feel as large. I feel like we're, we're shortchanging the kiddies here. We're shortchanging the kiddies. Just a large playground right here. And there's just going to be, you know, just a handful of nice parks that people can go to. So what we're going to do now is there is a ton of demand for, yes, mid-residential. So uh, I'd say we're going to start off with some nice European-style row houses. Because mm -hmm. you like those. You think they're very attractive. Yeah. So how about what we do is, yeah, we have like in the, uh, say, yeah, round here, around this sort of area... We can have loads of that. We can have loads of that. This can just be an entire circle of European-style row houses and shit. Like, which I think is super cute. Uh, so that's really nice. Uh, you can even have European-style apartment buildings with commercial space on the on the top with, on the bottom and the apartments on the top. Which I think is kind of cool. So we can have, like, you know, a few of them dotted around the centre. Which is nice, because, like, you know, this is, like, the centre. This is providing a little bit of business coverage, too, which I think is super cute. And there's loads of demand uh, for low-density housing. And that could be, like, a little bit further out and whatnot. But maybe, yeah. like, you know, every every other. And we'll leave a bit of space for that. And we'll just have, like, yeah, a few dotted around here. And then, like, every other, we'll just kind of have, uh, yeah, like, you and you. And you and you and you and you. And then, like, you know, we'll see... And then we'll see how that just kind of jumps into action. And people should, like, you know, really, really enjoy this. And then as people start moving in, we'll just put in a couple of basic services they need. Though we know people are going to be needing some... Like, school... Basic school is, is essential. So we're going to put a little basic school right now. I'm going to put down a little basic elementary school right now. Because apparently there's actually... There is coverage. A tiny bit of coverage just sneaking in from... The school over here, they would be willing to go to all the way to this school. So we're just going to put in like, you know, a, a small school over on this sort of side. Just to kind of provide coverage for everyone. So that's absolutely fine. Just like one school right there, which is lovely. So everyone's covered. Healthcare is actually, healthcare is fine for the time being. Because the hospital is providing a huge amount of coverage. So the hospital is actually covering that already. They'll need to check whether that stays the case. Uh, fire department. Okay, we do need a new fire department. And if I build a fire department... Build a fire department here. Maybe it will, like, you know, help out with the whole situation. We need some fire coverage. There's going to be... It, that can be right on the outskirts of town. That doesn't need to be, like, you know, central. That can be, but like... But that's you know, also good because it's on a... Yeah. Because it's a two-way system. They yeah. could go... They can go a little bit oh, back into the spiral, go... too. Yeah. And then a police station could be right next door. Do you think maybe you could give them a road that goes from right about where they are into the outside of the spiral? They can just they, they can just use the two-way system to get there pretty easily. No, they can use a two-way system to get to the middle of the spiral. And then they still have to use the spiral to go all the way out, which is... The spiral's a lost course, Claire. Stop trying to save the spiral. All right, <laughs> I thought the spiral was a perfect bloody blah. -de -blah. <laughs> Spiral's a lost cause, Claire. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Well, if the spiral's a lost cause, um, shout out, shout out to Sanctimonious Lock, who gave us ten Canadian dollars, high level dollars, and says, "Don't mind me, just dropping some ad block tax." So there we go, and shout out also to the old planeswalker who's been a member for six months, uh, and Stefan who's been a member for ten months, and uh, sent us a, a little 
emoji of uh, Teddy doing a high five with his ear. Ted. Teddy baby. Okay, now this is obviously an incredibly sophisticated, beautiful, you know, area for people. Now we need the disgusting, a horrible area where we just have more industry. And this does not need to be anywhere near as carefully planned in a way. That can just be an old-fashioned grit. Because it does not need to be anything else. Like, what? why would it need to be? Um, so just a standard, a basic, just a basic grid can, that we can just run along the side here. That also we can have a new power plant on. And then we can simply have a, a couple of mega roads that simply feed out onto it. So people can get in and out nice and easy. And possibly we could also run a mega road that, yeah, we could hook this system to the main highway over here. Just so people can get in and out nice and easy. And yeah, it should all be absolutely fine. Though... Is there any particular reason to do anything else in that regard? I think I'm broadly okay with that. I, I'm broadly happy with a pretty with a pretty standard uh, pretty standard system over here. In fact, there's, there's technically 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 as it's going to be a nightmare of urban pollution anyway. It kind of may as well be a spiral. It kind of may Wait, as well. What, 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 what? It may as well be a spiral when you think about it. Ah, oh, no. I stopped listening for two seconds so I could organize a super chat and look what happened. Kind of, this kind of feels like it could just be a spiral, really. A two-way spiral? Yeah, two-way spiral. So All right. Like well, we needed to test two-way spiral to see if it works. So but... it's nowhere near as bad as it would be otherwise. Which is which is absolutely fine as far as I'm concerned. So yeah, just kind of keep it, keep it, keep it, keep oh, it. Oh, well, very good point from Bob Space. Uh, if you make the industry uh, another doomed spiral, it will be symbolic for how bad capitalism is for the environment or something. <laughs> Approve. Yeah, makes perfect yeah. sense. It's just yeah, this is this could be. Yeah, our... we were going to watch Planet Earth pretty soon. We haven't seen it oh, yeah, yet. Yeah, I want to watch Pla oh, Planet Earth. It's gonna be so good. Planet Earth three, to be precise. Yes. yes gonna be great the new one yeah the brand new one there we go i swear it is going to be great but it is also going to be about how we're doomed how we're doomed now it's all i know it's personally our fault uh well you know yeah if, if you've got to try and do something and if, if there we if go david like, attenborough being perfect being... utopia horrific nightmare perfection listen if if sir david attenborough being personally disappointed in people is the way to make change yeah okay so now what we do is we have one road coming out of here yeah we kind of need to we need we need this, this just kind of yeah turn around at this point just turn around just turn, turn it all around uh, turn it around nice and easy nice and easy nice and easy now just have it going down in this direction all right and now we feed into that system basically just anything we just have one one mega road that can just kind of yeah go down onto we can we bring this over to a a six laner this could be just we could just have a giant six laner right here okay and it can just be like yeah starting from here he can just run down in this direction that's absolutely fine it's just going to run basically down the entire down the entire map down the entire map until at least until it hits the uh the McJibble. It's gonna be it's gonna be a nice little system right here. Just bring it nice and around here. There we go. Just kind of loop it round. It can it can hook into this system. That's fine. Uh so that's all a okay. And then that can just feed into a four system that can go to here. That can go underneath. And this can go to either Yeah, here. And then it can go to it can no no no, that's not what I want you to do. You get rid of you. Alright, go back to here. You. I want one going in this direction. Yeah, it just kind of feeds into here. And then another one from the same point going in this direction. Going down over to here. So that's all absolutely fine. So yeah, that can now... So yeah, you can get into the industrial spiral very easily. That's all absolutely fine. And then we can simply have... Uh, yeah, this can just kind of come down over here. And if you want to, we can just have this whole feed into this whole system. Now, in theory, if we bring the camera around, and then that's a three-lay, that's a three-lane one way, isn't it? Uh, three-lane one, yeah, that's a three-lane one way. So if we simply have you just kind of coming off here, and then we make you go up ten. Okay, just have you around there, and let's have you literally just curve around in this direction. Just don't cause any trouble yeah there we go don't don't destroy the road you're kind of trying to cross over right now and then we just have you come down to the ground and 
here. This is... This is going the right way, right? Is that going the right way? That's... Yeah, that's going in that direction. Right, okay. And then... No, that's... 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 That's backwards. We need traffic to... Wait, do we need traffic to be able to get in or off that system? Does it does it matter? When... Oh, John, that system is doomed. Forget about no, it. No, that's the main highway that all the external traffic comes along. It's important. Uh, uh... The question is, are people coming off or onto that system? Because they, they should be able to do either, but I'm not sure they can do either from a single from a single weight if we if they if we if they if we if they if hang on start again start again start again just just think about this really hard before i start roading i need this road to basically go straight through here and just be a way of connecting to the external highways okay but I need people to be able to both join it and leave it. So, okay, just a four, four lane right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, just keep, keep this coming in this direction. That's fine. That's absolutely fine. So, okay. Bring this to here. Now what I need is I need this to simultaneously, right, just like a, a, a two-way, yeah, two-way, two-way that, just to go to, to join this system. Yeah, okay. And also... A two-way off to join this system. There we go. And then I just need the same thing to occur on the other side. So if you join... Yes, okay, now I understand. I understand. I think I know what I'm doing now. Claire, over to you. Uh, yes, indeed. Shout out to... Uh... Let's see. Shout out to the great loud lobster who's been a member for 26 months. And so at least John puts more thought into the traffic and street design in some of the cities we have uh, in... I'm assuming that's North Carolina. Uh, we have uh, an intersection across two highways. Nice. Uh, let's see. Carrie gave us $5 and says it's always a pleasure to watch you too. Uh, thank you very, very much indeed, Carrie. Thank you, thank you. Uh, and let's see. This old planeswalker gave us, uh, gave us five dollars and says, Very nice city. How much to live in the empty space away from everything? <laughs> that's, 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 the, j j j j there's, there's, there's a lot, there's a lot of that at the moment. It's a work in progress. Don't worry, he's filling up the empty space. Uh, I love that several people, by the way, are, like, comparing this city to where they live. Mm -hmm. Not Favorably, of course. Yes, indeed. Uh, Frog Cannon gave us $2 and says I would take this over driving in Houston. Uh, Johnny gave us £10 and says I just got here. Why has John built Birmingham? I feel like that, 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 that wasn't how I wanted that to look. Um... Cleese gave us a hundred Swedish krona and says average American suburb. That's better. Okay. Now I've fixed it. So yeah, mm -hmm. now there's a giant spine that can get everyone to all of this. So okay, now what we do is we just put a giant pile of everything. Though we're about to significantly increase the pressure on the power grid. Like the water grid should now be going up because we just like put a second... Uh, Water pump down here. Though. I'm not sure why we've not seen that immediately in water availability. We'll keep an eye on that. Uh, we need a brand new power plant. Um, now, coal power plants, you know, generate a lot of electricity very cheaply. So what we're going to do is we're just going to put that around, like, away from everybody. It's all going to be fine. So there we go. And I think that... The, the, the power plants are weird. Which is, like, they constantly have this symbol, Oh, look, I'm, uh, the power line's not connected. But if you go into the thing... It is. Look, it's connected at the front. It auto connects right there. Mm. It and then the power does seem to show up anyway. Like if I just give that a second, it will pr almost like I I will to bet it will it will show up in a second. Like as soon as that comes online, it will probably the the amount of electricity will jump in a second. So we'll keep an eye on that. Uh, but for the time being, we can also have a giant pile of just industry industry here we can just paint all of this right claire while i paint the industry 
Uh, yes, indeed. Shout out to Shackleton Mangrum, who has been a member for one month uh, and wants to know how far uh, you are in Tears of the Kingdom and what do you think? Uh, only what you've seen in the live streams. Only what you've seen in the live streams. No more than that, I'm afraid. Uh, I think it's 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 very compelling. There's something very compelling about it, but I've not really put enough time in it to be able to describe it. Like I, I say this about Starfield. I've not put enough time into Starfield to properly do I don't know I can't figure out how much I like Starfield yet. Like I'm not saying I don't like it, I really love it. I'm trying to figure out how much, like where it sits in the pantheon for me. And I think it's gonna take hundreds more hours before I can do that, which is wild. Uh but that's that's where we are right now. So uh, okay. Now I think we could unpause things and shit's about to get real. Like, a lot of stuff is about to start being built all at the same time. A lot of shit's about to be built. Oh, ho, ho, ho. oh yeah. This is this is going to be good. This is going to be good right here. Gla! Uh, yes, in. Oh, look, there's more power. Despite the fact the power station says it's not connected. Mm. And, oh, look, there's more water. It finally showed up. Good, 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 good. Uh, yes, indeed. Oh, I'm so sorry. To shout out to Pete uh, in the chat um, who says uh, who's had to stop uh, his membership because uh, says I uh, lost my job. So I had to say goodbye to the Green Club uh, and says I'll be back. Thank you. But I am so glad to see you taking care of yourself. First. Yes, so sometimes we hear people first. say, you know, sometimes we hear people say, I mean, yeah. Oh, I think I got to a scenario where the, the wait, what did you do? The police can't get access to the roads. Lol. I think I can just move them. Yeah, relocate. Uh, try try putting you somewhere else. Like, you can just be right on the edge of town over here. There you go. Now now you can actually now you can actually do things, mm. which is fine. Though to be honest, actually thinking about it, yes. If I move the fire station, hang on. If I move the fire station next door. Okay, the fire station the, uh, as as you originally suggested if the fire station just goes a little bit more towards the center so it's got access to it can it can provide support to this area way more effectively. So that's absolutely fine. Uh so yeah, that's all absolutely under control at this point. Those are the basic services this area is going to need for now. The only other one we've not set up is we've not set up any transportation. No, there are buses. They're just not doing very much so far. Um, garbage management. There is there is literally zero garbage. Uh, g zero garbage processing. Which I feel like, you know, is just a thing you could just kind of put over here. But does the garbage processing have uh, uh, an effective radius? It doesn't appear to. So in which case, we could just put the garbage way over here out in the industrial sector. And it's like the power plant it doesn't need to be neat or tight or anything, does it? I mean... So yeah, we can just kind of create a massive, uh, massive dump over here. So that's absolutely fine. And then we just need to uh, assign an area that is uh, landfill, that is officially uh, dumping, dumping ground. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, you can stop it now. You can stop. You stop it. Just... How do you stop? Do I don't want to stop? That's enough dump. I don't need more dump. Stop. Stop it. I, 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 I'm very, I always get very confused by this. Okay, do this. There we go. That's that's better. There we go. That's the this is the dump zone. This is going to be our area where we dump shit. Okay, just there we go. Inside this effective zone, lovely. So yeah, this is the area we can just fill up with trash, and it's just going to be round the back. Of, no one wants to live right next to a coal power plant, so we kind of may as well like literally surround the uh, surround the area like this. You just draw the arrow within that brown circle. Congratulations. That's that's now the dump. We can now dump whatever we want here. It's better. I always want you to come out of it then try again. So, okay, that's a ridiculous amount right there. So that's now going to, you know, collect rubbish. There, there haven't been rubbish there hasn't been rubbish collection so far in this town. There's, there's just been a thing we've been doing without. So that's all absolutely fine. So that's now going to be that's where our dump. That's probably was a very big dump, but like it is, it is what it is. Um, there is clearly still space for a lot of single, uh, single housing. A lot of people still want some housing. So you know what? You can have a little bit more housing. If we need to demolish a little bit more down the line, you can have a little bit of housing. Oh, right by the, uh, right by the schools. It's kind of nice. It's kind of really people probably going to want to live uh, right there. What's that large building there, by the way? Oh, that's a large park. Oh, you're definitely going to want to live there. Oh, that's nice. Okay. So that is, oh, let's, we kind of built that large park straight into a giant cliff but it seems to have worked so that's absolutely fine and now everyone's just going to 
Everyone's gonna move in. Everyone's gonna be just like, yeah, here. This this is it. This is where we wanna live. This this is this is the place. This is the place. More houses. Anyone wants to build some really tidy houses? You can build you can have some really tidy houses right here. I'm guessing they're still quite desirable. Even so. Feel free to build extremely the, the, some people playing Sims 4 tiny tiny living rules over here. Someone said, You did not need a crane! You're building a tiny shack and a chemical plant! Signature building chemical plant. Nice, sexy. Uh, chemicals, everything, and more made here every day. Plus one industrial um, efficiency, entire city wide. Uh, it's a little bit noisy and messy, so it can go and live next to the dump and whatnot. There we go. One giant chemical. Well, that's your fault for being positioned where you. Well, I feel like that's on you. If you don't have cocky road access, that's really on you. That's. Do you need me to build you a tiny? Wait, but look. Yeah, but it's 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 sad. It's other. It's sad. It's other road doesn't have an access because the road's ever so slightly curved because it's a spiral. I'm going to build you the tiniest road. I'm going to build you. Yes, a tiny alley, like right here. There we go. Overlapping items. Oh, it doesn't like it. Doesn't want to. Okay, if I if I build you a tiny the, the tiniest road. The tiniest road. One alley. Right here. There we go! It's now it's Oh, that's very ugly. <laughs> there we go. You've officially now got access to the road, you stupid chemical plant. Enjoy. It's so, okay. We've now got a giant pile of that. Oh, the, the hexagon is just exploding into life. Though, interestingly, I think we may have overzoned for medium, medium resident, for medium residential. Uh, we didn't need to, we, we, we slightly overzoned for medium residential. We could, we could, we could have a couple of bits of lower residential as it turns out. Not, not all medium of Medium density? Medium density, yeah. Mm, yeah okay. There was a bit too much medium density because obviously, you know, a single building in medium density can be worth a lot. And also, I swear we went for, that is, that is a bigger structure than I thought that was going to be. That's a much bigger, oh, those are the ones with the shops at the bottom. I kind of like them. That's very European. Mm. Do you think we should allow the Americans to build buildings somewhere in our beautiful city at some point? I mean, probably, yes. Ugh. I guess maybe at one point. We'll have one street. We'll have one street that's allowed to, like, have American-style shit on it, okay? That's, that's, that that could be the thing. You know what? We're going to put, there we go. We're going to, we're going to have this street. This is going to be, this is, this is going to be, this is going to be where we allow the, the only bit of American-style stuff here. Okay, so it was this street here, wasn't it? Yeah, Emerson. Emerson. So this is going to be, uh, Claire, let's, let's gun, gun stuff. Guns, uh, burgers, and baseball streets. This is where the Americans live. Guns, burgers, and baseball streets. There we go. So that we, we're going to build, wow. we're going to build some American-style houses on guns, burgers, and baseball. Oh, they're moving in! They're moving in! The Yanks are here! Oh, <laughs> they're moving in. Thankfully, we do have the police station is pretty close by for all the gun crime this is going to generate because we've allowed Americans Jesus. into the neighbourhood. <laughs> Send in the red coats. Freedom Street. <laughs> Murica Street. <laughs> there we go. Guns, burgers, and baseball street. Traitor Avenue, damn straight. <laughs> love it. Love it, love it, love it. So, okay, we got ourselves a few bits and pieces. We've got ourselves, yep, plenty of a low residential, a low density residential. Lots of people just wanting little single homes. Eventually, we might want to uh, to rezone some of that for the time being. Uh, yeah, so we've got a little bit of you guys, more of you guys over here. Again, we've just got way too much medium density to versus low. So we'll just have a little bit more hits, a little bit more. And like, you know, maybe the tiniest bit of blue round the exterior like the businesses we allow here have surely got to be they, they they've got to be pretty happy businesses they've got to be they've got to be doing a, a pretty they, they've got to be doing good business damn it they, they can't be doing that bad they've got to be doing all right so we, may, we might just allow like a few yeah you know what there's a lot of stuff that's not been built on the oh no everyone's trying to build here never mind um we could build we could just allow a little bit of shopping in the very center we've not actually we've not zoned that yet 
you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna allow some little gonna allow some shops right in the centre. There's gonna be a little shopping precinct right in the middle. Just for eating like the little bits of demand that exist there. This is all absolutely fine. The industrials the industrials already want more. They they just want more shit over here. No office. Like offices were like requested really early on. And then like there's there's this this gonna be yeah, the office has just been they, they requested officers. We've got like some officers in the spot. And since then, no one wants officers. There's, this is, this is absolutely wild. So yes, there's, I, I do not know how we encourage more officers. I think I reduced the office taxes to 0%. 0%. And, and even then there's no officers. But on the plus side, the traffic jam is now complete. I mean, I fixed it. The traffic situation is resolved. The traffic situation has absolutely been resolved and this city over here is it's working it's it's working quite nicely actually so uh, i mean if anything we could actually increase the hexagon outwards and just like you know have additional because most of this is actually that is that could just be brought into the hexagon this street over here there is actually a whole bunch of yeah there is actually this is technically there's a whole bunch of you know what yeah you you guys can just all be low low density housing like, it's, it's, there's, there's some, but not a ridiculous amount of traffic on it. If you guys want to build on it, I'm not going to stop you. I'm not going to stop you. So that's all absolutely fine. You're still well in, in, in place for all of the public services. But yeah, we could also just uh, have, yeah, we could have another hexagon going around the outside. Mostly it can just go under or over these in and out roads. So yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. It was, was it two by, uh, yeah, it was four lane. It was two and two wasn't it yeah all of the exteriors are two and twos so if we simply like have these on the ground and then we simply just figure out how to have them all hooked together then that will should provide plenty of options so yeah this can just go underneath here we need to be careful of the pillars around the outside that's all absolutely fine too this is all raised so yeah that's raised so we can just work around that we might have to have a, a slightly slightly loose hexagon I probably should have built the next hexagon first before building the roads that lead into this area. But because they're mostly raised, it should be mostly okay. So okay, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna try and make this work. And it's it's all gonna be there is a there is a park in the way over there too, by the way. Okay. The hexagon's gonna start it's it's gonna go in a bit of an odd shape here. The hexagon's gonna be a bit of an odd shape, and we're just gonna have to We'll, we'll work with that. It's kind of... It's going to be more of a circle. In a way. The hexagon's going to get a bit... A bit blurpy. As, as time goes by. And that's that's fine. That's just how hexagons be. Claire! While I just now basically convert the hexagon into a circle. Over to you. Oh dear. Uh, yes indeed. Uh, sorry, let me grab my uh, little spreadsheet of super chats. Uh, shout out to Anthony, uh, who's been a member for 41 months uh, and says, hello, everybody. Uh, still no Annie and Leo this week, uh, but have some more pictures of Jerry and Kirby, the US cats instead, Aww. and love to Ted. Uh, so I've grabbed those on Twitter and I'll share those with chat, um, with chat in a minute. Nice. Um, I enjoyed this from the Winged Baron, who's been a member for 10 months, uh, and says, Watching John and Spiffy's videos back to back <laughs> is wild. Spiff intentionally made a public transit system uh, that would last week, and John's is still worse somehow. <laughs> Amazing. It's fine. Mm -hmm. all, 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 all per design. Straight yes, over the indeed. Top, straight back down. <laughs> okay, so. The hexagon has gone a bit woobly in places. Mm -hmm. Like it's it's basically a beautiful hexagon, and then then it goes a bit. So does, is that a ring road? Well, no, it's just the next layer out of the hexagon. Oh. It's just it's just the next layer out of the hexagon, obviously. Oh. Oh. oh okay. Yeah. yeah. Sorry. Sorry. It just sorry, it, sorry. it just got a bit. It, it just got a bit woobly. It just got a little bit woobly. I I I will I will not deny. And then, yeah, we'll just have that through there. I'm happy for people to kind of come in and out of that particular corner. We can have 
we can have this kind of spur off in the, we can have we can have a kind of a spur off of, of this direction going kind of round two here that's that's okay I appreciate that's knocked down a few homes and condemned a few homes it it, it happens it's 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 gonna happen honestly I'm not sure why did I make this a bridge this shouldn't have been a bridge this should have just been an intersection an intersection would have been fine ah no it sh oh uh, it, mm, mm, it should it no it'll be fine I'm gonna make an intersection and we can we can make a bridge later if it needs to be that's just I'm gonna not knock down your house you're welcome um yeah that's fine and then that should be plenty of space to put down well one put down some parks large playground for the kiddies right there one a very large park up top here it just <laughs> kind of fits in without killing anyone there we go lovely oh, nice little park dear, there oh and now just a giant pile of housing we're just going to increase the population in this area and it's all going to be fine clap uh yes indeed shout out to sag who's been a member for 40 months uh, and says hello john and claire i wanted to know if you'll uh ever finish dredge john's fear for jellyfish is the most entertaining uh, you know what i meant to i think it lost a couple of live stream votes at yeah. some point very possibly i will yes because i think it's a really really good game i think it's a really fun interesting game so the sewers are backing up are they i think the sewers are mostly fine i've not seen any major alerts about that and the same people don't have water. I think the water situation seems fine. Power situation seems fine too. I think we're we're under control. We, there's no the power's not going out, David. Chill the cock out. All right, this is all absolutely a okay. We've got a few people who are having to just change their houses around. Then we've got a huge amount more. Wow, that people are just leaping on the new plots and yeah, even and then they were also dying more than usual. Did, did that come up a second ago? Yeah. I, I think that's... We've got a huge hospital right here. This hospital, like, covers everything. And transport people pay for accidents. Something, something, something. Specialized treatment wards. Helps people in the... Oh, it helps people remain... Yeah. We're going to... I'm going to gonna make it better. Going to make it better. I just spent... Yeah, I just upgraded that. The hospital's now better than it was. I put a, I put a hospital thing. There's now medicine in the hospital or whatever. I don't know. Uh, but it's going to make people healthier. And it's all going to be fine. Mm. There we go. So now we just now we just let now we just let the the world do its thing. There. Oh, hang on. Didn't we say there was a really good bit of land for chickens? Yeah, chickens. Yeah, the chicken farm. We could have a we could have a giant chicken farm right here, uh, which would be kind of cool. So if we just kind of put it like in the center of this area right here, like next to kind of below that tree, all I need is like a little just a little track. The base just goes and takes care of that. You know, just, just, a little, just a little country track. It can be, because, you know, it's not like there's going to be much traffic going out. It can just be a little, like a lovely little, like, oh, gravel road. Oh, yeah, nice. Yeah, but people need to go in and out to, like, get chickens? Yeah, but not many of them. Wait, which was the tree? Which was it that tree? Where was the, it's kind of, a, you can't leave this on as far as I'm aware. It was under this tree. Remember this tree, Claire. Yeah, this okay. tree we need we need to have we need to have a road that just just loops around to this tree we're just, we're just gonna have a little you know what's the basic two-way road that just starts here and just just goes 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 out to here and that's sculptor's mansion very nice la -de da but i was mainly focusing on this over here there we go and that's, 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 we don't need to worry too much about any of the rest of this it's all going to be fine it's going to hopefully not cause too much trouble uh and then all we can Chickies. do is set up one little chicken farm right here at the edge. And some agriculture. Well, I think because we'll be taking care of that and then cancel this. Uh, I just I just kind of want this to be a chicken area, to be honest. Just, yeah, just the... Oh, no, no, no. Here. There we go. I think we can just be nothing but chickens. I think if I just basically... Because the entire yellow area that's the good for chickens area is basically inside this area... If I just drag this and just keep it, keep it kind of inside this area, I don't know, that's fine. Then it could just be basically just one mega yeah, but chicken farm. Wasn't that also the the area that's good for agriculture? Yeah, it's both. But like, there's no. But like, why can't it? Oh, just you don't be a chicken want farm? to have agriculture at all. Yeah, just chickens. 
Fair enough. Why do you want agriculture when you could just have chickens? But because you need to do something with the chicken poop and it's real good for agriculture. We'll ship it over to the farms that are over on this side of town. Oh, good. There we go. So now we can just have a giant chicken farm. There we go. Gi one, one ridiculous chicken farm from Doublebock. Excellent name for livestock right there. I know. Good old Doublebock chicken farms. And if anyone would like to live close by to the chicken farms, you are welcome to do so. Anyone who just wants to live close by to chickens. I feel like we've got plenty of... How on earth is the demand still here for see for low-density housing? All right, fine. You mad bastards, here. You can have literally the entirety of this loop. I won't stop you, but how is this not generating demand for businesses? What, why are businesses not doing anything right now? Do, do businesses not want in on this? All right, fine. You know what? This is this is this is all working fine in that case. I'm I'm okay with it. Claire. Ah, uh, yes, indeed. Shout out to Dan who gave us ten pounds and says hello to you both. I have a job interview tomorrow that I really really want. Uh, so here, have some of my karma. Ooh, good luck. So there you go. Good luck. Mmm. Mmm. Actually, yeah, that's true. There is... Officially, the only problem with chicken is low noise pollution. It does not flag anything to do with smell pollution. So, all right. People are really happy with it, apparently. Everyone's, everyone's super happy. Average happiness of my citizens is super happy. Everyone thinks I'm doing an amazing job as, as mayor. I'm doing a great job right now. And also, how's the, how's the, the dump doing at the moment? Vehicles in use. How on earth are only two out of ten vehicles in use? Does, does this city just not generate, like, waste? Sometimes the shaders go a bit bananas, by the way. They just do that sometimes, and I don't really know why. Uh, okay. Round here, everything's fine. The, there's still demand for low-density housing. There's so much low-density housing, guys. Just just move into the, the outer ring of the hex again. Also, oh, hang on. This is the... Here we go. So, as we can see, what we've got here is on this street, we've got the superior... You know, look at this. Look, look, look at these houses, Claire. Look at these nice houses. Like, you know, yeah, this is why people want low-density housing, because they're nice and No, no, no. What gardens. I mean is just, just look at these gardens here. No, we've no, got, like, you know, 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 nice housing, looking, you know, quite I'm pleasant. Looking, quite pleasant, pleasant, quite pleasant, quite pleasant. Now, yeah, let's go, now, let's go over, now let's go over to America Street. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, it's shacks. It's like a what? temporary building put up because there's been an emergency. No, it's like a building on stilts because there's like earthquake zone or whatever. Why, why are they all just shacks? They're like like you know temporary te you know, classrooms put up when there's too many students in a school. Mm. Temporary. This one's just a shed. That's just a shed. Who are these people? Jesus Christ. Meanwhile, over on the oh. Back to civilization. Thank God. I mean, I don't know. Those houses are pretty ugly with the flat roofs. Mm -hmm. Dear, oh dear. The absolute mess that we've got going on here on Guns, Burgers and Baseball Street. Dear, oh flipping dear. Is the school at least uh, educating some people? Yeah, Canada's Bacon does point out that uh, a lot of America does tend to flood. So it's more for floods, yeah. That's true. Also, I've not really set up any districts yet. So, okay, you can create di different types of neighborhoods or specialized in area for specific use. So, obviously, this is, you know, the residentially district. So, yes, create and adjust borders of a district. Yeah, the snapping, fine. But then what does it do? Yeah, yeah, that's how, just how to set it. District information. First, close the area tool. Name the district. District policies. Okay. Well, I tell you what. What we should do is clearly set up a, you know, out the way. District creation tool. Yeah. This is the industrial district. Story checks out. Okay. So now, create a new area starting in, and now we've got that area. So okay, this area, this should be ah energy consumption. So electricity consumption is reduced. Heavy traffic ban. Trucks can't enter this district. Recycling. Reduced amount of waste. Roadside parking fees. Speed bumps. I'm going to be honest, I was hoping for like, you know, just like somebody that, that helped out the industry. But it looks like it kind of helps out the 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 people who live there more. So it's kind of more appropriate for, for that. Why is it called Res Hawthorne Terrace is very nice. This this is this is just like, you know, 
This is this is smoke smoky nightmare. Smoky night smoky wait, smoky with an E or without an E? I think you can do both. Yes. We'll just call it smoke nightmare zone. <laughs> Victorian London. Mm -hmm. Good old smoke nightmare zone. So okay, that's that's what those do. I'm guessing we can unlock more policies as time goes by. Oh, this is nice. Some people are built, some people are really into living by the chickens. This is oh oh the shaders the shaders are having a, the shaders are having a bit of a funny turn again. Sometimes the game just undraws and redraws itself. Lovely. So all right, there's there's Willow Street. These people are very wealthy, enjoying their life by the chicken farms. There we go. Plenty of chickens. Efficiency 68%? Really? Hang on. Check the flibbly chickens. Uh, no, production. We are still... We're making some chickens, but nowhere near enough. We're importing way more chickens than we grow. Apparently, this one chicken farm isn't enough. Who'd have thunk it? So, how on earth is there a trap? Oh, that's a traffic accident. What did you think it was? I thought it was a traffic jam. Mm. Honestly, I think that's fine. Apparently, there's a police car on the way. You seem to be doing fine. How are you, Ophelia Evans? She's currently attempting to move in. Okay, well, she apparently, I think she crashed on her way into moving into the city. Right next to my gigantic... This is a corn farm. It's flower. Flowers, flowers. It's grain. It's producing grain. Mm. My gigantic grain fields. Right there. Lovely. Everything's nice. Ah, there's there's the industrial in the distance. Everyone loves the industrial zone. They kind of got built out by the everything. Oh, this area's... Oh, hang on. Oh, what's happened? Oh, hello. Hi. This company can't find enough employees. What? I'm letting people move in as fast as they can. I mean, what do you want from me? Okay. Uh, uh, we, need to, we, need to, we need more cooking housing, apparently. Jesus, how can we possibly not have enough housing? We've I've given you guys so much housing, but you're insisting you don't want higher density housing. Is this just all... Are we subtracting way too many wealthy people? And we've not got enough people who are willing to take factory jobs. I think I've overeducated them, Claire. We've got to destroy the school. There's the not enough... elementary school. Yes, exactly. They've become too educated. It's a problem. So wait a minute. Are you saying that no one wants any high density housing or medium density housing? No, there's no demand for it. It's down over here, this thing. Mm. There's only demand for low density residential, but that tends to look like it skews towards like the the wealthier individuals. Well, yes, because it's like e even the people who live here, like e even this person who lives in a shed on on Guns, Burgers, and Baseball Street is apparently wealthy, but chooses to live in this like in this janitor's hut for some reason. Yeah, but we were watching Location, Location, Location yesterday and the woman said she really liked that house. That was ridiculous. Remember? I think I've made this neighborhood too nice, Claire. I've made it too nice. I've put up too many parks. I've spoiled my citizens. I've spared the rod and spoiled the city. Now we need to make it worse so that people become Could it destitute. be that the factories are awkward to get to? The, I've put... Look, look, look at the nice road that goes there. There's so much... Okay, you know what? I've... There's Could it be that there's too many factories? Somebody is going to want to live here. Are they? Yes, they are. But they're going to have to be desperate. And desperate people will take the factory jobs. If I deliberately put housing in a bad position, like where it's really, really just in an awful, awful place. Okay, we'll just create more, more housing. More housing on the corner leading it into this area. Not quite oh God, up to oh it. God, just oh a God. little bit, little bit. But if I deliberately create a slum that's horrible to live in, then the only people that live there will be people desperate enough to take the horrible jobs that no one else wants to do. And thus the situation is solved. Does this game model human desperation, I wonder? I mean, it, it's hard to... If it does, then I'll soon be told about it. Yeah. This is true, I suppose. Mm -hmm. um, shout out to Canada's Bacon, who gave us two Canadian dollars. Best dollars. Uh, and sent us uh, a bunch of uh, little emoji, cityscape, motorway, ah, <laughs> face. It's it's and it's... the cry and and the crying buckets of tears emoji. Excellent. Okay, here we go. The desperate people are moving in. We're building houses right in the center. Literally, if you want to, if you want to go anywhere, like to find a shop or something. Oh, 
When this happens, I find it's going to turn the game off and on again. This is... Oh, 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 oh. I'm going to turn the game off and on again, because when the shaders do that, it's it's a bad sign. I'm going to, I'm just going to, I'm just going to save and then we're going to turn the game off and on again, because otherwise bad things are going to happen. Because when the shaders do that, it's, it's a bad time. Oh, uh, let's, let's just very quickly, very quickly just reload the game and everything will be fine. The game was too sad. It got, it got, it got too sad and desperate and the shaders, the shaders were, were happy. Okay, we're just going to restart the game. It's going to be fine. Claire, over to you. Uh, yes, indeed. Oh, dear. Shout out to, uh, shout out to Vibab, who gave us, uh, 20 pounds, uh, and wants to know, uh, have you guys, uh, ever watched Jay Foreman's Unfinished London series? Also, nobody wants to turn left, so creating that new intersection so you did actually made things worse, uh, since now there's only one single lane to go right. This was a while back. Uh, that does make sense, though. I know what they're talking about. Yeah, me too. Uh, in any case, yes, we have uh, most definitely watched Unfinished London as well as Map Men. I'm not sure I've seen Have I seen it? Um, you oh, have. you must have. Every time I watch a Jay Foreman video, you, you comment TV. about how good his, like, ad uh, insertion is. Uh, um, yeah, fair enough. Do, do, yeah, I mean, I, you've definitely seen some of them, uh, but yes. Here we let's go. Let's see. let's see if the shaders start to happen. Start happy. The game, the game can't take it. I've made, I've made everyone too miserable. Anna says that was the human desperation shader. <laughs> Uh, let's see. That's looking good. That's looking better. That's looking happier. Just wait, wait, wait. Get it back up here. Get it back up. Yay! Now, now it's fine. Now it might stutter because the game's only just started. So, okay, that's... Wait. What did you just load? That's... Where are my desperate humans? Where am I... Why did you load the autosave? Don't load the... Did you load the wrong thing? Hang on. Hang on. Just dropped a save, and now the thing that were in the city when I dropped the save aren't there anymore. Did you just load the wrong game? Just load the five to seven. So it's a... Why did you load the auto save? Load me the version with more human desperation. There's not enough. The whole point was the desperate. Hu... There we go. The whole point was why? Why wouldn't you? I clicked continue, and it didn't go for the most recent save. It went for the most recent auto save. There we go. That's there we go. That's that's everything's fine. Didn't this, you say that auto save was off uh, and then you had to turn it on? It's still flickering a bit, but we'll just have to hope it recovers in a second. Just zoom right out and hope that ever hope that the city finishes drawing itself in a second. This this sometimes just happens and I don't know what causes it. But maybe it'll fix itself if I just zoom out then zoom Yeah, zoom out then zoom back in and now it looks now it's uh, Everything's fine. We're just going to create a whole bunch of, of people. who will get to be... How is this still... There can't still be demand. This so, I've given you so much... Just, just keep building if that's what you're absolutely determined to do. Where are you guys shopping? There's no shops here. Why is there no demand for... Well, I guess technically there's probably far too many shops in the circle. Which maybe... I mean, one of the blobs for I don't have enough customers just disappeared. Which suggested... Oh! Uh-oh! Nice. Okay. Um... So you just cease to exist. <laughs> And then, hmm, hmm, okay. I'm I'm seeing the problem here, in in a way, and I'm seeing more of a problem here too. That's not so much a problem. You you guys just waiting for for the opportunity the opportunity to merge. The bigger problem is definitely here. Okay. The problem is that is this is still the two lane system, and this is this is when we enter the three lane. Okay. This is all we 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 can fix this. 
we just create a, a bypass that lets the people who are trying to get to here get to here without having to go through whatever the cock this is. Where are you guys trying to... Oh, this was a mistake. Okay. We're gonna we're gonna re we're gonna rethink this entire area. I think Claire, it's time it's time to it's time to think about roundabouts. What? I think it's time to think about roundabouts or indeed oh intersections. Okay, interesting. There's ah, it's too that 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 intersection was <laughs> so, too big, too big, excessively large intersection. Okay. We're just going to okay. We're gonna we're gonna sl th this this intersection is 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 a bad intersection. So we're just going to. I'm really sorry about this, guys. I appreciate I've just demolished the road you're currently on. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Road required. Yeah, because there's cars and shit. Okay, we're just going to you 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 be got rid of. I'm really. Oh no! Oh no, Claire. They're right. I got... <laughs> <laughs> Not the hospital! Oh no! No, someone lives there! They... <laughs> someone used to live there before. <laughs> Actually, wait, this has solved the problem, Claire. Intersection jump scare. Claire, if you just demolish the road, they just start driving directly where they're trying to get. This is actually gonna wait. If I just demolish these roads, they just start driving where they go directly. Is it because those roads are meant to be highways, but you've made them regular roads, so there's pavements and they're slower? This is actually gonna fix the situation. Hey, John, if you made them highways, would people just drive faster on them, and that would solve it? It's it's hard to say. Mm -hmm. It's it's really hard to say. Okay. <laughs> This will solve some of this <laughs> nonsense, okay? Oh, God. This is fine. The problem we had was, yes, creating... Okay, you know what? <laughs> Shout out to Chris, who says, We apologise for any inconvenience. Cool, says you fucking plough through someone's <laughs> garden. I love how we can actually, if there's ever actually, a, if there's ever actually a major bl or a gridlock, I can just demolish the road, the cars that would just drive where it's supposed to go, and then we just rebuild the road later, and that works. <laughs> that actually works. Oh, hang on, I just had a message, but I'm not sure what that message was, which is a problem. Mm -hmm. Um. <laughs> so. That solved part of the problem. <laughs> but why is this not... Oh, hang on. Why would you be trying to do a... T okay, hang on. Oh, no. I see the problem here. Oh, and I can fix this. I can fix this. No right turn. No right turn. You will go straight on only. Okay. And that is going to fix it. If you want to go elsewhere... You're going to have to do it later. And is the problem it hit? What the fudge did you just try and do? When did you get the U-turn? Why? I think they're doing U-turns. Where are they trying to get to? <gasps> oh, shit. I just put a no right turn here. So they're going all the way over to here. Doing a U-turn. <laughs> actual fuckers. You actual fuckers. You absolute fuckers. That's not what I wanted you to do. That's not what I expected you to do <laughs> at all. That wasn't what you were supposed to do. Canada's bacon says the purge, but it's only traffic laws. No, I just said you can't turn right. I just said you can't turn right. Well, sucks to be you. It's the purge. Can't turn right. No right turns. They're avoiding that one road that Thanos snapped out of existence. <laughs> They're all trying to go this way, which is uh... fine. <laughs> why is that even? Why Why do we need... Tra there shouldn't be traffic lights here. That's the problem. Okay, we John, need... that's because you didn't make them cocking highways. No, no, no. Go. Get rid of the traffic lights here. <laughs> No right turn. I just said no right turn. No right 
turn. <laughs> no right turn. <laughs> no fucking. You're not. Why would you come this way to go this way? Are they trying to change direction from the highway? Is that what you they- You never built any fucking highway, John. It's it's sort of a highway. It's and functionally no. a highway. Why are they turning right? It's against the rules. We set up rules about this. We clearly set up rules. We clearly- I've broken Claire. Claire's, bro Claire's broken. Claire's broken. Clear signage was put in place. Yeah, that's that's what those people come to your city for. Okay, well, this is all going to have to be demolished. This is all going to have to be demolished. So all of you people, okay, all of you, find your own <laughs> way. Wait, some of them cease to exist. Some of them are just transforming and rolling out. These, these, these are the true pioneers. That guy's driving his car into the ocean. He's going, oh, no, there he is. He's figured it out. He's figured it out. He's figured it out. Okay, now here's what we need to do. We need to come up with a system whereby all of these roads... Wait, was that was that an important road I just destroyed? <laughs> was that an important road? <laughs> There's no one do button. Uh, it's hard to say which, which road I've just destroyed. Um, what we need to do is we need to... Claire's not doing well. I can't breathe. I mean, they say a good belly laugh is good for you. Let's let's look at the concept of a highway. Oh my god, finally! That allows traffic in both directions. What I need to do is I need a an intersection. I need an intersection that feeds that feeds multiple roads into a single road in a way that doesn't cause a huge amount of dumb destruction. And it's ah, it was it was the out road going in this direction, wasn't it? That's that's what I needed. What was the what what were we just deleted by mistake? <laughs> was the out road going in this direction? Yes. So like you know, stay from blah, 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 stay from here down to here. Okay. <coughs> so we've got the two out roads and the two in roads. So all we need to do is come up with a system that lets the two in roads feed onto this road. And the two out roads come off that road without causing too much trouble. Now, in theory, a roundabout could do this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna investigate this, this roundabout thing that could, in theory, like exist. So, like, you know, if we were to have a, a roundabout right there, like, you know, so just, just a nice roundabout. So, okay, we're just going to, we're going to put the two roads. These are, these are, that's, that's a three lane. You know what? Maybe my mistake was that we need more lanes. Like, if I just put an extra lane onto this road, then that will solve the problem. Like, if you had a lane, that always just, you know, that's extra capacity, so that will solve it. I think that that's what we need to do. I think that will solve everything at that point. So then we just go to here-ish, just here around the corner. To you, so that's, that's to you. That's to you as well, so that's fine. So those, those two are the two that are going out. Okay. So then what we need to do is we just have to have, yes, these two going... If we merge them into... Oh, hang on. Seven lane road, you say? Now that's got to be able to merge properly. Yes. Okay, no, no. The problem is to, not enough. Okay, fuck roundabouts. Roundabouts were never the solution. The problem we've got here is simply not enough lanes. You're okay. still not using highways. I, I'm aware of that. But I don't need to use highways anymore. Oh, okay, we're just going to do this. Okay. Right to here. Ah, oh, this is this is the shit right here. Okay. I'm gonna go hug the dog. Hug the dog. Claire needs to go and relax for a second. Well, I was drinking water to like try and calm myself down, and then somebody said something very funny, and I almost died. Oh, look at this. This works. <clears throat> look now, now, now they just merge. That's actually a merge. Okay. 
This is this is this is gonna work. This is gonna work. This is gonna work. Okay. There's still zebra crossings on it, John. Well, d no one's gonna use them. Um, there Rachel will be. Rachel will use them. There will be rules. We will make rules. Oh, can get to here. Are you much better at building roads than your father? Yes, you are. Okay. And now, a three laner right here. To here. And then here to here. There we go. Okay. Now we just need to find a way to have six lanes become... Well, 12 lanes become two. Which is, I admit, the part where... No, I don't need ads. Why do those always auto on? It's very annoying. Um, okay. I just need... To just add one more. Oh, the universe is breaking. The universe doesn't like it. The universe is unhappy with me. Um, I just need to create one. This is out and this is in. So now, if okay, now what we do is we simply okay, kick, 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 kick. You go in that direction. Yeah, and then you. Go in. No, 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 no. We have to, we have to have this be. It can't be like that. We've got to find a way for this road to become ah. No, no. Okay. No, 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 no. Bring it all back. Bring it all back. All right. Don't stop. Never give up. Something. Something. Bring it all back to you. Um. All we do is have. An eight-lane divided road. Okay. Yeah. No, no. Eight. It's, this is this is fine. Okay. Eight. Eight lanes. Eight lanes. Eight lanes. Eight lanes. Okay. And now you just come into here. There we go. Okay. That's 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 got enough lanes to just just, just let the traffic do their own thing. That's got enough traffic that it, that's got enough lanes that the traffic can just do its own thing. And now. We bring this down to a four-lane system. A four-lane system to here. But the four-lane system has got to... The, now there will be enough lanes, enough lanes to here. Now it will work. 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 Now we just we just sit back. This is it. Now I've added more lanes. The system will work. Just look at these cars. Look at these cars. They're just gonna it's gonna be along here and say, oh look, shit, we fixed it. We we added we added more lanes, and now it works. How is there more demand for residential? Do you have any idea how much cocking residential you have got right now? What do you people want from me? Okay, well I guess we'll just build another cocking loop around the outside though we're gonna start running into problems at some point with that actually you know it doesn't need to be a proper loop it doesn't necessarily need to be a loop you can just kind of come out here and then just round the outside and like it that, that it doesn't really matter anymore this is still raised right yeah that's all raised like no one it doesn't have to be a loop anymore like when we're not insisting on the loop situation there are a few people dying oh houses are being upgraded there are better houses people are happy people are wealthy people desperately want to move into this city but, like, peop they're not desperate enough. We need more people. We need more people and they need to be desperate. All right? More de build more housing close by to the industrial zone. Increase levels of human desperation further. All right? Just more people closer to the factories that they shall work in. Also, this over here. All, all of this shall just be people. Okay? And if people... You know what? Some people can also live right next to the Mega Junction. I'm sure they shall enjoy looking upon the Mega Junction. It shall bring them joy and happiness to see the glory of a road system that actually cocking works. Look at it, it's working. It turns out all you need to do to solve traffic is just add additional lanes. And that does it. Job done. I just added enough lanes. Look at it, Claire, it's beautiful. I added so many lanes and mm. now they work. You're feeling better. Yes. You okay? Yes. Did the dog help? Yes. There are now enough lanes. And uh, people are just be like, oh, John, you can't do that. It's a well known fact that you can't just add another lane to sort of traffic. Well, it looks like I just did. 
Looks to Where does two cars stop, though? Uh, I think they're walking their dog. I don't know why these cars are here. I can't click on them. Uh, maybe they're trying to build a house over here. Uh-huh. People who enjoy, like, watching cars are going to have a lovely time on my new bits and pieces. And now we just... Oh, mm -hmm. the green arrows. That's a good sign. That's a really good sign. We're just going to... Now we're just going to build another lane on the outside. And, and it's all... And we're just going to hook that into this system. And it's all going to work out fine. Just, you know, just additional four-lane divided roads. Uh, we're just going to have you come out a little bit. That's absolutely fine. Just make sure that's actually set to a curve. So it actually curves out here a little bit. Oh, busy town! Yes, an extra 1,600,000 US dollars. Uh, Buy more land, have more points to spend, etc., etc. <laughs> that just gets me ore mining. Gated communities? Oh, dear. Only people, oh. It's only people living or working in the district are allowed in. Okay. So it's not, I, I can't actually just create a nightmare where unless your level of wealth is a certain level, you're not allowed past the gate. So it'll shoot you. John. Well, that's kind of what a gated community is, minus the shooting. Well, yes. I mean, I don't know if there's a neighborhood watch. Mm. Um, but you know. Yeah, well, there you go. As I was just saying, we were just setting up a lovely new thing there, but I've now got a bigger town, so okay. Yeah, now it's not, it's officially not a village anymore. Oh, it was already not a village. It was mm. already, it hasn't been a village for a while. Right, let's just get round to here, just bring you round, and now we just, yeah, have a lovely, lovely, ooh, there. Yeah, now we can just have it basically going in the right sort of direction this is this is all going to be beautiful right here that's why on earth have that weird kink at the end of it eh, it just does it's fine some of the roads have a slightly odd kink but that's that's fine it's, it'll be a, it'll be a charming feature that people enjoy and actually this is very convenient timing because i'm pretty sure i need to i need to buy more land right about now we need to we, need, we do actually need to buy some land the ground is getting polluted ground pollution is affecting only people that live by the industrial zones they knew the risks when they bought those houses your honor all right, this is that's that's fine. They, they they this is that that's that's part of the plan. It just increases their desperation index, which means they're more likely to take the factory jobs that we need doing. All right, this is this was actually uh, intentional. It's so just round two here, round back out again around the corner, and you can then just go back in right over to here. We're going to demolish one house, but that's absolutely fine. And then we just build a couple of extra links in like you know continuing this nice path straight out so you can always Wait, like can you zoom out a little bit you've made it a bit more of a heart shape that's true it's kind of it, it's kind of heart shaped that's that's not untrue no <laughs> wasn't intentional it's not a city of love it's a city of desperation i thought we did we clarified on this point claire well it does have a weird smelly industrial chemical growth on the side of it so presume yes that's true no i i know that right get over to you get over to you you're already where you should be you're already where you should be that's already looped around to you you've already looped around to you you could loop to actually no that's that's the exit road isn't it but then maybe i'm kind of losing track of what all the roads do uh but that's fine and now we just paint everything with cocking low density housing because the city wants nothing but cocking low density housing so fuck it here you want housing have all the housing in the world jafar and everything that comes with it there we go everything's fine literally an entire loop that's nothing but low density housing because that's that's the only thing anyone cocking wants. Claire! Yes, indeed. Uh, you know, there's uh, empty uh, land in the centre where no one's built more medium tier housing. It's empty. Uh, shout out to Michael who gave us two dollars and says, You tease! <laughs> I think it's the time where you said you were going to use two way streets and then you didn't for a there while. There are two way streets all over the place here. I know there are. This was a while ago. This, by the way, is like the only area which has got like, you know, a big housing. This is where we kind of built some like apartment buildings and whatever. Mm. So we got some like, we got some apartment buildings. This is like, these are the biggest buildings in the place. I like how they show you every single family that lives there. It's very cute. Nice. It's a very cute system. That um, house is abandoned. Oh, several houses are abandoned. Uh, shout out to Wobble who uh, gave us two pounds and wants to know if uh, we've built the zebra and giraffe factories yet. No, the zebra and giraffe factories do not exist, sadly. Also, there's definitely still... That took still... you a minute. 
There's still a little bit of a traffic jam going on here, but it's really not that bad. That That's at the start of Spiral. Like, really, if I just replicate... Claire, this is just flowing. Look at this. Look at this. This is sexy nonsense right here. This is sexy nonsense right here. <laughs> Game just decides to redraw itself. Still still slightly struggling. Slightly struggling. A lot of businesses claiming they don't have customers. Mainly because I put all the customers up here. <laughs> the customers live in their own district, away from the shops. So this is this is all absolutely fine. All we need is, yes, just more lanes. We just need a handful more lanes, and this will all, all be made to work. Like, the problem here is there's only three lanes. Like clearly, we just need additional lanes. And then this would this would all work. Like the spiral's got a bit of traffic on it, but honestly, I think it mm, kinda works. This is very interesting. Uh-oh. Um Carly says, you won't get much medium or high density demand in your first year. You need adults to move in and have children and then have them grow up and move out to apartments. Yeah. Interesting. Oh, is that why everyone's like wealthy? Well, like, okay, in this game it's weird because like wealth actually directly correlates to education. Like, <laughs> like, you know, don't we all? I mean, no, we don't all wish because that would be terrible and dystopian. But, you know, people with a lot of university debt do kind of wish. Yeah. So, like, well, there's. So, like, yeah, that, that doesn't seem to be like. A, like, just that's just how this works. So, basically, yeah. There's a load of people who are really wealthy, which I think means, therefore, if we just kind of, yeah, pick one of these individuals. Um, well, actually, this person's uh, marked as poorly educated, even so, so it's kind of hard to figure out, yes, precisely, interesting. yes. Uh, from Antares, um, the demand for low density residential is so high because he's got taxes set too low, I think. That's true. What if I did tax the poor more? I like low taxes on the, yeah, 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 that's, that's fine, that's fine, I get it, yeah, yeah, don't worry, I understand the system, I understand the system, it's fine. Um... I think, yeah, everyone's just set to 10%. I slightly lowered commercial to give them a bit of a boost. But yes, this, this because... This just tax the higher educated more. No, surely the opposite. Surely we want... No, because if you want... If... If... If wealth correlates to education and you want lower wealth population to come into your city so that you can have them work in industry and have medium and high density. Yeah. Then you need to make it more attractive to... I think there are literally no more. highly educated or well-educated people yet. I think the best we've got is educators. Well, anyway, you should zero. just give them proper... You, you, you should just make your taxes a more fair anyway. Mm-hmm. I'm going to lower the taxes on the uneducated. Because in all fairness, it's, they, they they represent the t they represent a tiny amount anyway. Mm -hmm. So if you are uneducated, you pay no tax. The <laughs> moment you get the moment you get the like, if you want, if if you, this is what we do basically. Like our tax revenue officers, like they, they sit you down in a room, they shine a lamp in your eyes, they kind of you know they try and trick you by things like they so they go like oh A B C D E F, and if you say G, oh you get fucking tax, mate. So if, what you're saying is children don't have to pay tax. But if you get think A B C D E F and you go banana triangle, then at that point you, you don't taxes for you. Right, no taxes for the uneducated. Uneducated people, no taxes. It's there, that's that's going to cause God only knows what's about to happen. I feel like I'm yeah, creating. But you could you could just raise the rest of the. I feel like I'm, whatever I've just done, it's bad, and uh... I shouldn't have done it. <laughs> I've basically just created a massive financial incentive to not be educated, and I feel like it's gonna go wrong. At some point, that's gonna go wrong. Okay. <laughs> Uh, let's see, where were we? Uh, shout out to Joseph, who gave us $10 and says, what about a barred spiral? Uh, start with a roundabout in the middle uh, and have two streets sticking out from it that spiral around the so so circle symmetrically, <laughs> each arm filling in the other arm's empty space. Interesting. It sounds like an Escher painting, Joseph. Oh, look what we got here, Claire. There's mm. actually space for residential between the two mecha roads. Fucking hell. Yes. Car watchers will love it. And then we can have a couple of tiny shacks just fit around here. Look, if you guys want housing, congratulations. Have some mother flipping housing. Here you go. You can have housing by the motorway. Well, someone wants to move in. Someone wants to move in right here. The, these people are, they're, they're loving it. 
They're absolutely loving it. I thought I told you I didn't want... Oh, I'm, on, I'm not on the Mutant Music Non-Stop channel. I'll be why. Right, just more people. More people. In addition, that's... This has somehow generated demand for commercial. Like, I, I, I'm not 100% sure how. There's also demand for more industrial. Maybe, like, all taxes are a mistake. Maybe we just abolish all taxes and we just sort of see where we go. Just how it goes from there. Kind of, you know, it's kind of, you know, work it just step by step. We're just kind of, you know, see how see how that works out for us. Everything's going to be fine. How are we doing on power is starting to get a tiny bit on the dicey side. Um, you know what? How about we have a more expensive but less polluty uh gas power plant? And I thought we already had a coal power plant. I don't know the entire point was we had a oh a larger, more powerful coal burning facility. Ooh, okay. That seems kind of good, actually. Yeah. Okay. Even even bigger nuclear. We can afford oh, nuclear God. soon. There's... Claire, I can be trusted with nuclear power. Sure. I can be trusted with nuclear power. So that's a, oh, that's a wait, small Wait, wait, wait. Have you already paid us for this month? <laughs> Are you being serious now or not? Because no, I have not paid you for this month. You can so be trusted with nuclear power, you'd be really good with it. That was the joke, that's it. I see. It's cost Sorry, Ooh. did I make you panic? I didn't mean to. I have not, I've not paid you yet. You've not been paid yet. You've not been no, paid. No, that's okay. I'm sorry. No, it was just a dumb joke. I'm sorry. Okay, we need more space here for more power plants. That's fine. You know what? You can have all this too. Buy that. There we uh... go. We've got a little bit more space. We need, we need more power. John becoming Mr. Burns. <laughs> Lol. John's played Fallout. He's got the relevant experience. There we go. One more, more small coal power plant, which will deal with the uh, upcoming power crisis. There we go. Some point we'll trade them all out for like one single mega big power plant, but I'm sure it's all going to be fine. There is still a small fire going on, but like it's raining. So it's like, oh, it has spread next door. There we go. The, the, the fire brigade has arrived. Oh, fire it's, brigade. it's spread to the next next door. Yeah, but the fire engine's right here. The extremely low resolution, low poly glitch. Oh. It's we, been sent straight from glitch quarry. Are you a fire? You, you know, a, when, you I was, when I was making the thumbnail for this. Oh, good. Come back. Come now back. You have to do the whole. Oh, shit. Just Why are we deploying individual firefighters per fire? Why? <laughs> Why are we sending one fire truck per fire and sending one of them back <laughs> home? Please do not. If this bastard puts out this fire, then leaves because a different fire truck is going to come and put out this fire. This cannot be how this works. Yes. <laughs> Game no. of the year. No! Don't! <laughs> Why are you doing this to me? It's gonna keep spreading because by the time the fucking fire. Where's the next fire fucking truck? This is. You know, when I was making the thumbnail for. for Don't for go the back to the fire video. station! <laughs> I mean, the thing is, now it's not even your fault because it is a two way street. Did it turn around and I, come well, back? Someone's coming. A different fire truck might be coming, but if the fire spreads, then. Okay, bye! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, just have to find a legitimate point where I'm allowed to turn around. So to find a U-turn point. There we go. Just beep, 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 beep. <laughs> Thank goodness the fire truck is... That fire's getting worse. That fire's definitely getting yeah, worse. Yeah, that fire's gone to the, the little home office at the back of I the like garden. I like how Laurie's just willing to say, fuck it, I'm willing to U-turn where I'm not allowed to right turn. But the fire's like, no, we need to find the correct legal place to turn around. Someone definitely died here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm very yeah. sorry. <laughs> I think it was a child that just got burnt to death. Oh my god! A child just, yeah, that was the child just burnt to death. Oh no! Oh, that's horrifying! Oh no! On the plus side, I think the fire is now, uh, is now out. Mm. The fire situation has now been resolved. And only one child died. Oh, also, who built that house in the middle of... Oh, they're not... Oh, hang on. There is indeed one house here. This is one wealthy person has decided to buy this house. Why? 
<laughs> I don't know. Everybody's wealthy. It's very peculiar. I don't know where they're really getting their wealth from. But it's coming from... Oh, hang on. What the flip's going on over here? Backed up sewer. The sewage system is not able to drain all the wastewater. Okay. Well, I guess there is literally one pipe. <laughs> um, sewage treatment. Oh, we just need an extra... I think we just need an extra outlet for it. Or... We could, um, we could try and, like, do water purification, water pumping, water tower, groundwater pumping. I think we just need a second sewage outlet. I think we literally need to create a second sewage outlet. I think we're just pouring sewage out as fast as we can. So we just get that. And then if we just connect you to... Here, right? Are you, are you connected? Are you connected now? Yep, yeah, that's now flowing. So I've I've now doubled the amount of sewage we're pouring into the ocean. Oh god. It's it's fine. If you just if you look at this bit of the ocean, it's clean. That's don't tell da don't tell Water David said. Attenborough. Do not tell David Attenborough. Okay. Oh no, hang on, no, no, I've got I've got a plan. I've got a plan for you, Claire. I've, mm -hmm. I've got a plan. We we can fix this. Okay, shift terrain tool, yeah, yeah. Just, oh, oh, that was too much. Bit much. Okay, bit much, bit much. Are we spending money? I don't know if we're spending money on this, but that's fine. I'm just going to quarantine this bit of the ocean from the rest of the ocean. There we go. I've just created the, a, a great poo lagoon. And as a result of that, the rest of the ocean is now, you're welcome. A plagoon. Yes, a, 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 a plagoon. Yes, a poo lagoon. Correct. And now the poo can't get elsewhere. Situation solved. We just put the poo in a giant pile and that solves it. Sure. No, this, this, is, a, this is a completely valid solution. Now the poo can't get anywhere. Now the poo is just going to be in the lagoon. That's going to overflow. It's not going to overflow. It's not going to overflow. We'll simply... It, we'll keep an eye on it, but I don't think it's going to overflow. It's quite low-lying next to the surrounding area. John discovers the concept of a cesspit. <laughs> Discount poo volcano. <laughs> dear, oh dear. Oh, that just reminded me. We had a special building we never built, didn't we? That's the Sculptor Mansion. Plus six well-being within 1.25 kilometers. So we're just going to put the Sculptor Mansion right in the center. Oh, this person's got a flipping... Tennis court. In fact, that's that's an inefficient use of the garden. Look at that. They've got like no garden aside from the tennis courts. That's so Jesus. yeah. That's that's a weird weird decision right there. It's a weird ass decision. Uh, but that's fine. That will hopefully incentivize more large buildings <laughs> being put up. Speaking speaking of which, apparently, okay, guess what people cocking want, Claire? It's cocking more low low density housing. Of course it is. Why do people just want nothing but low density housing? I've tried. To John. Yes. You live in low density housing. I mean that's true, but I acknowledge the existence of other types of building. Like there's no shops here. We built like four and a half shops in the center of town and that's it. There's nothing else. Mm -hmm. There's nothing else, Claire. Okay, well you're you're just being cancelled, sorry. And now we're just going to we're just going to build 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 more build more housing because apparently that's all anybody cocking wants right now. Nobody wants anything but cocking low density fucking housing. So sure, you want housing here? Have some more cocking housing. Ah! If only the housing crisis was this easy to sort out in real life. Say, so, ah, yeah. oh, fuck it, more house. People, sir, people want housing. All right, we'll just build more housing then. Sure, that seems like a good idea. I mean, you know could be they're just not doing that why are you saying i can't build here what's what's here is that a i think i may be attempting to knock down an ancient burial yeah, ground I yeah. think I may you're be attempting to knock down stonehenge well we'll just work around stonehenge then there we go We'll just, we'll just work around that, and that's absolutely fine. Then we'll just build a couple of, like, little connectors outwards. Why are you not connected outwards? You should be connected outwards. We're just going to knock down... Well, a few houses may have to be knocked down to make this all fit together. But, like, for the most part, it's going to be fine, probably. Claire! Uh, yes, indeed. A shout-out. 
<laughs> dear oh dear shout out shout out to archive who gave us two pounds and wants to know how carsick would you get driving around the city i think you'd be i think everyone would be fine i think, I think it in would... the spiral city you'd get pretty carsick well not really because you're driving it you wouldn't feel like you were on a corner it's not like there are tight turns or anything mm. there's, there's no tight turns whatsoever in fact it would be absolutely fine in that regard i th I, I think i think there wouldn't be a problem at all uh yes shout out to harry who gave us a five dollars uh and says this here is why i take the subway <laughs> <laughs> dear oh dear uh bobo gave us a ten dollars uh and says uh gun guns burgers and basket and baseballs don't tempt me with a good time <laughs> metallic can uh, gave us ten dollars and says, "Wow, I never get to catch a live stream because of my schedule, uh, but I've been watching for a long time and thank you for all the top quality content." Oh, thank you. Guess what I'm going to do, by the way, Claire? I've decided that these people now deserve a high school, nice. and I'm going to build it right at the end of this long street, so it, basically it should be easily accessible to everybody. Very good. So it's going to be right here. I think that's a really lovely place for... Oh, everyone like wow, that. Wow, everyone like that. Everybody like that. And you know what? I might even be tempted to give you guys a little bit of extra shit dotted around here. How about I give you guys... No, no, no. How about I give you a large plaza to, like, you know, for all the kids to hang out in and a large city park on the other side. Yeah, that's right. That's flipping right. That's... Oh. This is nice. No, I think actually, hang on. I'm pretty sure I can upgrade this to extension wing school library. Better chance of students graduating. Perfect place for, ooh, plus 40 outside recreation. That's pretty good. Make room for more students. I will give you guys one library. Congratulations, yeah, you can have a library. Yeah, and now that you've built them a school and a library, you can make more taxes off of them because they'll be educated. That's true, actually. Yes, it's kind of, ooh, a college and a university. And a technical university. Hmm. How big? How big and expensive is a college? I feel like we don't need a college yet. University. One point five million sim dollars. <laughs> okay. And college is seven hundred and fifty thousand. First step towards higher education for teens and adults alike provides a third level of education. I feel like for the time being, until like I see a few more people utilizing my college and my school. Because the school is currently at 10% capacity. Like there are there are ten there are ten staff to 94 pupils. Like this is, you know, quite quite a generous thing. Meanwhile, the college, 44 people have signed straight up, but there are 16 teachers. So you know, it's small class size. It's like it's it's proper Oxbridge tutorials going on here. Yeah, they're getting good value. They're getting very good value. Let's see if there's a nice park Ooh. over here. Like loads of bits and pieces. It's Ted. Oh, Ted's, Ted's on the ground. Ted's got on the floor and he's playing with his donut toy. Oh, like he's chewing his little donut. There we go. We finally, I was about to say we finally caught up with resident, low density residential. We haven't. It never stops. They, they, they never stop wanting low density. They want more. Why? I've tried. Anyway. <clears throat> I've given you everything you could possibly want. All of this is marked as low density. If you want it, build it, you bastards. Go ahead. I won't stop you, Claire. Uh, yes, indeed. Uh... <laughs> oh, shit. I've just realized something. What? They don't have the internet. I never built a... There's a radio... There's there's Oh, math. shit. There's, there's literally there's zero radio coverage. Okay. Oh, my God. So a radio mass for, yeah, mobile data, radio, and TV. This, however, is a telecom... But I need the telecom tower progression node. It's okay. That would presumably... Okay, you know what? I feel like I want to give these people the internet. Because yeah. I feel like I'd struggle without the internet. This is true. So telecoms. One telecom tower. I can... Oh, I can't afford the telecom tower. Also, there's no post service in this in this town. Uh, that's the thing I've not set up. Oh, God. That's, that's, that's the thing. Trains? Trains are cool. I feel like in many ways, harbour services, passengers, and... I mean, we've got water. There is water. We could just build it here, this side of the pool wall. <laughs> just build it that side of the pool wall. Well, I feel like I've done such a good job with roads, I could be trusted with building a rail network. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 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 
I'm allowed to do that again now because Tabby used to be scared of it, but Ted doesn't care. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Oh dear, oh dear. Uh, wait, stay uh, zoomed out for a second. Yes, I'm, I'm building the water lo unlock. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Shout out to Solid. Shout out to Solid Gold CEO Hi, Ted. who gave us five pounds uh, and wants to know: Is anyone else worried that the patterns created by John's Town designs will summon a horrific demon? <laughs> it's gonna be fine, I'm sure. So the dog, not John City. <laughs> now, where's this? Where's this whole? I mean, I the think thing. He's just chugging. Hmm? Yes, it is. It definitely is chugging a bit. Though I also, I think there's one slightly loose fan I need to fix at some point. Ah. Uh, okay. Hang on. Rail. So rail train service. Trains go one for passengers, one for cargo. Okay. Train stations, but I can't. I can't build train stations. Oh, I need a rail yard first. Fine. Okay, that's that's absolutely fine. There we go. Ch -ch 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 I, I, don't worry. I, I should not have cancelled the tutorial. Uh, <laughs> oh, shit. You did that? Okay. Passenger ships are, uh, work from harbours. Yep, they can move large amounts of passengers around uh, and also outside connections. Build what? a harbour on, on water. Yep, don't worry. That's got that. Seaways are lanes assigned on the water mark near where ships are allowed to travel. They can travel both directions, etc., etc. Building a seaway. I'm sure we'll figure that out. It's all going to be fine. Uh, make a passenger ship line. Ah, it's fine. I kind of feel more like more like a rail system for the maintenance of trains. Maybe I should just just slightly. I think that the 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 I thought I knew where the tutorials lived after you got rid of them, but they appear to be gone. So I'm sure that's absolutely Is it fine. the question mark up top? Like here. Ooh. No, no, I think I've actually found uh, water and search. Oh, no, is this the... Oh, I found, I found the lairs. Jesus, it's been a long... I did not find them. That's been a long time since we found them. Okay, that's unfortunate. Telecoms right there. Well, we can give these guys basic telecoms. Right, I didn't know where the lairs were. That's that's okay. Everything's fine. Yes, tell me about how to build trains. Tell me about no, not water or public or transportation, but like cargo, passenger. No, not buses. And kind of, kind of trains. Just, 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 just. It's it's trying not to tell me about trains. It's desperately trying to not tell me about trains because it's scared I might build one. Well, it's trying to tell you about buses before trains. I think. Hmm. Well, that's just a, oh, using train ships, more businesses that are profitable, and production of goods and materials goes well in the city. I feel like I shouldn't build a train. It makes it possible for people to visit my city. Yeah, but like, how do you connect them to the outside world? Like, am I building connections? Okay, the thing is, I've built. Okay, wait a minute. I've built one bus line. Okay, and my one bus line is very, very bad. My this one, is true. my one bus line, like nobody uses. Like if I could just find one of my lovely blue buses that's just kind of working in the spiral, nobody uses it. At, like pretty much nobody at all. Um, this is connects to bus stop to. I kind of don't even know how to subvert. Is it this? Yes, bus line one. Usage six percent of capacity. Oh bless! Thirty passengers out of a town of eight eight and a half thousand. Wait, so um, Molly wanted to know. Yes. Uh, da, 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 sorry. Uh, anyway, somebody wanted to know. Uh, Molly asked something else. I'm so sorry. Um, when you go to the low density housing yes. tab. Um. Yeah. When you go to build low density housing, yeah. what are all the other Yeah, what are all Medium. the other things? Medium. Mixed. So apartments and also residential. Yeah. And low rent. Yeah. Which is its own separate third which I think is its own separate third thing. Mm. So is that is the low rent high density? Yes, that counts as high density because it's it's a large apartment building with small apartments, mm, so it's yeah, yeah, quite yeah. dense by definition. Yeah. So I think the person who asked thought that that tab yeah. was the 
low density tab, but it was just the No, this is the residential tab, tab and this is uh, the commercial tab, and this is the industrial tab, and that's the office tab, and nobody else wants any office space. There's been no demand for office at any point. Weird. Yeah. The problem is these people are all well, they're wealthy, but if you then look at them, they're still poorly educated. So I'm not sure how they've got this wealthy. Because is it is it like is is the market economy what's the market economy doing? This building apparently has high rent. Okay, we found we found one we found officially one poor person over here, but they're happy. They're happy about the high rent situation. They're okay with that. So honestly, that's that's a okay. Different zone density may be required. Well, there's. I'm just slapping down as much as as much as you want. This seriously, the, the this entire area can be built upon low density. You, you can do it. Go right ahead. We're desperately just trying to keep up with the low density demand. The taxes. People are yelling the taxes. Yeah, we looked at the taxes. And I, I already I already lowered the taxes on, on, like, uneducated people have no taxes. How? What? Okay, people. What do you want me to do to the taxes to make people want higher density? Like, we understand that in real life, wealth and intelligence or wealth and education are definitely not connected. Okay, hang on. What we're saying is in this game, it's Hang on, hang on. Be... No, 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 Wait, I think I have a theory. Uh -huh. Okay, I'm gonna prepare for the, the, the manifesto. All right, this is, this is, this is... It could be witches. This, Some this, evil this is, witches. This is the, the, the hexagonal capital mm -hmm. by many a true nerd. Okay, like, look over here. This thing the game just flagged to me. This person is living in a nice, small house, but they are poor. Therefore, they're struggling with the rent. No. Okay. So poor people can't afford to live in these small houses. They need to have smaller, denser apartments mm -hmm. that are cheaper to maintain. So what we need to do is tax the fuck out of the rich... So that they all abandon the town and like, and we, we okay. I said that. Progressive I said that taxation. Progressive I taxation. I said that like half an hour ago. Well, now we're going to do it. So, okay. Thanks. The, so yes, the highly educated are going up to, yeah, that can be 20. We're just, just going to finger in the air. This It's just going to be like tax base vibes. Um, in fact, yeah, we're actually, we're actually gonna, we're actually gonna pay, we're gonna pay uneducated people to come into town. Poorly educated, uh, you can pay barely any taxes. Uh, the educated uh, can have a little bit. But then again, the educated, I think, are the problem. They're the biggest group. The, there are none of these people. So fuck these guys. You're, you guys are up to, you guys are up to 15%. The poorly educated can be down to five. You can, you can be, it's, why did that just jump down? But all right. You can be at five. Uh, educated are up to 15 Okay, so now this is possibly going to collapse the economy, but we're going to see what's about to happen because possibly what's about to happen is a huge number of people who are relatively comfortable have bought nice houses and now I've just doubled their tax bill. And I feel like I'm not just like fucking over like billionaires here because we're like, we're also just fucking over like, you know, the people living in an uh, unflipping uh, guns, uh, burgers and barbecue street. Like some of these people are... Uh, modest, poor, wealthy. Yeah, there's plenty of wealthy people just living in shacks. Wealthy people living in shacks over here. So, okay. We're going to see what this does to the distribution of, of this. We're just going to, we're just going to, we're just going to whack it up. I'm going to see if over time, whether this fixes it. I mean, at the bare minimum, it's going to like, you know, make, it's going to make us more money. Like if the people don't all abandon the town, then they have to pay the new taxes. So that would be fine too, in a way. We're just gonna. We just have to. We have to just keep it. Keep it moving. We just have to keep expanding this area further and further. And you know what? I've also just realised something else, Claire. Mm -hmm. What we've got simultaneously is a, a giant number of businesses over here saying, oh, "I don't have enough customers," and a giant number of people over here who just aren't close enough to make use of these businesses. So fuck it. I'm just going to extend this area, and we're just going to build a fuck ton of housing over here with beautiful views of the Pool Lagoon. <laughs> Pool Lagoon. Uh, happy days. Uh, and that's that's how we're going to fix it. We're, we're going to fix it this way. We're just going to create some lovely, lovely views of the Pool Lagoon right here. There we go. Just round to, to here. 
up to this way, just round the corner. This is all going to be absolutely fine. You can just hook up to this as time goes by into that system. That's all absolutely fine. You guys can just be over here as as well. That's all oh, okay. Somebody says the no customers flag is a bug. Yeah, but we're not a hundred percent sure whether that's true or not. So we're just gonna do we're just gonna go with that. I'm just gonna feel like I just feel like we're just gonna like also you know just just soak the rich is also just a vibe in a way. Like, you know, mm -hmm. if you think about it. So we're just gonna just Wait, sorry, what's a vibe? Just tax the rich. You know. I mean, yes, I'm aware that Tax the Rich is a vibe. It's been my vibe for a long time, John. Mm -hmm. There we go. More people can just be here. And all these it's people... Like my entire country's vibe. There we go. Just uh, There we go. Here you go. More more cooking houses. More cooking <laughs> houses. There you go. With beautiful views of the of the Poo Lagoon. <laughs> there we go. Uh, yeah, I wonder yeah, if the yeah, Poo Lagoon yeah. smells. Is there a smell? Is, is there, there a, a smell button? Air pollution, non-existent. Ground pollution, non-existent. Noise pollution, obviously non-existent. Water pollution there, but it's not soaking anywhere. So basically, problem is fine. Mm. The Pool Lagoon has no problems whatsoever. And because I am a decent, benevolent overlord... Uh, oh, I'm... it's been confirmed by Colossal, by colossal Order that uh, no customer thing is a bug. I'm going to set up a dog park. Good. You can have... A place to walk your dogs. Congratulations. You can now walk your dogs right here. There is a lovely place for you guys to walk your dogs. So there's even more. There's also more demand for industrial. Because of course why wouldn't their cocky be? Everything's fine. We're just building giant... So the hexagon's got a bit sloppy around the edge. In some ways. But it's it was never a hexagon. It was a spider web. And those are organic. Yeah. So it's fine. I mean, the games. No one's like said to me, "We're going to storm the mayor's house." He's 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 ruined everything. So in a way, I feel like I'm still not taxing the rich enough, like at all. Like I just feel like. Well, you... I don't think you have any rich people to tax. Oh, we've got we've got educated people, mm -hmm. which seems to correspond to that. Because there's you can't the tax game, people yes. based on their wealth level or income or whatever. You can only tax. On this, so the moment people, ah. be yes. Uh, MG Steve would like to remind you to put water and electricity into that new zone you just made. I'm pretty sure it runs along. Hang on. Well, just check. Yeah, they've got they've got that. They've it, got it. It, it, okay, it just cool. fits into the road. It just fit via this road network. It's fine. So that's all absolutely a okay. We've got more and more chicken, more and more chicken coops over here. By the way, this this chicken farm's up to three out of five. Uh, this chicken, this chicken farm's going absolutely bananas. They're producing so many cocky chickens. They're having just a lovely time, all things considered. So, uh, yeah, check produ ch chicken production. I mean, we're still we're still running a massive chicken deficit. Like, there's just not it's enough. It's because you live in this town and you love chicken. Yeah, it's true. And you know what? This this metal plus plastic equals vehicle factory is going well. You know what? Is there anything else we could actually? You know, there is, there is wood. But then again, wood was the one thing we already had enough of. You know, oh, oh, let me oh, just go check Ted on the boy. Ted spotted something in, possibly a fox. Possibly he's yeah, imagining it. Yeah, he saw a fox this morning. Hello, young man. Hi, Ted. Yes. Hey. But you're bringing yourself Hi. in here, sir. Yeah, let's close the door for a second. Do you want to be wrapped up? Ted, we like wrapping. Ted gets likes being wrapped up. So... Like some people just seem to be, you know, okay, let's 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 check this. Let's figure out what's going on here. Let's find a wealthy person. Let's find one of these wealthy people I'm trying to tax. Wretched, oh dear. Modest, poor. Okay, there's a wealthy person. Okay, check and also Frost the dog is flagged. Right, so you you are sleeping. You are educated, you are wealthy. You are poorly educated, but you're wealthy. The problem is the only mechanism I've got to tax people is education. But education doesn't seem to perfectly correlate with wealth. So, how do I tax the people who are living in the nice houses? Hey, John? Yes? So I put a oh, blanket on Ted. the dog. Ted likes being wrapped up in a blanket when he feels stressed. And then he just flopped He just the flopped, bless him. Or wrapped up like a burrito. This house just leveled up. This is a level two house. Modest wealth. You are uneducated, but have modest wealth. You are poorly educated. 
and have you're an employee basic at Bev Pop. You're a student. So you're on the pro Oh, you're a child. Okay, I shouldn't make tax decisions based on your, your economic circumstances as you are literally a child. Wealth is not equal to educated, as people are telling me in chat. Yeah, but how how do I Well people the houses are getting a leveling up, suggesting people have got leftover wealth, but even so they're leveling up and they're happy. But I thought leveling up. Hmm. <laughs> the problem is I can't just force people. I can't just build apartments. Like, I'm just trying to figure out how to incentivize apartment building. Because there's all this, this land here is reserved for apartments. You can't build low density on it. But nobody wants it. So in which case... Hmm. 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 Okay, hang on. Let's let's have a little look see in if I can do anything in the research territory. Cause right now I've got no I've got no points available just at the moment. And also I, I should set up basic comms. I should definitely set up basic comms. Uh, Are there new taxation methods in research? That's interesting. Um, if there are, I wouldn't see which tab they'd be part of. Or city policies, maybe? I mean, we're up to cooking. Yeah, the next level, we're going to get really high-density housing. But nobody yeah. wants it. That's the trick. How are we going to get people to not want this? Press the population number at the bottom. Okay. Population. This is showing me... Desirability? Age? What is this? I don't know what this is showing me. What? What? what what's the colour scheme here? Citizen age. Ah, young to old. Okay. So we've got a lot of old people. And then now press C. C? I'm not doing this. I'm not pushing buttons. Last, listen, remember the yeah, last time we did the city true. skylines one and the people asked me to push things without knowing what they did. They tricked me with the old alt F4. I'm not pushing buttons without knowing what they do. So, I mean, actually, someone did say you don't expect to have that much in your first year. You have to wait for people mm. to have children. It is technically, I think, still the first year right now. So we need, I think we might just need to let okay. time do its dance. This is my username, says educated people went to high school as teens. Well-educated people went to college as teen or adults, and universities will make people highly educated. Yeah. Uh, you can increase education levels by building more high schools and colleges. Yes, but like, if if there's not a direct... Well, I guess there's a slight correlation between education and earnings, just not as big as we'd like. So, okay, if we can't directly inform this, then we are going to, you know, slightly up the taxes slightly but you know what we'll let we'll let the people who are towards the lower end of the spectrum have a bit of a bit of time off but we'll also if we can maybe i'm just going to lower the well-educated and highly educated because right now there's none that there are none of these people and we'll check back later whether lowering that has like caused any to move into the town so yes high taxes bring in more money but people could be driven away we'll say 15 percent is fine 15 yeah, you can increase fine. education levels by building more of the, yeah. The schools, yeah. But, like, for the time being, the schools aren't even close to capacity. So building more schools wouldn't help me. Like, we got ourselves, hang on, that's healthcare, that's the education. Yeah, education is, 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 is okay. There's, like, some outlying streets which are not well served by the schools, I will admit. That's definitely true. Can you true. create districts and then increase the taxes per district? That's interesting. Uh, let's check this district that we saw previously. Speed bumps, roadside parking, recycling, heavy traffic, gated community. No. Okay. Not, not at the moment. But it might, it might come in down the line. It might come in down the line. Also, this, this garbage. Three out, three out of ten on the garbage trucks. I'm not sure why we use so few garbage trucks, but we just use very few garbage trucks. Dear oh flippy dear. Everything's going to be fine, probably. 
Yeah, somebody, uh, yeah, definitely, like, you don't need more schools, you need better schools. Like, you don't have a university, for instance. True, but, like, right now there wouldn't be enough people... The number of people in even a high school is so low, even a college would be vastly under... Like, the economy's not strong enough to support mm. universities that we're not using, is the problem. And if we, like, right I now... I think it's possible, because, okay, here's... Uh, somebody says... Uh, Kicking Sam says, My town has, like, 700 people, and people are already asking me for medium-density housing. Perhaps your absurd city design has something to do with the lack of demand. Well, we do actually... We actually, we have, we actually have some medium and high density in the no, circles. John, I was gonna say, yeah. I think what happened is that you built this city up very quickly yes. by first making yeah. the layers of the city as you like them and then yeah. saying, you can have, like, I don't know, the whole of the city in, in like, a, a green low density. Oh, hang on. Just, I think I see yeah. precisely what's happening. Look, the, the existing high-density buildings we've got, some of them are not quite full. So anyone who comes in who wants to live in yeah. medium density, there's enough capacity already. Yeah. There's simply already enough capacity in place. They don't need more. So, okay, that's... Um, it's, yeah. There's yeah. just enough if of it already. You, if you have colleges and universities in the city, young people will move there to attract them. Oh, Okay. Yeah, yeah. So if you if you do now, that's th interesting. Now, the if you build it, they will come, kind of thing. All right, third level of education, and this one again doesn't appear to have like a. It doesn't like come with a. You you know this affects certain areas. Just like people, yeah. like it's just people will come here. All right. Well, you know what? Even though the, these schools up here aren't doing that much, like the ed, the primary like this primary education school is only at one hundred twenty five. Down over here in the spiral, this one's at like almost half capacity. This one's got like, you know, about third capacity. And the high school we built is up to, you know, it's it's slowly increasing. It's slowly increasing. So I feel like, you know what? I, I'm willing to drop some money on a college and we'll see how it goes. Yeah, you have too much of the other residential, basically. Yeah, I think we've got enough that's already filling that's already that's already filling it up. So that kind of makes sense. So okay. I'm willing to build one, yeah, one lovely college here. The college should be, I feel like the college should be somewhere really nice, though. I feel like what we're going to do is we're going to build another layer out of the, of this. And then we're going to build the college sort of like nearby, to nearish by to the high school. Like, uh, I mean, or as like a boost to this area, we could build it like nearby to the Pool Lagoon. Also, these people have literally built... Oh, the views. <laughs> the views. The poos. I like how this guy's only got like half a fence because like there's a bit where he just like, you know, in case you just, you know, carrying he one. Goes fishing. You know, he, just, he just takes a chair here. It's like, ah, oh, breathe it in. <laughs> oh, happy days. Good old poo lagoon. Okay, you know, I'm, I'm going to defeat this bar. This bar is going to be brought down. I'm just going to. This entire area is going to be... Uh, we're going to build a low so more industrial... You can click the icon next to the demand bars for a breakdown of reasons. Can you? Apparently. Icons next to the demand bars. The icons next to the demand bars. Well... Ah, okay. Unoccupied buildings, availability of jobs, happiness, taxes. Tax... Okay. So yeah, we that is the reason they don't want it is because there are already buildings that fulfill the demands. Mm. There need to be jobs available. They need happiness to be higher, and they want happiness generally. Happiness to be high, and yeah, taxes being favourable. But it's unclear which taxes precisely. So oh, city policies. Oh, okay. There are city policies over here. That's interesting. Uh, industrial something 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 produce programs taxi minimum fare minimum charge applied to every taxi ride city promotion high speed Ooh, high speed highways need to be a level 10 poor can think about that okay there's nothing too exciting related to that there but okay yes what we need to do is just i'm going to one expand the industrial zone, because that's what people want. They just want more of the industrial zone. So I'm so sorry. You're about to be demolished. Sorry about that, buddy. So the spiral is about to be ever so slightly um, 
not not much of a spiral anymore but that's fine we'll just we'll just spiral it outwards in in a different direction it's all going to be a-okay everything's going to be uh, uh that no you weren't supposed to be like that be, be be a proper curvy road all right be a proper curvy road okay there we go just round two here round two here everything's fine it's just going to be a nice little area around here around the back of the tip which is all good to be a-okay. I'm really sorry, by the way. I appreciate when you bought this house, there was not like a factory next to your next to your house, but now now there is. So like, deal with it basically. Um, so that's all fine and as it should be. And then you can simply go to here, and then we'll just basically have a series of yeah escalating loops going outwards, and that will all work out fine. So maybe a bit more like yeah, to, uh, from here out to here, and then just kind of yeah, we'll just have it kind of be looping around a little bit. I like it being a nice no, I like it being a nice curve. I'm just gonna build a bit more industrial. Clap. Uh yes, indeed. Uh, shout out to Stian who gave us 50 Norwegian krona. Best krona. Uh, and wants you to rank the different krona currencies. Uh, Danish, Swedish, Norwegian, and Icelandic. I believe... Thank you for all the content. You're both you're both awesome. Now, I believe we once did this. It was, I think, during a park builder. Yes, indeed. But I'm trying to remember which park builder it was. Mm. Um, we did a race around the... We, we did. A race did. Track. And I believe we... I think Danish came last, but we also declared it was Swedish the strongest... Win. I think Swedish did win. I, I think that's true as well. I believe that is true. So we're just going to demolish a few more houses here. We're going to... You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do something that mm. hurts me on a personal level, but it's going to make it faster and easier to build more housing to keep these people happy. I'm going to build a grid. I know. And it's going to be entirely in the American style because it's an American system. Okay, then. I know. That's that's what we're going to do. We're going to build a grid system. It's going to be it's going to be it's going to be hor horrible, but you know it it is what it is. So there we go. It's we're just going to build a grid system. Look at it. Look at how it grids. Look how it's just a, a really boring series of things. Look look at look at it grids, Claire. Look at it grid. Oh dear, look at the boring, boring grid system. You bloody Americans and your grid systems. This is okay. I've kind of, this is kind of missing the point of the grid system in a way. Uh, right, get to, to, to here, and then like you know, we'll have like more roads like around uh, here-ish. That can be like you know one like, that goes a tiny, tiny bit. It doesn't quite fit in the, in the, in the space. It, 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 then it just kind of kinks oh, around. Oh wow, such a grid. Then it just kind of kinks around the edge a little bit. There we go, and then it's like to there, and then this this one kind of has to slightly go in the grid. There we go, it's grid. And this this should be where we put the parks. This is where the park. Apparently, will be kept. there's a grid tool built in. Is there now? <laughs> yeah, well, that's a shame. Uh, what? Well, <laughs> it's fine. We're just going to build a nice small park right on the corner for you guys. Actually, no, no. You you get a large park. You get a large playground because it's large, but it like doesn't take any space. Uh, does anyone else like feeling like they their their housing is? Oh, some of these people feel like they've got like no no nice any anywhere nice for them to like play or whatever. Like loads, loads of you, the same thing. Actually, you know what? I think you're fine. I think you, you, you'll all be okay. Some people live out here. Okay, I'm gonna demolish one of your houses, so that like you know you can have like a nice, some nice, nice parks to play with. Which I could, which I could really big one. Which I could really big park. Yeah, there we go. That's gonna make so many people happy. There we go. I've demolished a couple of houses to build that park, but I think that's. Oh, hang on. What did I just do? What did I just do? What, what, what does this symbol mean? The structure has been damaged by bad weather. Oh, that's not my fault. That's not my... Oh, oh okay. Um, now. So, there, there is such a... Th Here's the thing. What did you do? I didn't do anything. But this there... Is that the problem, but then? But there is... There is a system of emergency something or another. Something weather Yeah, emergency. emergency. Yeah, there are such things as, um, you know, emergency, small emergency shelters yeah. and Ooh. early warning systems. We didn't invest in those. Um, so these people just have to, like, chill what, out. What's going on, actually? I think Do it's like, know? I think it's a very, it looks like it's just a very heavy storm. I think, I think there's just a very heavy storm going on. And they're just going to have to deal with it. 
Uh, maybe it's flooding. Could be flood. Oh no! The people over on Hot Dogs, Guns, and Baseball Street were one step ahead of the curve. Oh no, Claire. That's that's sad. They, 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 the, the Americans, they, they saw it coming. They knew this was about to happen. Right, here we go. Hey, guys, 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 here. Have some more cooking industrial. Have all the industry you want. Lovely. Right, we're just going to paint all this yellow. We're going to paint all the other stuff blue. And it's all going to be fine. Claire! Uh, yes, indeed. <laughs> oh, dear. Um... Oh, shout out. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to say your name. I mean, I'm sure I'm going to say your name wrong. Uh, but shout out to um, Thorfinner, uh, who has been a member for 17 months and says, please replace every intersection with a roundabout. No, no, I refuse. Absolutely refuse. Uh, Paul's been a member for 71 months. Uh, and says, people, drive where you will. The traffic laws are a lie. They cannot contain us if we resist this madness together. I think that's when you deleted the roads. It's not wrong, you know. Mm. How's the crematorium doing? I think the crematorium is struggling a little bit to keep up. But if we put in mm. an additional hearse garage round the back. We already got a hearse garage. I think we need, okay, I think we need additional, or we just need a new crematorium. The crematorium is, well, actually, it's just struggling to keep up with gathering the, the hearses. This medical center, oh, yeah, how's medicine doing? Ah, oh, you know what, that one hospital's doing a competent job. That one hospital we built is actually paying for itself at this point. So that's actually okay. I want to say, wow, it's got 10 patients out of 500 capacity. I think I did make it better. I think I did plug in something to make it very good. So, okay, we've just got doctors sitting around twiddling their thumbs, really, really hoping a medical emergency happens at some point because they're really bored. They're just, they're just hugely bored at the moment. Poor, bored doctors. Mm. And, you know, the situation, everyone seems to be leveling up and whatnot. There's also... I was about to say, I think this, res this, this house is occupied by a dog and no one else. But, no, there is actually one person. There we go. There's, there's Berry. Berry the dog. Where is Barry the dog? Let's see Barry. There he is. That's a tree. Barry is somewhere around here. Possibly inside at the moment. Because it is raining quite hard at the moment. This is the only European... Oh, hi, Teddy. This is the only nice European street we were able to get. What is this ghost? Oh, hello, ghost dog. You a ghost? Hi. He's a ghost because he's got a blanket on him. It's true. He likes dressing up as a ghost. This is Halloween costume. That's what he's doing for Halloween this year. Mm -hmm. There is a little bit of trouble on the old spine. Also, seriously, John, stop forgetting to give these people access to, like, telecoms. Like, bare minimum, they should have... Oh, that is not enough range. Um. Okay, just slip in the telecom over here and then see if there's anything we can do to boost the signal. Because right now that's the only one we've got. So yeah, generally there's enhances network significantly and I'll send for more traffic. Or increases network coverage. Yes, that's what we need. Do I need to build that? No, I just shove that on. Yeah, okay, building upgraded. That's already been done. So okay. Check that. Uh show me the telecoms uh fields. So, oh, which filter is that? There's disaster control. Disaster control, there is no coverage anywhere. We simply do not have that. That's that's not a thing we have. Uh, that's the post system. There's telecoms. Okay, you know what we've got? Uh, okay, some of these houses around the outside do not have good coverage. If we keep expanding up here, we'll need to build a new telecom thing at some point. Because otherwise, the, the coverage is very bad. But like as time goes by, these are going to be yeah, these houses are gonna get way these houses will start chilling out. They're gonna get there we go, they just flicked over. I think it just updated, start a new day or something. So okay, that's good. We don't have a post service. I feel like we should do you think we should have a post office? Yes, I think we should. I think we should have a post office. I don't know what it does precisely. But like I just sort of feel like Well, it delivers packages to you, John. That's true. Post services deliver types of mail around the city. It's an important form of communication. A well-working post office has a positive effect on citizen well-being and also make companies work better. Build a post office. They had the local mail. Fine. Okay. They can drop the... They can visit the office directly. Or put mailboxes by any side of the road. Place them in convenient locations around residential areas and, pe and places people frequent. And then, yes, the, the vans pick those up. 
I mean, it's a bit vague on, like, how it works precisely. And, yeah, if I put you, say, towards the center, yeah, that's going to provide good coverage to... Yeah, if I just put you in the center of the grid here, that's going to provide coverage to functionally everybody in this area. So, you know what? If that's not going to knock down anything, then, yeah, just put you over back into post mode for a second. This is good. This this provides good coverage to this. So we're gonna put the we're gonna put you right there. We now have a post office, okay? And now we need mailboxes, which we can just basically put like anywhere. Though I don't know whether we need them. Oh, you did the thing again. There we go. Uh, okay, show me the post filter. Put no post filter. Yeah. So if I put down, aha, mail. So okay. People who live sufficiently close to a post office do not need this. But if I just put down a, a mailbox, like there, which people are fine with, do businesses need a mailbox? I mean, it was saying it would help run the efficiency of that. So, yeah, you know what? I have one. There. Just, just pop it in. There we go. It's a little bit. Just like, you know, just slap them down. Slap a few... Post offices, uh, have a few post boxes down. We'll just like, you know, put one by the loops of it right on. Yeah, if you put them on a big interchange, that kind of helps out everything. So yeah, big one or about there. Nice. That's good coverage. That's good. The way this works is, yeah, if I put it close by to the interchanges here, then one, two, and then I just need to put one around here somewhere, though. This is... Due to the way this bit of the city works, we're going to be a little bit inefficient when it comes to the the mail. But that's... It's all fine. We just need to, like, put them in a place where it sort of radiates round nicely. It won't be perfect post coverage. There will be, like, you know, issues with the level of post coverage. It's going to take a while for the vans to pick this all up. It'll actually be easier... In the center, in a way, and then like more well, around. While you to lay these here. down, yes, Claire. Uh, shout out to Molly who gave us five uh, dollars and says I was watching another person play this the other day, and I was appalled by lack of one-way streets and roundabouts <laughs> in her city. I'm so happy to be here. Lol. Um, let's see. Do, 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 do. Uh, Gary's been a member for 11 months and says nearly a year. Nice. Indeed, we've got other uh, other um, milestones. Silver Iron's been a member for tw 12 months and says one year already. Nice. Um, Maxwell's been a member for 23 months and says beep boop. I have subscribed for almost two years. Nice. Congratulations. Very, very nice indeed. Um, and... Good news from the Little Briar Rose, who yeah. gave us $10. My contract was ending, but it got extended. So nice. I'm sharing the joy. Also, if you want to be a girl, you can just be a girl. Trans rights. Damn straight. Absolutely trans rights. Okay, so we've now got a giant pile of post boxes set up like everywhere. Very nice. I'm not sure whether I need to actually do anything yet. Yeah, now we just get time moving along here. And the post office will presumably start collecting mail. Right now, none of its vehicles are in use. But then we've only just, like, introduced mail into the, you know, city. So some people might be like, what's mail? I, I don't understand this strange concept. But, like, we've just given, like, the people who live here, who already, like, tended to be pretty wealthy, they've just been handed a, a giant pile of radio, television, internet, and now also the post service exists. Now, admittedly... Oh, maybe. Problem is, we're making, we're making a little bit of a loss, but then we always are. Like, you know, we kind of depend on government subsidies in a in a way. But as long as we get up to the next level, we'll be hand, given a giant pile of money. At some oh, point, we'll I think somebody the wants a little outside break. Oh, you want to give him... wants a wee break. Oh, it's pretty early for him to want a wee break. But yeah, sure, if you want to just give him a break anyway, given, well, you know... Well, he just gave me his paw. Oh, if he gave you his paw, then that means he definitely needs a little break. <gasps> Ted, do you want to move so I can roll my chair back without squishing me? <laughs> All right. The he firehouse... does not want to move. Bless Come him. On. I mean, 
here's the thing. This, the crematorium, is, it's, it's vehicles are, ma even though it's not got that many bodies here, it's vehicles are maxed out. I feel like we should just build a new crematorium on the other side of town. Because there are a lot of corpses, actually. So I'm going to build, yeah, I'm going to build another crematorium. Uh, not another cemetery. The cemetery is fine. So we're just going to, yes, have like one of you over here just to deal with that nonsense. It can be towards the edge of town. It doesn't need to be like in the center of town at all. If it's kind of vaguely nearby to, actually, it kind of feels weird putting it close to the college. Um, it can just be on the edge of town over, over here. All right, and then it can fairly easily get where it needs to go when the time is right. Let's just check if there's a good. This is a good. Yeah, there's a good. There's a good link over here. We're just gonna put you about here-ish. There we go. Brand new crematorium. Costs us a bit of money. Everyone's really happy about the crematorium. It's a quite. It's a. It's a fairly small crematorium. It's only got like ten vehicles. It does cost us a little bit of money. But that's fine. It did kind of... I think they're going to jump into action. Because there's there are a lot of vehicles. Then again... There may be technically enough vehicles... Like, the vehicles this we're sending out may just be taking a long time to get where they're supposed to be getting. We we'll just need to keep an eye on these guys as time goes by. So I'm sure it's all good to be fine. You're waiting for an ambulance. There's a few abandoned buildings over... Oh, blimey. Hello. Right. There's a very large abandoned building over here. This is, this is fascinating. There's, there's, yes, there's some large buildings over there. What on earth? Did I, did I put you some? Okay, there's, there's, this will be why there's not that much demand for the, for the, some of the, uh, yeah, some of the bigger buildings. So apparently there's just some massive ass buildings over here. Well, you know what? Fine. If no one wants to live here, we're just going to, we're just going to reassign those as low density. And then we can build the high density somewhere nicer. But I'm seeing a lot of green arrows. So like, you know... Life is good in that regard. There's a lot of there's a lot of good stuff. People are leveling up. They're happy. They're wealthy. They're doing a good job. Uh, yeah, the problem I've got here is the telecoms. There's a huge number of people over here. But as I say, if we just keep expanding over here, we'll just build a new telecom McJibble. So these people are, you know, they've got they've got good signal. They've got good signal. They've got to be really happy. They've got yes, um, they're not happy about the taxes. But you know, they've got good internet service, abundance of entertainment, reliable mail service, reliable health care options, spacious housing, which they love. Okay. This is gonna be fine. The amount of demand for single housing is starting to go down on account of the ridiculous I forgot to make it all American! The whole point was it was supposed to be American. Okay, we'll bu we'll build more. The grid system will be extended and it will be made American -er. All right, we will we will make it additionally American. It was supposed to be American, but then I forgot it was supposed to be American. This is everything's everything's fine. Just we can't we can't go into the uh, the area I'm working in right now. Then to you, then just straight back over to you. I'm so sorry. I think some of you have already got houses, but you, you don't get those anymore. Uh, right, then just get to here, straight back into the grid system. Brilliant. Okay, this is supposed to be American housing. Activate America mode. There we go. Actually, if I if I write over existing areas, do they get like literally? Wow, we literally condemn these houses for being too European. For being too European, we tear them down and say no. Build them again, but like more American. It's what we're doing. It's what we're doing. We finally started to make this happen, okay? The population is just rising. We just need the population to go up and up and up and up and up. Because we're actually starting to run not really out of space. But what there is is, interestingly, there is abandoned. Why are you abandoning these people? These people are unhappy due to high crime, poor education, abundance of entertainment, high noise pollution. It's mainly the high crime. Okay. I, I see the problem, yes. I, I can see how I never bothered building a police station covering any of this district. And also, coming up with a place where the, the police is supposed to be in this district is kind of tricky, actually. Uh, it might be better just to put the police, like, at the edge of town. Here. Like, somewhere around here, sort of. That's kind of okay. It's just got to... We might have to... If I could put it like on the spine, because that that's useless. But if we were to if we were to put it here, I mean that's sort of okay. I think people are really upset by the crime situation. Yeah, if we if we put the police station here, can it even fit here? 
I think it cannot. It it doesn't it doesn't fit. No, it doesn't work. We need to find a way of making. I mean, we could just set it back a little bit. We could just like we could create a little side road. We could just we could, we could just create like you know Cop Avenue, which the the police are allowed to use. We'll just we'll just have the the, the police. We'll just build a little a little like allows traffic. Yeah, a little alley. It's the tiny alley. For, for for the police. Okay, this is this is this is all they need. We don't need to worry about it too much. It's 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 only going to be a, a, a tiny bit of land. It just put that put that right there. That's that's fine. And now that now that means we can create we can we can put down a police station. But it seems to be the biggest thing people are upset about. They're really upset about the lack of any housing, the lack of any police coverage. So we're just going to pop that down there. It's going to cost us a fair whack of money. I'll admit. That's all absolutely fine. So there we go. Now there's arrested criminals 025. Do you mean like the number of people in the cells? Is that what you mean? This is this is only one out of 25. But like people seem to be upset in the event. There's not. Well, they're patrolling. Okay, they're just doing patrolling. So that's fine. Okay, ch ch check the coverage here. There's also very limited fire coverage. But like we've got, we've got. I think that's, that's two fire stations is, is plenty. The, the Spiral City needs a bit of help. Health-wise, they're fine. Settle. That's absolutely fine. Hey, Ted. Is he alright? Did he? Settle. Did he see anything? I don't know because the torch was at the battery. Oh, dear. We need to recharge the torch. I worry, ah, okay. Right. Ted Ted did a wolf outside. She's not Several really. Several wolves. Several wolves. You know you're not supposed to do wolves outside. That's very rude to the neighbours, Ted. So he had to be told that oh, he wasn't a very good was dog. Was he told he was a bad dog? Yes. Oh, Ted. I wasn't going to tell the live stream that I used a B-A-D word, but... Oh, dear. But oh, I had Ted. to. Oh, Ted. We just need more... The problem is just... It's just urban sprawl. It's just no matter how many houses I build, they're just like, no, build more. You have not built sufficient houses for us. Well, okay, the spiral must be extended with with additional just more McJibbles going in this direction. We have to, you know, knock down a handful of houses, but that's that's fine. I'm really sorry about this. Just round two here into yes into here this is going to knock down a tiny bit of industry. I appreciate that. I'm sorry, but this is we just need we just need more. More housing. More housing. At least this housing is in a relatively good space for, yes, all of this. And then you can just loop round to here. We're knocking down a few houses and a few bits and pieces. I get it. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. I know some of you had houses here and now you, like, don't. Uh, but it's, it's all going to work out. It's all going to work out in the end. Okay. So now this will be even more cocking housing. Okay? You fussy like this this has got to be enough. This is I'm I'm determined. Like I I I am I'm not unpausing the game until I'm certain what's gonna happen is this bar's gonna hit zero. This bar will be made to hit zero. Alright, this bar this 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 will be made to hit zero. I'm gonna do it by just building I'm gonna build more housing over here. I'm gonna build more housing over here. Apparently there's a grid system built in. Oh a grid system. Eh, that is useful. I can see how that's that's quite useful, yes. Wait, show it to me? You just click this button over here to turn it on to grid. Oh, and it just like just auto works. goes to like 90 and 45. Yeah, it just works. Fair enough. It's pretty nice. So yeah, if I just kind of like, you know, have like a grid over, like, you know, so let's, have it. let's just see what, what happens if I just kind of do this here. So I'll just kind of move to here and no, grid. Grid me. I want a grid. Ooh. It's not really that. Okay. I think yeah, you draw as a, a square yeah. and then you link it. Okay. That's a fun grid. All right, grid, right there. Then we'll just then we'll just then we'll just grid it into the rest of the grid. We had to had to have to demolish a few houses to make that happen. Sorry. Well, you're not demolishing houses if they've not been built yet. Some of those houses had been built. Yeah, yeah, yeah. P -p 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 PR department. Yeah. <laughs> and then we'll just add. Like, you have a couple. Of, you can have a little corner shop in the middle of your thing. That's absolutely fine. Now here, 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 here. This must be enough housing. 
This must be. I've also built a new police station because the people were really angry about low crime. Uh, mm. No, no, high crime. The other one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> They're so angry about low crime. This is. There's now so much, so much capacity for housing. And before the, you know, before it gets going, I'm going to build some parks. I like there being parks. It's just, it's just a thing I like there for there to be. I like anyway. There to be a big park. Yes. Uh, shout out to Jay uh, Rester who gave us $50. Ooh, thank you very, very much indeed. Uh, and said, thank you for this. I legitimately loved the designs. Have a good night, everyone. Oh, someone actually liked what I did. Yes. Uh, you said that being sarcastic, right? I, I, I don't. <laughs> Look. It's hard they to be certain. They did not provide instruction on the tone of voice to use when reading. Which Molly did. One more dog park Sorry. over here, because dog parks cheer people up. For sure. There should be dog parks available everywhere. You know, if there happens to be good dogs in the dog park. Yes, not like Ted. <laughs> Sorry, I tried to be mean to the... Uh, well, not to the dog, about the dog, and even that I can't do. Yeah. Um, oh, Ted, what did you do? Yeah, I'm going to wait like 10 minutes and then, I'm, you know, however long you think Ted. is good and then I'll go give him a hug so he knows he's still loved even though he did a wolf. Yeah. Okay. So we've got people, more want, more wanted, more jobs wanted over here. What we could do is we could just hook up the, we could just hook this bit of residential into this system. I mean, honestly, I see no reason why we wouldn't, to be honest. Yeah, let's just hook you into you. And you can just be hooked straight into, uh, I don't know, curl it around, curl it around, curl it around into you. That's just more housing, and uh, which is which is obviously the only thing anyone cooking ever wants. No one ever wants anything else, but it's it's fine. Just just reminder to John to build that college you were gonna build. I'll build the college when oh, I think I can't afford the college anymore. I think the college costs 700 and I cannot cut for the college. We have to get the city up to the next level uh, before we can, before we, to get a big cash injection. Because we are losing money. Oh yeah, no, I realise We're losing that. money a lot. But I think that's the business of towns is to lose money. Like, you know. The, are you sure? Are you just meant to lose money in this game? I mean, it's very, given like a large yeah, part of my income is government subsidies. And that just goes down as I make more money myself. Functionally, I think you're expected to be running at a loss. And, like, you know, I can also just, like, borrow. 2.2 million really is not that much. And also, the interest rate is 20% uh, if you're borrowing much. Like, this is not a good idea. So, we're not going to do that. This is this is not a good idea at all. So, we could just slight slight tax increases, guys. Come on. You, 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 guys, you guys can have an ever so slight tax increases. Hey, more tax for everyone. More tax for everyone. So we've still got not still got not a single well-educated person in the entire town. They've not even moved in from elsewhere. So it's just until we built the uh, the college, we can't. But I think we just need, now need to basically we're waiting until yes, we hit the next level. So we're just gaining XP every time a certain I don't know if it's a certain amount of month every month or every day or every week or something. Oh, hang on! Holy shit, Claire! Oh wow, is that demand for medium Does density fucking housing? No, that's demand for high dimensed high density oh, no. housing. Holy shit, Claire, it's finally happened. Nice. It's finally happened. It's finally happened. Uh and I think the only high density we've got is the low rent, which I'm just gonna put right here in the center. Alright, you guys, you can you, you want it, you've got it. This is the nicest area to live uh, in. in what town. are they across of? Uh that is a sculptor's mansion. That is the post office. That's the radio mass. There is, uh, that's just some big buildings. I mean, the sculptor is like, had all this land empty next to his mansion. The sculptor <laughs> is going to be designing these buildings. The sculptor's going oh, to yeah, that's fair, the sculptor's demand, he's designing the buildings. Holy shit, we're building something that's not low density housing, Claire. What the fuck is this? What madness is this? Holy cock me. It's, I, I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm so happy. It took a lot to do. What even is that? Oh, oh, okay. He is allowed to woof in the house after 10 p.m. But he shouldn't really. Like, when he, shouldn't. he shouldn't just jump up the sofa and start yelling. 
Ted, come on. You're being wrapped up and given a cuddle, Ted. Sorry for the jump scare. Uh, for people just joining, half the city is is one way, half the city is not one way. You may notice the one way the one way city has a lot more problems. The one way system has a has a lot more problems. The the, the not one way system is doing a lot better. The hexagon is doing very very good work indeed. Actually, the hexagon is doing great. There we go. And there should be, if there's any demand for industrial, there should be plenty of capacity for it over here. There's definitely loads of it, in fact. Yeah, loads of capacity. Uh, there's only way to build the new commercial. But there should also be plenty of old abandoned buildings that should be able to come down relatively easily. So you know what? I'm just going to give, like, one, one small area over to commercial. So, like, you know, there can be, like, you know, anyone living around here can just go to those businesses. So there won't be much competition, which should hopefully be pretty good. There's also, yeah, high rent. Okay, trouble paying their rent. High zone density. Well, there is no high zone density for... There's literally only... that. That's all there is here. That's all you've got. Though at some point I might want to demolish this entire industrial wing and just move it off to a corner. Like, over here. Just, like, get rid of it. But... That's a UFO. There's something flying there that was did not have a plane's outline, but okay. Right. Everything's fine. I'm just looking forward to these. I'm, I'm going up to two speaks. I'm deep looking forward to these large buildings. This is... Oh! This is officially part of uh, Guns, Burgers, and Baseball Street. Oh, that's interesting. I, d I thought I kind of assumed that would end here. But it didn't. Okay. Does it go all over the whole hexagon? No, it just goes around like... Two or three. It's very big. That's Oak Street. Yeah, it just goes around two, but no more. Well, that's that's fascinating, isn't it? Okay, we're just going to build it off. This is going to be great. Admittedly, I feel bad for these guys because these guys live in, I think, medium density. And previously, they've had, like, you know, a pretty nice view of Spiral City. And, you know, it's been... You know, it's been and we're about to build much taller buildings next door. So that's going to be, you know, that kind of sucks for them. Kind of sucks for them, but what can you do? We've got a giant tattoo studio. Are you guys doing? Yeah, the, the the businesses here, they're actually doing okay. They're they're doing they're doing pretty well. They they've got a good turnover. They're running at really solid efficiency. They're getting lots of customers. I'm surprised there's not more demand over there. In fact, oh, that is not as big as I thought it was going to be. But there are oh, there's so many dogs. There's so many dogs that live in this household. We're up to five dogs. Five dogs. Okay, well. If there's five dogs in this household right here, how many dogs have you got? 42? <laughs> 42 dogs. There are 42 dogs living in this block? There's only 14 and 13 here. Well, you've got 8, 2, and 77. This is, oh yeah, this is way high dense. This is 175 people. I'm not convinced there should be 42 dogs living in small apartments. There better be small dogs. Okay, can we maybe fit in a dog park? Just like a small dog park. Uh, yeah, the small dog park right here. I'm just going to put a small dog park right... Oh, is that... Wait, does people, do people live here? Oh, this was empty. Oh, no, people don't live there. There's, there's, there's a little bit of space. Okay, you know what? We're just going to... We'll have a little bit. We'll have a little dog park around the back of you if we can. Yeah, that's going to do that. Yeah, one dog park right here. That was a dog park. Yeah, don't one dog park. Put that... Just squeeze that in right there. And there we go. There is now a dog park opposite this building... So all the dogs that live here, all cooking 42 of them, can in fact go and live here. Can can go and live can go and play. It's not it's not a Ted sort of dog park, to be honest. It's a sort of dog park for dogs that <laughs> it's not a dog park for dogs it's that like, you know. Course. Exactly, it's an agility course. Like Ted's Ted's a snuffle dog. He'd be disappointed. He just wants to go around and snuffle. He's a big snuffle, bless him. Ted's now been wrapped up, so he can't cause any more trouble. He's been cuddled, he's been told he's saved, and he's so loved. Mm hmm And I think he's just chilled a bit. Okay, so we've got a traffic jam here. So this is traffic that is thinking about switching over to the path that goes, the, the big spine that goes up this way. The problem is, yes, this area here. I mean, if I was to open up, like, a single one-way system that's, like, just a bypass of the junction, that might take the pressure off that a little bit. So I'm just going to do that. Just a very simple 
two lane junction here. Just straight here. Straight to here. Yeah, just to bypass the junction. So now if anyone wants to bypass the junction, they can do. So yeah, if anyone just wants to do that, that's now available to them. Uh, whether anyone else will... These people shouldn't, because they've, they've already got the chance to turn here. But I'm hoping that some people might decide if they're, if they're planning to go in this direction, they can just do that. And if you guys want to turn left... Actually, there's not much queue here. The bigger queue is on this side. So if there's, yeah, an extra lane for them to go straight over to here, then they can do that, which is absolutely fine. And then they can kind of like, that yeah, just lets them bypass this junction. Yes, yeah, so now as the traffic starts to come through, some of them can start to do that. So that will just kind of help them bypass. Though, to be honest, I'm not sure that's really saving much time. The bigger problem is, yeah, people are trying to get from here up to there. In many ways, I'm just complicating the junction more as time goes by, aren't I? Round about, round Look, about. you can say, well, this system's working. Look at this. This everyone's saying, John, you can't just add more lanes to make it work. Well, look, I look. Looks like I have. Looks like I cocking have actually. Okay, I think what we need to do is just create a yeah i think i know precisely what we need to do that is oh but that's uh buh, 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 buh. problem we've got here is it's a two-way system so i can't just do nothing but that okay hmm hmm we've got to rethink how this whole junction fits together i think potentially because the problem we've got here is, yeah, we've got multiple big lanes. And now it's just how do you get people to be able to exchange across them? Overpasses? It's possible, but I feel like I'm just a further... Every time I further overcomplicate it, and like, you know, I try and do something of this nature... And then I make it go up to 20. And then I make that turn around to here. Sorry, you're going to be demolished. I apologize. And then down to zero to remerge into here. Is that too steep? Then that's allowed. But I feel like it's just going to cause... So now, in theory, people who want to get over here could just go the loop around to skip the junction. But I feel like they're not going to because they're just trying to take the most efficient route. Yes, I mean... So even though there is a way for them to skip the junction, they're not going to... Remove the junction. Well, there's got to be a way for them to intersect. They need If people want to go this way, they've got to be able to go that way. Because otherwise, what... it's a dumb way. Why? They're literally... You no, know, it, it takes them directly to the industrial zone. They're trying to get up to here. Then this yeah, is obviously but I'm, the sensible I'm not way to go. saying that they shouldn't be able to go to go through this bit. I'm saying they should be forced to take the overpass. Okay, you know what? Some of the lorries are starting to use the... I think, actually, once the initial, once the initial stress has gone on, some people are using this new system to take the pressure off that junction a little bit. It's sort of what I like. People are saying they're always saying it's your trip, but people are definitely. People from here who are trying to get to here are definitely choosing to take this path. I don't know if maybe if they calculate it based on time as opposed to just distance or if they factor in multiple things. But this does appear to have helped out a little bit. Like, you know, there's a little bit of overflow onto here, but with the traffic lights in play, it seems to be broadly. I mean, I think that that's easing. I think that's easing. I think that's not as bad as it was. So I'm 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 pretty happy with that actually. Yeah, there we go. I I think I'm happy with that. That's an infinite. I love how that's just all one street technically. This is all just one stupid street. Also, oh blimey, we've got a new building over on uh, yeah, uh, Guns, Burgers, and Baseball Street. This is 158 people, but only 25 dogs. The dog to people ratio is way higher in this building. Like that is. 41 dog. Oh, I think one of the dogs died. 
Or someone moved out. Hopefully someone moved out. I feel like you should investigate that building for a puppy farm. Hmm. This definitely feels like a, a, a strangely large number of dogs. Like, this is a 21 to 147 odd. This one is, yeah, like, yeah, 41 to 170. This just feels like the the dog ratio is, is, is very high on this occasion. Very, very high indeed. But yeah, like, surely the people here have got to be pretty happy. So yeah, small homes, inherently they're going to be less happy because they're in a small apartment. But they do have good health care, good mail, abundance of entertainment, good education, reliable. They're annoyed about taxes. They've got plenty of leisure time. The noise pollution is a bit high, but honestly, that's more just a function of traffic. So it's really not that bad. For the most part, you guys are still looking for workers. Though, for once... Something that's not low density is the highest thing on the bar. It's cocky commercial all of a sudden. Nice. And logically, given these commercial buildings here have been doing it very well for themselves. That suggests to me we should consider rezoning some of this space that just no one is using for anything for more residential, for more, sorry, commercial. Because I feel like this will work very well. Like, I assume this is commercial suitability. Customers, yellow, terrain, high. Ah, I see. Yes, you guys are telling me, hey, there's way more customers around here. So where there's yellow, that's where you want customers. Which, to be honest, there is... Well, you say that. You're literally right here next to a giant pile of customers. And the game's like, oh, but they did say that was a bug, didn't yeah, they? Yeah, and that's been yeah. confirmed by the devs. That's been confirmed as a bug. So, okay. If there is currently basically nothing on, yeah, this area or this area or this area... Let's, flipping, have this as... I mean, this was supposed to be commercial in the first place. So commercial, commercial, and a little bit more commercial and commercial. Let's just have uh, some commercial dotted around this area. We'll just have, you know, a nice little commercial zone around the centre of town. So people, if they want to, like, come in, they can do a little bit of shopping. So this area's been, it's been very bland for a long time. Let's have some people, you know, building some shops in what I think is going to be a very good area that's going to generate a lot of good money, though. Actually, that's true. Do you want to have, like, hang on, taxes? Taxes on commerce. Let's have a look at my commerce taxes. Oh, blimey, that's taxed on a per-everything level. <sighs> okay, right. so maybe, like, what's a thing that's, yeah... Maybe lower taxes on things like food and textile, things that are like, you know, the zero VAT. Hmm. I'm not sure, like, what it specifically does. Low tax increase can't jump in chance of becoming successful, also make the commercial buildings level up faster. I mean, they're already slightly low. And the offense, it doesn't generate much money. As it generates relatively little money, I'm going to lower everyone's taxes for commercial down to 6%. Um, and industrial, I'm fine with them being as they are. So that's absolutely fine. And offices is so cute. Offices is, uh, officers, I'm just going to, I thought your taxes already were, like, we're making very little money on that. I'm just going to whack down, and we're making so functioning tiny amounts of money. Congratulations, you guys can now have, like, 2% tax rate. Please come to my town and set up more offices. I, I beg you. Did you accidentally whack it up as you were leaving the screen? It's possible. Or the game, like, crashed or something and it didn't save yeah. correctly. It's uh, hard to say. Let's see. A shout out to Amanda, who's been a member for 31 months. Uh, and says, hello, everyone. It's been a while since seeing a live stream. My 11-year-old boxer had her toe removed. It was cancer. So now we call her Lunasaurus Rex. Oh, Ted's, Ted's a bit of a boxer. Mm, he, yes. Genetically, he's got some boxer going on. Bless him. Yeah. Bless little Ted. We love Ted. He's such a good boy. There we go. That can be commercial too as well over there. So, okay. We get ourselves, yeah. I, I like my city centre. Like, I like that, you know, right in the centre of the hexagon. We've got, like, you know... There's some nice little businesses, but also there's the key public structures around here. Ignore the abandoned houses by the edge of town. They don't count. But, you know, there's also, like, you know, nice places for people to live. People are happy here, etc., etc. There's... What do you mean, not enough... It's not a... It's not a business! It's a yeah, residential John, it property! Is. Doesn't it have a business at the bottom? Oh... You're right. Though, admittedly, oh, I... It's a sad high street. I struggle to see how... 
you literally there are customers like on it, top of you. I feel this like this is it, on you. Yeah, I feel like they're blaming it on the customers and not uh and, and not that the that one's that, on yeah. them. That that one's on them. Okay, that's 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 on them. You know what we're gonna do though? We're going to I think we could set up some if we can just squeeze it in. We might be able to set up some uh, public infrastructure here, code because what we can set up is hang about. There is pedestrian street. Nice. So if we could like squeeze a pedestrian street in here, though, I think it's gonna not fit in. If there was, if I could squeeze a pedestrian is street. Is there something that's knockable? Huh? Is there something you can knock? Knock? Well. You know, remove without mean literally with... anything. You can knock out anything you want. Yeah, no I know you can. It. I mean, is there anything you wouldn't mind knocking off? Well, I'm not emotionally attached to any of these buildings, but like, I feel like uh, presumably, in the event that, hang on, let me just double check this. If I if I set up like a pedestrian footpath here, then yeah, you could set up like little parks, and you could then you could have like a little park in the center, mm, right yeah. in the center. That would be very small, be very very small indeed. So. Okay, whose building wants to be sacrificed? Even if I knock down you, I don't think we can fit between here. So this is... It's a very dodgy looking bar. Like, I don't know, this is just the sort of bar where I feel like if you raid the basement, like, you know, the, yeah. the people who do it need to, like, have therapy afterwards. Like, it just, that just feels like a dodgy bar to me. But equally, it's doing really well. Okay, who's not doing well? Is anyone not doing well here? Is anyone doing really badly? You're all doing well. I don't want to knock down your businesses when they're doing well. Oh, you're doing shit. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What Fine. is it? It's, it's, a, it's also a bar. But a much worse one. Yaksu. Yaksu. It's a much worse bar. Right. Sorry. Bye. Sorry. You, you, you. You are going to be demolished so that my new lovely pedestrian path can 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 exist. So you get knocked down. There we go. This is now Maple Street. It's it, Maple Very Street. Nice. It's just just for pedestrians. And we're just gonna make it like you know, curve around here a little bit. Just you know, nice little nice little walk for pedestrians here. We could, if we wanted to, kind of use it to set up some more businesses for just for people to pass by. But I think I'd like it to be. If we can squeeze in some really small parks. Oh, we can. We can squeeze in like a little small park around here. A little. Uh, it might have to be small parks. Small parks are really small. Uh, small playgrounds are very small. They could probably squeeze in like over over here as well. The dog park is pretty small. Kind of put that over there. Camp. No, campsite is really big. We kind of have a little kind of line of small parks, uh, small plazas, which was the really small one. Yeah, small playgrounds, the very small one. So we just have a few of them. So you know, have multiple playgrounds. So multiple playgrounds dots around here. A little dog park and just squeeze it. We already had a small dog park, didn't we? Mm -hmm. I think one small... Ooh, you can't fit in there. More dog, uh, more dog parks, more small plazas. What was the really small one? The small playground. playground. Congratulations, more playgrounds. There are now Sony playgrounds. This is just, this is just a nice area for people to go and play in and they're all very similar but like some of them are sandy and some of them are more are kind of ash felty but otherwise they're very similar they've got slightly 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 jigged colors too but they're otherwise very similar so there we go there's just a nice little place for people to hang out they can just come here and everything's fine okay they cost a bit of money to maintain but i don't care i think it's lovely they're here and it's going to make this area really nice and desirable all right you can't complain about that damn it claire oh blimey the amount of okay there's actually a tiny bit more demand for high density tiny bit more demand for high density uh which means i might be willing and commercial and loads of demand i don't know why commercial suddenly yeah. exploded but like you know I feel like this is the place to put it. Mm. Like, these these buildings here have been doing it very well. They're leveling up fast. So I feel like I'm willing to kick a few people out of their low-density housing. Because, like, honestly, should we have low-density housing here? I don't think we should. Like, this is... So these people are going to get rezoned right now. Sorry, bye. And you're going to get rezoned too. All of you are getting rezoned, lol. Uh, so yeah, this is now just going to become a nice area for commercial to be in. Because this is just a really great spot for commercial to be based. 
So all of those houses will just organically be taken down because they're no longer zonally appropriate and they will be immediately replaced by a row of businesses. This is going to be the center of uh, this is going to be the center of the city right there. It's going to be beautiful. I may have been a bit over, got a bit overexcited with the amount of businesses, the amount of houses we just knocked down. They don't need that much space. We will in future. We will in future. This is going to be this is going to be fine. Everything's okay. Oh, we've got a bit of a I wouldn't call that that much of a traffic jam. I think that's okay. I'm I'm okay with a small amount. Oh, that's 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 worse. Now, the problem we've got here is yes, the hexagon. There is like this access to the major spine that's very important because that's how you get to up to the industrial and down to the rest of the city. And if you want to get to that from this area, you basically have to come via here and yes if you're coming in to the hexagon from the spiral you're coming here and that's ending up with well there's a bit of traffic here it's not that bad that that doesn't feel that bad the bigger problem is here the bigger problem is here i will give you that's an issue oh yes uh you know when you just said i don't know why commercial demand suddenly exploded yeah you uh lowered all business taxes five minutes ago and eh, that makes sense yeah, yeah that that makes sense then well you know what we've got a whole bunch of new businesses popping up here and they should do very well for themselves uh yes and let's see uh shout out to lycan dragon who uh, gave us two pounds and says hey john and claire i've got a new job as an engineer uh, i've had it for a month now and the title of your video is accurate <laughs> nice uh, congratulations, Lycan Dragon. Uh, congratulations. Wait, hang on. How am I? What? I've just noticed. You remember I said a minute ago, hey, I don't have enough money for a college. Yes. Because it costs 750. Yes. I've now got 850, even though I'm making a loss. Does anyone Did know you where? upgrade? Th I don't know where that money came from. The game's saying I'm losing something? money. No. I don't think so. Where did the money come from? Well, that's interesting, isn't it? Well, you're losing money now. Yeah, I'm supposed to be losing money, yet it seems to be going up. Mm. I did indeed mean Ashfelt instead of Ash. Yes, apologies for misspeaking. Well, when you were live, we can't fix it in a pickup. Dear oh flippin' dear. You see, that's a happy home for a dog. That's nice. The dog could run around and, like, just also out the back because the the the, fed, the 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 bush doesn't go all the way. Around. There's just a nice forest for the dog to play in round the back over here. Everything's fine. I wonder if any of the like the nice houses like right to the centre are actually starting to get. You know what? Let's go back to, like, to the nice areas way back in Circle City. Like the people right in the centre of Circle City, they're up to like three out of five oh, now. They're really happy. Yeah, they're really well. They've they've got nice parks and shit too. Mm. They've got they've got good stuff like Circle City in the very centre because not much traffic comes into the centre because mostly it sticks on the second. And ever since I put this over here, nothing anymore because look, it just works. Look how this just works. People yeah. mocked me, but it's working. And now over here... I don't know. I kind of like how it looks a bit like an ankh. Entirely <laughs> accidental. Similar and then we've managed to sort this out. But dead. now, yes, we've, we've shuffled a bit of traffic up to here. And I'm not 100% sure how we would solve this. Because logically, these people are probably... These are probably the people who are coming from Spiral, trying to make their way to smoke nightmare zone but if they were doing that why would they oh well i'll tell you what we've actually with this with this bypass we've sorted out the traffic snarl around here that seems to have fixed that a bit that's no longer such a problem what if i was to create a break off from this this road that seems to be doing perfectly fine and rather than letting those people go into yeah rather than letting these people enter the hexagon we create a bypass for them that means they can go straight over to the major industrial spine here like from here to here so they can don't need to come into this area at all that might work and because that is a that's a two lane 
So, okay. We could simply yeah, have a two lane that just feeds down into here. And that would also be the shortest route. So they'd be more inclined to take it. Assuming that's where this traffic is coming from. It's hard to be certain whether that's where this traffic's coming from. Because honestly, there's not that much... It doesn't feel like much is coming along Chester Street here. Which would suggest that that's not the source of this traffic. Does it not say if you click on a car where they're going? It says where they're going. But at ah, Origin Ashington. Oh no, I see exactly what it is. These are people who are coming from outside of town and are trying to make it to the zone. So they have to navigate this system. So actually, a bypass around the hexagon might do the job. But in which case... Do you like a bypass from that entrance directly into the Spiral of Doom, the Smokington? Sorry? Could you do a bypass? Yeah. Like, basically about here, you know? Like, yeah. in the entrance, and then you go, like... You're right, actually. There's this road right here that we could simply yeah, just... Yeah, you can just, we could just bypass that. We could you know, bypass the entire town. It could be a ring road, kind of. You're actually not wrong. That that could work nicely. And then, yeah, if we do that, <laughs> just bring it around to here. And it would also be an excuse to build more... Oh, cock me, Claire. Look at the uh, demand for high-density housing. Oh, yes. Oh, guys. I've got bad news about your happy little rich lives. Oh, I've got bad news for you. Your happy little rich lives are over now. Oh, dear. Oh, flippy dear. Oh, flippy dear. Right. Oh, hang on. Hang on. Which, which street is this? Is this on? Oh, shit. That. That is. That's Guns, Burgers, and Baseball Street. And that means these, by right, ought to be American high density housing mm -hmm. which we can therefore put right next to the other one so okay this is that's fair so this here is now going to be henceforward well, it's going to be the high density in the american fashion i'm gonna put that right there we're just gonna knock you guys down this this should probably drop really fast by the way because it doesn't take many buildings to fulfill that demand yeah. So yeah, I mean, that, that's gonna that. drop straight away yeah so that's fine we don't need more than that we more than that would have been overkill what we need to do is provide... Yeah, now that these, now finally the demand for low-density housing is going down, we need to start just introducing... We just need to start phasing out some of these low-density houses into, yeah, just more and more commercial. Because there's plenty of people nearby. And we're not getting rid of that many people, to be honest. Like, we yeah, really are Yeah, when aren't. you get rid of a bit of low-density, it's exactly. not getting Exactly. It's, it's barely... It's people. kicking out, like, I don't know, 30 people for the entire street or something and their dogs. And instead, they can just be lovely, lovely. Yeah, they can move to uh, that. Um, well, this, look, they can move to all did. this. Well, they can yes, move to all this. Too. And this is also increasing pressure on other low density housing elsewhere, which might well be good because there is a whole bunch of. Wait, did I never build you guys? No, you guys. No, if they, if you know what, if you well, want they're more, zoned, yeah, yeah, they're zoned. They, they if you, people want it, they can have it. For once, we've dealt with we've dealt with the evil of cocking low density hey, housing. Hey, but uh, now that you've got mysteriously more money, yes, you should make a university. Why have I got more money? The game's saying I'm losing money. Like I'm supposed to be losing a quarter of a million dollars every month, but every time I look back, I've got more. I don't know. Why? Why? This doesn't make sense. Okay. But yes, you know what? You are very right that what we should do is we should create a, a, a massive, a, a, a quite big road, I think, here. Like, yes, yeah, six lane divided. Let's, let's cock it go right here off this. Just, yeah, just have that off here and then just bring it in. Have it all be curved and whatever. And that's absolutely fine. And just have this all the way around here. Yep, that's fine. And just have it feed straight into this. Right there. And now, if anyone wants to come in from Ashington, they can just go up here, around here. And there we go. That's that's how you access the industrial zone. So we don't actually need to build anything around here because that was a very good spot. Well done, Claire. Mm. Uh, yeah, your city is cooking the books a bit when it comes to income. I don't know. I don't know what's happening. How can we be making money? You're clearly game? too good at the game, says Motley. Clearly, that's. Ah, uh, yes. Biff had this problem because things like ticket revenues are not included. 
says Eddie. I, I I have like six buses. I don't know. They're not making a, a this this feels like a, this is some form of an elaborate con going money on. Bus money laundry. The, the, laundering. And no, I feel like we're laundering and drug money through buses here. That's definitely true. That that feels what's that that definitely feels like what's going on at the moment. I do not know what's happening. Uh, okay, but you know what? We you're right. We do have the money, and we're about to hit the next level. In fact, the next I think I think the next level is like is is big town where we get up to high density housing nice. proper, large apartment buildings, and you large get lots apartment of buildings, as well. and just yeah, I think we uh, we get like two million dollars. But points, I meant. Yeah, for and research, points for which research is stuff. Important. But you're not wrong. There could be an argument for depending on you know we can we can afford the um we can afford the college at this point. The question is, where does it where does it need to fit in? Like, because it doesn't actually matter. It could just go around the outskirts somewhere. So we could just put it nearby. It could to... go in that grid near. Um... It doesn't. It shouldn't be in the grid. Come on, that's very. That's oh, not the nice know. bit of town. That's not where we put the, the education. We put we put the education in the nice bit of town. Obviously, Claire. Dear oh dear. This is going to be absolutely fine. I think it should be. I think it should be near to the high school. Yeah. Yeah. Do you think that makes sense? Or do you think some people after they're done with high school would like a clean break and feel like I they're mean, going somewhere else? Or I do you do think agree. for the sake of parents, they'd like to be able to drop off their kids nearby to each other? No, no. I think you'd want to be a little bit further away from the high school. Is that a Ted snore? Is he snoring? I think that might have been a Ted snore. I think that might have been a Ted snore. I think we we could have it be just a little bit round the corner. Just a little bit round the corner. Like still close by, but not quite as close by. And that literally just pushed me straight into Big Town because just putting down a building like that just gives you a pile of XP. So that I've just basically made a profit by building a school. Excellent. Meaning, yes, I've now got high density housing proper. <sighs> All sexy shit. And there is the. Hang on. That's the college. Look at that shit. Nice. Fancy shit. When, wait, when we say college, what do, what do Americans mean by college? I think they mean university. But... They mean. Yeah, but then what's university? Because that exists too. Mm. Is that their sixth form college? Is is a college? Because look, university is different. Well, does it not say? It just says First teens step. and adults alike. And then university, what does it say? Provides adults with the highest level. I don't know. It's hard to say. But you should put some high density housing near the university so that it can be dorms. I think they've got. I think we assume people like. Wait, I don't know. People don't stay in here. This is definitely not a living university. People just people just come here. Yeah. But they I definitely don't so. live here, and I don't. I think they still live at home. This is, I think this is still mostly children. And if I want to, I could also give it a an extension or a library. Better chance of graduating. Honestly, if the dropout rate stays low, we don't really need to. Speaking of which, how's the high school going? You know what? That's up to two hundred and fifty-three yeah. people. So it's doing its job. It's doing its job right now. So, okay, we've now got that school down. College and universities are synonymous in the US. The distinction is whether they are ma whether there are masters and doctorates. Yes, yeah, so it includes postgraduate stuff. Do, yeah, apparently in college you do just undergrad and then university also has postgrad. Fair enough, fair enough. So, okay, things are starting to build up here, but crucially... We have now got, yes, North American, no, back over to European, please. Back over to a European large apartment buildings. And I, I, the moment high density starts appearing, we're, uh, yeah, next time a high density appears at all, we're, we're, we're shoving some of that in. We're shoving some of that in. I'm, I'm looking forward to that. That's going to be good shit right there. The game is still saying they're desperately looking for workers over in the industrial. Yeah, they're like half the employees they want here. That guy, a third of the employees. But like, we've all, we've already got, we've already got so many people around here. And the demand does not exist. Okay, you know what? Let's have a little look at this. Th this building that says it wants people. Its employees are mostly open, obviously. But then it's also got... Oh, oh, the shaders. The shaders ain't happy with us. Zoom out. Zoom out and pretend you can't see it. Um, but they're mainly... There's a blend, you know, it's not that I need more uneducated people to work factory jobs. Actually, more than half the jobs that are filled in this factory are educated positions. Mm -hmm. And there are zero uneducated jobs going here. This is not just like, 
you know, like conveyor belt work. Because I think something. uneducated in this game might mean like you haven't been to, you know, high school. You haven't even been to so yeah, I think the that basic means high school. Children. Yeah. Well, I think there's. I've definitely seen uneducated adults. Oh yeah, fair enough. But I'm not sure, like, if they maybe they can't do any jobs. Maybe those. Maybe they are inherently unemployed. I don't know. Mm, I don't know. Uh, yeah. If I happen to stumble at, at any point, see someone like you know who who lives here, for example. This is here. We go. You're. Oh no. You're. You're a child. You're uneducated, so you don't count. You're an adult. You're poorly educated. And you are, you're employed at Sneaky Ridge. Now that definitely sounds like one of the things that's just funneling money to me through some form of, uh, for some yeah. form of scheme. It's good old Sneaky Ridge. Yes, employee job level. Ah, job level basic. A citizen can work at any job level that education allows. Mm. So okay. Education may not be tied to wealth directly, but education is a limiting factor to what job level they can achieve. With, if, if their education is sufficiently poor, they can't get past a certain level. So they still might be able to make... They can still be wealthy in the event their living costs were sufficiently low. Mm. But they would st but it, it would still limit their the upper cap of how much they could earn. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's, that makes that's sense. That's how it works, yes. So if this person were to be, you know, so presumably, say, in these new buildings that we've just put together. Also, these are the apparently the new American-style buildings. Honestly, they look very similar to the UK-style buildings to me. So yeah, like the average wealth is, uh, yeah, the average wealth inside 49 Guns, Burgers and Baseball Street is in fact wealthy. And I'm assuming what that means if I just pick a house at uh, random is, uh, yeah, you're an adult. You are actually uneducated. This the, we, found, we found an adult who is uneducated. Mm. And as a result, their job level cannot go beyond simple. They can only do the most menial of tasks. But... Regardless, they're they're help they're still doing okay, simply because they're in a cheap accommodation. Yeah, I believe is what's going on here. So yes, we've also got yes. I think you are possibly yes. Percy is. They possibly. I think their household income is also being dragged up by his wife Ophelia, who is educated and has possibly a better paid job. Therefore, and then they've got two children, one of whom's going home. And one of whom is, yes, currently uneducated, but presumably at school, so working on it. Okay. I think I'm starting to see what's going on here. Because, yes, in that build in those buildings, those have the cheaper rents. So, therefore, they're allowed... They can still... Even though they've got very little income, they're not spending as much either. Which is why we saw, like, the high rent warning against one of the houses. Because someone who wasn't very well educated... And thus didn't make much money, was living in a house that had high rent. Yeah. So, okay. I think I'm starting to see how it fits together. That's... Uh, probably, anyway. The chat's probably about to say, nope, not even close. Any second now. But we'll, we'll, we'll flip in and say, clap. Uh, yes, indeed. Let's see. Um, Tor Graniel gave us 20 Australian dollars. Excellent dollars. And says, no context, but the first thing I saw uh, when I opened this is rings of hexagons. And I approve hexagons. All the best again. They damn are, you know. Yes, indeed. Uh, James gave us five pounds and says the layout of these areas makes spaghetti junctions in Brum look like a masterpiece of road layout. <laughs> wow, rude. Oh, no. Dear, oh, flipping dear. Um, Steve gave us ten pounds and says that hospital's probably empty because people die before the ambulance can get to them. <laughs> Uh, can you rename a road Steve's Road? Hope you're all well and loving your Starfield series. Keep up the great work. You know what? Because you were just mean to me, Steve's Road is going to be the smelly road that goes, that goes to the pool lagoon. That goes to the, that goes to, no, it doesn't go to the pool lagoon. It goes to the, uh, the chicken farm. Well, I feel like Steve might be very happy that his road is the chicken road. In all fairness, it seems like very happy, wealthy people who just... Oh, hang on. There's wretched. This wretched wealth. Okay, let's figure out what's, what's causing the wretched wealth here. An uneducated adult in a simple job at the chicken farm. Yeah. And then one child, another child. Okay. So yeah. this this is the so like a single par a single parent. So this is a person who might theoretically have to abandon their house at some point because they don't have the education to get a better job, but they're in quite a nice house and they will not necessarily be able to afford it forever. Meanwhile, next door, just because just because the dad 
said he was going to buy cigarettes and then never came back. And then next door, we've got Shocking. Jeremy Harrington, who's much happier because, yes, he's educated, has a senior job and is making a ton of money. So even though the house rent is presumably the same, or well, the house mortgage or whatever, it's, it's yeah. the game considers any difference between the two. Um, yeah, he's still got plenty enough money. So as a result, the house is, its level is ticking up because there's bonus money left to put back into it. Whereas, actually, you know what? This this house has got just enough money to be holding steady at the time being. But yeah, potentially this house might eventually, they might have to move out if they can't afford it anymore. Because there is one man working in the chicken farm down at Double Dock of the Chicken Farm. No, I think it's a, it's a, it, was a, it was a woman. Was it? Oh, yeah. yes, possibly. Yeah. I think it was Kareen, who's a single mom. And by the way, I think, by the way, look at this. I mm -hmm. think your, your, your road has worked. Yeah. I think your road has worked beautifully up here. Well done. That has, that has worked remarkably sunny well. Sunnyside Street. Good old Sunnyside Street. And right now I believe there is no sign of, some buildings have collapsed due to lack <laughs> of maintenance. Fascinating. Hey, John. Yes. Molly says the dad from that family, Corrine's husband, uh, who's still not come back, he's busy getting to work on the subway in Spiff City. <laughs> <laughs> I think my city's sort of working. I want to watch Spiff's video now. <laughs> That's, and would you believe, I believe it's based on exploits and manipulating systems that were not meant to interact with each other. Well, yes. Mm -hmm. All right, let's see what we've got in terms of everything. So, okay, post sorting facility. Mail's collected for post office, so okay, that just helps with the, the mail situation. I think people are happy with the mail <laughs> situation. Uh, oh, a much better telecom tower. Yes, we need that. That's important. Uh, sports parks, large sports parks. Um, and then we've got... A welfare office, financial support for low-income citizens, which increases their well-being and lowers the likelihood of recurring crime. Interesting. Um, emergency shelter stuff. Then we're into high-tech universities. We've not even built the universities we've got. Um, we've got the hospitals. We do not need to go into uh, disease control centers. Water treatment plant. So treated wastewater can be safely released into the pool lagoon without it necessarily being as filthy as it might be. And then we have already got parking areas. Fascinating. I mean, not really a parking area in the center mm, of, yeah. of Hexagon Town. I think we're going to have that. Well, get the water treatment plant, though. I'm going to be honest, that's, that I definitely wasn't about to get that. I was about to get the welfare office, Claire, because I care for the plight right, of the disadvantaged citizens. But you're clearly a monster who just cares about poo in the, the water. The environment, Ooh. yeah. And then we've got potentially um, City Hall. That's rather exciting. All right. And uh, speaking of you uh, putting in a welfare office to help <laughs> the wretched. Yes. Uh, shout out to Mark who points I out. I thought you were about to say shout out to the bread who started Glay Miz because that would have been very <laughs> relevant. That would have been very relevant right there. I've not seen him tonight. But ah. shout out to Mark who says uh, that single mom who works at the chicken factory is wretched because they pay him chicken feed. Oh! Hey! Hey, check out the incredibly high value land in the center of Hexagon Town next to right. everywhere else. That's that's good shit. Very good, very good, very good. Yeah. Oh, and Molly says uh, actually uh, Spiff's video isn't too much about exploits. It um, has a quite insane 12 layer subway system and tram with really high ticket prices. Nice. Very nice. Okay, we don't need to worry about building levels too much here. That's under control for the time being. I'm not sure how I, yeah, look at the... Yes, like, I'm looking for wealth levels. Because, like, where does the welfare office need to be? Like, well, technically, I suppose, if we've got more and more... If, if we've got more and more of these big buildings centrally, it makes sense that the welfare office ought to be somewhere around there. So, mm. uh, do we need, like, is, is, it, is it in comms? That's comms. We've got the the new tower would be... Oh, blimey. Okay. What we about can, it? We could get the... Oh, oh, wow, that costs a million dollars. Right, screw that noise. Okay, that's just a better telecoms tower. Though, speaking of which, we might want to go for a basic telecoms tower. Because, yeah, one million dollars versus 13,000. No. Well, these, these people up here do not have very good internet right now. And these people over here have got... Do businesses need internet? Oh, you've got no internet either. John. Yes. 
I think businesses need internet. Yeah, but these are industrial businesses. I think they still need internet, though. I don't want to spend a million dollars. I'm just going to spend... Actually, what's the what's the monthly? Oh, 5,000 a month is nothing. Yeah, you know what? I'm okay with this. You know what? We're just going to slap down some internet all over the place. There's going to be new internet. All right? You guys, you get an internet over here. Congratulations. That's going to be new internet for you. All right. And then there's going to be a new internet for for all of these guys. I'm so sorry. I kind of forgot you guys didn't have internet. That was that was kind of an oversight. So, you know, while people by the Poo Lagoon also gain internet... Uh, uh, by the way, um, oh Steve just uh, Steve just caught up with the live stream uh, and says he loves where his street is. Oh, good. Okay, it's going to be a bit difficult to provide everyone with what they want. Uh, if you need more money, MB Brit suggests, um, have you considered putting tour booths on every road leaving the city and jacking up the prices to prevent people from leaving if the road structure hasn't already confused them into staying? No, the road... People are being very mean. Despite the despite the fact I occasionally mock myself happily. Also, by the way, just check the Poolagoon. The Poolagoon has not overflowed at all. The Poolagoon is fine. Poo Lagoon, we've we've saved the rest of the ocean from the Poo Lagoon. No problem with the Poo Lagoon whatsoever. The road system actually kind of works now. There's like there's not even a... okay. There's a tiny, tiny bit of tiny bit of traffic jam, but like honestly, next to how it was, yeah, that's not much for a fairly major interchange. Really, it doesn't know there's really that much of a weight there. Actually, I think that's okay. I think I think this is actually all very impressive. I'm very happy with all of this. In fact, we've got ourselves all sorts of bits and pieces. Oh, hang on, how's the Where's the post office? Where did we put the post? Is this the post office? The post office is now... You know what? The post office is doing its job. All its vans are out collecting or delivering, which possibly may suggest that we need at some point to consider, yes, some more bits and pieces. Now, there is a little bit. There has just been, by the way, a tiny amount of demand for high density. And this does make me wonder whether possibly, just possibly... It's time for EU housing density. Now, high housing density. Really high housing density, yes. Now, I don't necessarily want it to be... It doesn't need to be that much. Like, like, just like just that. Street. Literally yeah. just that. I think that's I think that's right next to the school, actually. Very good. Yep, so we're going to knock that down. So that is the highest of high density. And if I'm really... I really want these houses to be immediately demolished. Come on. Well, some, something's, been, something's been built here. Theatre actor mansion. A notable thespian lives here. Hmm. Okay. I'm, I'm happy with that. That is... Plus four well-being within a kilometre. So, okay, this just makes everybody nice and happy. If they're sort of nearby. I feel like this person ought to kind of be... If we put them, like, around here, then they'll impact all of this. So I think they could like they could like live in a nice spot, like you know, right here on the corner of this street. Maybe they'd be they I'm not they wouldn't be on the corner, would they? They could be close by to the corner, like right there. Yeah, that's nice. That's nice, right there. Are they? What are they across from? Is it just a house? Just with houses. A flat roof? Just houses, yeah. yeah. Just houses with a flat roof. But yeah, within a kilometer, that makes everyone a bit happier. Everyone's like really, really chill. About there being like you know a, a famous person next door. Everyone's like, we uh. Everyone's yeah. really happy that you know like Patrick Stewart is living next door. Everyone's cool with that. <laughs> Things super nice. So okay, this yeah, is... this is quite. I was going to say uh, pe people are all very happy that they get to run into Surrey and Michaela at the <laughs> grocery store. Same basic deal. So yeah. you know our minds went to the same thing because basically they are. Bros, so probably roommates too. Now, okay, hang on. There is. Let's have a look. See at natural resources. That is. You can tell me what natural resource that is. That's oil. That's stone. This is fertile land over here. I mean, we could set up, yeah, some more farming and whatnot, which is nice. That is. That's ore deposits. Yeah. 
So if we expand over in this direction, I'm not sure we can do oil refinery just yet. I'm not sure we've even do we even have the capability to do oil refinery? Is that is that unlocked? No, we can do oil. I mean, logically, like oil traditionally oil makes good money. Like it is this somewhat is traditional to say that oil makes good money. So I feel like we should expand. Given it's close by to Smoke Nightmare Zone already, <laughs> how about we do some oil refinery work? That's got to be the good shit right there. So we're just going to buy all of this. Because I think over here, there's also some, there's like ore mining space and whatever. So there's like, we can do some ore mining. So, okay. This over here is going to be very exciting. All right. So let's just make sure we're in the right. Uh, b -b 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 so, okay. It's, it's right here. So it's basically next to this road. It's all this area around this road. So if we just kind of basically, yeah, leave that. Leave it, leave it on. Leave it on. Leave it on. It's going to turn off. Just turns it off automatically. That's fine. The point is, I wish we could just leave this on. So if we go to, okay, if we go, if we have a road that's close by to these two trees next to each other, then that will work out just fine. So we're just going to have you going off in this direction. That's absolutely fine. Just no trouble. Just curving in this direction. And then straight over to here. We may as well just connect it to leaving town. So, the, you know, the, the, tru the trucks coming yeah. in and out of town do not need to cause any other trouble. And then what we can do is set up a beautiful oil drilling operation which is going to cover the vast majority of this right here it's going to be beautiful and that is then i just ignore that because i can never figure out how to make it work unless i've come out of this and then go into this and then click this then it makes sense to me otherwise i can't make it blood i can never make that bloody work as i want it to so just have literally you're allowed to just explore you can explore oil in all of this area like ha have fun like do do your oil exploration that's okay oil company that wait, is that outside the yeah where's the where's the circle oh there it is i see it yeah, yeah fair enough so we you know in theory we could build another one down the line that's absolutely fine but you know we'll leave you we'll leave you with uh we'll leave you with enough space to you know what these spots are never going to be worth more than the oil is worth you can have, you, you are welcome to have all of these spots right here. And I think it can't cross the road. Yeah, it can't cross the road. So we might like build another one over here, depending on how much money this thing makes for us. Just have that over there too. And there we go. That's now going to be a lovely uh, an oil refinery available for rent. I imagine this is going to start making some good money very, very fast well, indeed. Well, the road is starting to get used immediately, and not just in the sense of people going to the ore refinery. You know what? You're right, actually. Yeah. Now we've got people... We should have built this road long ago anyway, because if nothing else, mm. this just completes the, the ring road. So it just provides a way for people to get around into the industrial without having to bother coming into the uh, this area over here, because we've got... Yeah, we've got a little bit of a... Yeah, the, we do have a bit of a problem with this here, don't we? There is a bit of a traffic jam right here on the very edge of town. Uh, where it's partly residential and partly people trying to get into town. Which way are you guys trying to get to? Are you just trying to get to Franklin Street? Are you just trying to get into the this area? Yeah, people coming into town this direction have uh, have a bit of a a bit of a nightmare. There's a lot of... Are they not... What on earth is going on with this? I'm not sure how the traffic lights are supposed to be working in this area. It's, that's very I'm peculiar. very impressed that no one's dying. Yes, this is interesting. And why wouldn't you just go on to Franklin Street? Lot, some of you people are trying to turn around to get round to, to get onto here. But then logically, they won't need to do that anymore. So going forward, this should ho this will probably ease over time. Because now mm, anyone trying to yeah. turn back on themselves to get into industrial can now just do that. Also, these poor people here. These poor people with huge amounts of ground pollution. Look, they're content. They're content despite the ground pollution. There is a certain amount of ground pollution. Yeah, I mean, when you say they're content, that, that smiley face looks... It's a bit forced, isn't it? <coughs> Tiny bit forced. A bit, 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 bit of a forced smiley face. And we have got ourselves... Oh, hang on. 108 people. You know what? It's not quite as big as I was hoping for. I'm going to be honest. And there are only... There are 10 dogs to 140 people. The current residents living in this building are, yeah, primarily adults. Excuse. Ah, very heavily. That's, that's a very high proportion of uneducated 
That's a quarter of the people in this building are uneducated. So if we go over to a hearsay, uh, show me the residents. You know what? That's like a third two. Yeah, but does not count children. Ooh, you know what it might do. But then again, there's so few I mean, children. There's so few, there's so few children. But yeah, the slightly smaller houses are not quite so bad. Yeah. So okay, we'll need to keep an eye on that over there. Can I see the high density European building? The uh, new it, one. It was this one. Oh wow, okay. It was there's actually there's two identical ones next to each other. They're slightly slightly un, they're, they're slightly depressing, uh slightly depressing giant blocks, to be honest. They're not anything special. I mean. But they are basically at capacity already although this one interestingly has like twice the dogs of this one can you turn around uh, so we see them from the street ah oh, little balconies yeah yeah tiny little yeah, balconies yeah. i mean that is for sure you'll European see the sort of thing you'll see yeah. The, yeah you see that sort of thing in britain and in europe it's kind of you know po this just kind of post-war brutal very simple structures you know nothing too complicated going on here i like yeah. some i like some of these ones a little bit more what the american ones uh you know what? i'm not so keen on I'm, I like, these ones are okay i like 12 broad street here so that's the medium density not high density you know i think that's still pretty high density i think i mean medium... it's 72 people instead of like 150 no this this is medium density like uh, 54 people like okay, these ones enough, like more enough, like 45 enough. this is definitely the european medium density style i'm not sure we, we have any uh medium density uh much we have any medium density of the rest of it also would you like a, a playground you can have a playground if you'd like a playground. There you go. I'm attaching a playground to the side of this, this school. Very nice. Just so you know, this pro it actually looks different to the other playgrounds, which is kind of cool. So mm, there we go. You've now, yeah. you've now you've now got a playground. Sometimes, yeah, when you extend a bit, you've got to literally... There's got to be the land to do it. Um, okay. Now, we do have a bit of a problem, which is there's a giant amount of... At the edge of the spiral, there is a lot of industrial... That's mm. not in its own zone. We've got like one industrial zone here, one industrial zone here. But the edge of the spiral is industrial. But it's causing ground pollution that's annoying these houses. Mm. Which is a bit of an issue. Can oh, hello. you treat ground pollution in High resource way? cost. You need timber. Apparently timber is expensive. And if we were... So, okay. You would ideally like cheaper timber. Like, if I produce my own timber and we can sell it locally on the cheap, then naturally there's going to be... You know, it's going to it's going to be better for local businesses if we do that. And okay, we definitely built a new crematorium. Six out of ten vehicles are in use. Well, there's clearly people as corpses as need collecting. Come on, guys, hurry it up! I'm not paying you to just sit around doing nothing, dear oh flipping dear. Now, why are so many buildings up here being abandoned? This one's literally collapsed due to the number, due to all of that nonsense. Unhappy. What are you unhappy about? High crime. I mean, that's why we built your police station. Does it not reach? Yeah, far but enough? didn't you do one police station for the whole town? No, no, no. We've got a police station here, one up here, one over here. We've got loads of police. Yeah, because we keep seeing messages down in the bottom corner from well, like look at this. in the game. The police station reaches that far. It's in... just, I think it's a, just a little bit too far away. It's causing a little bit of trouble. Yeah, but in-game Twitter keeps talking about how it's not safe to walk out at night and stuff. Also, you still haven't done the welfare office you were talking about. Oh, that's true. That's in. Ah, that's the, the other tab of public order. Police and administration. Right, okay. Administration buildings, positive effect on citizen well beings, uh, trade, taxation, economy as a whole. It's the welfare office. Now, does this have a range? It does have a range, and I would like it, therefore. Its range seems very generous. So I would love it if we could put it somewhere where it also impacts these individuals. The problem is going to be. I mean, you're just going to need several of those. That's just going to be... Oh. I or mean... just put it there. That affects... Because it's going up the spine. Yeah. Now, it's not having much of an effect to these individuals. Yeah, but if you put another one up there... Now, admittedly, if you look at this, citizen well-being, good versus bad... This would be... This is the building you build in the event that citizen well-being is poor. Now, if you actually, though the though there is no coverage on the houses, most citizen well-being is actually solid. Mm -hmm. Where this should be targeted is where there is a large amount of yellow or red. Now, just because people are living in the big buildings, it doesn't mean their welfare is poor. Now, over here, there is a little bit of yellow, isn't there, in mm -hmm. the big buildings? 
and a fair bit of yellow dots around here. So I feel like the problem is... Okay, here's what we're going to do. Here's what we're going to do. I'm going to... I'm going to basically... I'm going to be Batman picking up a gun right now. I, I'm going to do something that's going to hurt me. Yeah. I'm going to introduce a two-way system to one of the edges of the spiral in order to help these people. Because th this neighborhood needs some help. This yeah. neighborhood is being abandoned. It's collapsing. Shit's going wrong here. And I think if we provided a link into the hexagon, then that would help them. The problem is... The problem we've got here is if I, it needs to it needs to flow upstream, meaning okay, yes, we would need to have. Ba, 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 ba. How is the best way to impact these? Everyone, oh god, the one way system. The one way system. It's 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 sort of. Hmm. You know, this isn't part of the spiral if you think about it. In a way, this isn't actually part of the spiral. This is like this is this is not part of the spiral at all. So can I can I paint a road? To make it yes, build another type of road on an existing one. So we're going to this was apparently completely destroy the road. Um okay. Just a two-lane road. That would be fine then, right? Then then paint. Yes. Two-lane. Okay. We're just going. We're gonna make. We're gonna make this area around the edge. We're just gonna make this area. It's not all of it. It's just this area. This area at the side. The spiral is still a spiral. This is a two-way annex on the edge of the spiral. It's an interesting experiment we're running as to the epic, the efficacy of one-way systems versus two-way systems. It's it's hard to say whether this is going to work or not. It's it's really hard to say. Like you know, we'll be doing some, we'll be doing some we'll be doing some testing in this regard. But what we are going to do is we're going to link these people who are really struggling into the edge of the hexagon where there are schools. Mm. There's going to be a welfare office. There's going to be a lot, and we're gonna we're gonna just bulldoze this abandoned house to make it happen. There we go. And you can put the welfare office there. Potentially, I could. Well, I needed to also reach into here. I might just be more like here. -ish. Yeah, we'll see. So we'll have to see. But well, this is this is just an experiment. This is just an experiment. And now, if we put it like okay, but check if you put it in a new spot. If there's an even room, yeah, it would fit in here. It would fit in there. And if we do put it there, I mean, it covers. It covers all of that space. First, if I put it in here, it kind of, if we put it around here, it flows a little bit to some of these houses. But honestly, I feel like mostly they do not need it. It would be nice if it hit these the, these big structures too. If you just put it in the inside of the new spot rather than the outside of the new spot. The what? Well, instead of putting it on the outside here, if you put it on the inside of the new spot. That would make no difference. Oh, but fine. I'm just asking you to try no, that. No, that makes no... And also, it doesn't fit without demolishing a whole bunch of houses. Fair enough. I'd say this is a good This is a good spot. This covers all of the yellow buildings, and it covers these houses that need the help. I know it's a good spot. It was my idea. There we go. I'm going to put that there. There is now a welfare office right here, which is lovely, and there's nothing we can do to actually make it. That's a very big building, actually. Very big building. So, okay. We're going to get that happening. And we're going to see if that can help this district. See if that helps out this district at all. We have already, we're have we already getting a little bit more demand for the really big-ass buildings. Which I love. Let's go for... Hang on. The... Wait, where's the... Let's go for some... Yeah, let's go for some, uh, some North American high-density McGibblings. Let's put that right right here so they can get all the help they need. And see if we can, you know, get some people floating around this bit of the world. Then again, this is, we know, what's the crime situation? Because I think the crime situation might kind of be the problem in many ways. Crime is definitely... Uh, if you can just put another police station. I mean, I feel like they've got 
coverage. Like I admit over here, there's, there's no yeah, coverage. Yeah, but, but look, there, there look at that. They've coverage. got coverage. The houses are in red. But they shouldn't be. Actually, you know, I think we might have just introduced additional coverage via this road. Maybe. I think that's going to improve. I think that's going to improve, actually. Um, also, average oh. crime probability, 39%. Okay, fascinating. Uh, yes. Uh, Molly was asking if you wouldn't mind renaming the welfare office for her because she uh, works in the welfare office. Uh, and uh, we can name it the Molly Schmuckers. It is Molly's welfare uh, office. I.E. Sorry. Molly's, Molly's, Molly's welfare office. Hey. That's that's a nice that's a nice personal touch, right there. I think that's a lovely touch. That kind of I think kind of you know helps just make it feel a bit more personal. Yes, you know Molly Schmucker's mom. Yes, absolutely. So yes, we do also have. Yes. Sorry, we refer to all of you by who your dogs are. That's the which I think you all agree with. Seems eminently yeah. reasonable. Uh, let's see. Boo, 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 boo. Then we've got a message from John, uh, who gave us twenty pounds, and says I get paid tomorrow, so I wanted to pay some ad block tax. Thank you for keeping the stream on theme for Halloween season. <laughs> I'm going to choose that they mean it surely because it's sort of spider's web theme yeah, and course. nothing to do with anything else. Of course. Okay, let's look at these people who haven't abandoned this place. Like, this, these people are happy. High crime is a problem, but I think we've just introduced some more patrolling mm. cops into the area that might reduce the crime rate. Uh, over here, let's find some people who are just sort of, sort of okay. Here we go. It's someone who's neutral. Let's figure out what the problem is. It's just the crime. It's literally just the crime. But, like, I think... But how much does a new police station cost? It? Ooh, what's over there? What? Is that a storm? I think it's just a storm. Yeah, weather oh, damage. Yeah. So the the, uh, the police and fire will take care of that. It's just a small thing over here. What are you guys doing, by the way, out here? Yep, you know what? You're happy. The city is working. It wouldn't mind a tiny bit more in the way of uh, commercial but that's fine we'll give them some good commercial and a really good spot right over here we'll just so we're just slowly i'm really enjoying this process by the way that the hexagon every time there's just a tiny bit more demand for like you know just a little bit more commercial we just slowly push out some of the low density housing and replace it with like you know either businesses or high density so the center is actually starting to like you know I just want to grow and look a bit more like an actual city. And then we've got, like, you know, the big suburb all around the outside where there's a bit more space if that's where you want to move out to, which I find deeply delightful. Uh, yes, indeed. Also, um, is it possible to maybe upgrade that police station, that police station to have more cars? You know what? That's a very good point. And what we should do is, hang on, where was that police station? Did we put it... I was like in the middle of it. Can you hang on? Go into yeah. <laughs> no, the police lens. Uh, buh, 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 buh. Show me. Show. Give me a. Give me a. Give me a crime lens or a police lens here, please. Uh, here we go. So there's one police station here, and there is one police station here, and over there. And then, yeah, there's another one over here. Those are the three in, in the blue. The others are the cars that are currently patrolling. So, you're right. I think this one is actually doing... This one's doing the most good for these guys. Because it's flowing around here, then around here, then around there. But you are correct. If I could increase the power of this police station. But that's just more space for more vehicles. So... Which, you know what, is doesn't really cost that much more. So I'm going to give you guys an extra garage. And, I mean, that did just cause that did just cause some stars over here. So I'm going to assume there's a fire, by the way. But, you know, there'll, there'll, be fire, there'll be fire brigades on the way as time goes by. That'll be absolutely fine. But slowly building a little bit more, a bit more commercial space. A bit more commercial needs to go in over time, too. And this is, yeah, the yellow means this is highly desirable because there's so many people. Like this is, oh, blimey! What? This! Nah! The giant, th the giant erection, Claire. There's been a giant erection. <laughs> yes, hi. <laughs> that was that was okay. Well. <laughs> <laughs> 
Very flattered by Claire's choice of response there. There's also... Oh, no, put! Oh, no, there's a much smaller erection next door. Oh, no. Oh, that's really sad. That's okay. That's... It's, it's not all about size. Yeah, but it doesn't have girth either. It's, 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 it's not big or girthy. Um, <laughs> I like how this one might be even bigger than this one. Hell of a crane. Uh, so what's fascinating is this Wait, is... is that an actual building being built? Yes, this is a building being built. Oh, shit. So this, this has got 108 people in it. This one's only 144, so these are some bigger apartments. There's some fucking penthouses. Yeah, that's that's some good shit right here. And this is this has got I think this has been rebuilt at some point. Dude, that's only 144. Like over here, that's 120. And like Wait, are those actually the really big uh European building that you, you put in? Like what are those? Uh well they're definitely a high density. This is yeah, they must be. They must be. This must be. This. This. The big shit has started to appear. Oh, actual skyscrapers. This is. This is definitely an actual skyscraper, and there might be an even bigger one. Oh, hello. That looks more like a skyscraper, actually. That's up to two hundred and sixty. Like, Someone's already dead. Oh, sorry. Three, three people are dead. Wait, wait, wait. Can you, uh, can you get closer to both of those? Yeah. There we go. I mean, yeah, it's not really like a, a US skyscraper because it doesn't have like fire escape and stuff. But this has just but... generated a big pile of commercial, which means I think we can almost certainly put. Yeah, look at this. Now we can get rid the of this tiny non girthy building is really sandwiched, but they've lost all of their natural light. Yeah, that that is kind of sad. But this is now going to be an amazing spot for shops for, to service all these people. So now around these people, we now just basically dezone the uh, the tiny houses. Like this house has got yeah, this is three people. This one's three people. This one's three people. So we're basically we're kicking out like thirty people to generate the shops that can then service all these people. Yeah. Which is huge. But yes, that's I mean that's 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 what happens. I mean you're impressed by one giant erection, then an even bigger one comes along. <laughs> oh, happy days. Happy flipping days. This is this is this is good. We're getting into the big the big ass buildings are now showing up, and they are showing up more and more too. There is actually more and more demand for this, so okay. This is we can we can have we can have uh, North American high density housing, see if that can like, you know impress me a bit more at this point now that you know we're actually getting a little bit more of all this coming in let's have just a little bit over here a little bit over here see if the the north american style is going to impress me so yeah we're, we're, we're allowing if let's see if it, it's north american's bigger because i think right now europe is definitely got the bigger erections going on so let's see let's see america let's the, see the what mods you would like you to stop uh <laughs> making dick jokes please <laughs> well, they can want as much as oh, I think the pool lagoon's getting getting a pair. Is it? It's definitely getting pooier. Oh well. Also, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. This is. Oh. I think that I th second so sewage tunnel got submerged. I think. I think. I think it might be filling up. Oh, it's almost like we warned you. Does that look higher on this side to you? Yeah, look on the other side, though. Huh? Look on this side. It's almost there. Oh, yeah. You can see it when it's against the sea. Oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> okay, so a water, treatment, a water treatment plant? No, no. No, we don't. No, that's completely not necessary. I can fix this. All we need to do is excavate some. Is make it deeper. Yeah. Lowers the terrain. If we simply build a giant hole that goes to the center of the earth, then the poo can be in there. There we go. Now the poo will simply go down into the giant hole, right? Why did the water? I feel, maybe maybe when you do that, it, the, 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 the game deems it is pre-filled. Or something. Okay, well I can get around that. Okay, kick 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 kick. Treatment plant. No Claire. No 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 no. I've got a way better plan. Oh, no. All we do is we dig the deepest hole in the world that's a dry hole because it was at no because it wasn't at any point. Cause it because it was not wet. Okay, we just dig the deepest okay, we just we just dig a hole 
to Australia. Just keep it going down. There we go. Deepest, so we're poo well. Deepest hole in the world. And now we simply drain the... Okay, don't, don't get this wrong here. And now we simply put this in here. And watch it go. And watch... Oh, well, would you look at... Physics is being a little bit on the wonky side. But on the plus side... Well, your idea worked. My idea did indeed work. We've just... A pooterful. Is this going to drain... Drain the sea? Is this going to drain the ocean? Just out of interest. I mean... Well, it... you have to be really careful when you park in that one <laughs> parking lot over there. <laughs> Everything's <laughs> fine. It's it's fine. Maybe maybe they should build a fence. No, the rocks the rocks are steady. The rocks are holding steady. It's all working. This the plan has worked. The plan has actually worked. We've fish we've drained the poo hole. This is this is fine. Everything is under control. Admittedly. Oh my god. <laughs> the poo the, the poo reservoir has been drained. It's oh. It's, it's already kind of actually close. It's a shit pit. It is indeed a giant shit pit. But we have now solved the problem forever. I'm sure this will never backfire. The problem has now been solved forever <laughs> and nothing to... Oh, hello. We have got another... Wait, maybe this was the American... Maybe this was the American star? I can't remember which star I was mm. building at any given time. I don't think. But that's kind of nice. That's nice right there. I like that building. That's pretty cool. So yeah, that's. I think that, that might be the same as this one. It looks very yeah, similar. I think, I it think might it's be the, the same. same, and I think it looks to me European, but I don't know. I'm certain these were the American style ones. But yeah, now there is a big pile. Can you of... not like see that somewhere? Sorry. Can you not like double click it and, and see a description of the building? Does it just say high density? It doesn't say American or. I can't hover over that ah, to give a tooltip. Uh, but yes, this is now going to definitely be a brand new residential zone right here. So we're just going to knock that down. And yeah, the, the, the good work continues right here. And now we're going to introduce new businesses. And the introduction of new businesses generates demand for more high-impact housing. So this is all very exciting. This is all very, very exciting indeed. There is a little bit of a traffic jam back here again as everything goes up. And these businesses are, especially in the center, these businesses are thriving. They are doing oh, nice. so well. They're, do they're doing amazingly well under the circumstances. So this is, this is all going beautifully well. Aside from there's... there's... Can you cover up the poo hole maybe with something? High crime, poor education services, reliable in oh, reliable internet's good lack of entertainment unreliable health care okay this neighborhood needs a bit of love this neighborhood was admittedly just tossed in to provide cheap laborers for this area but now it's being abandoned and that's no good at all so what we need to do is yeah have a little look see at the situation with uh, oh oh yeah uh yeah okay fair fair you, you absolutely don't have any healthcare coverage at all. Um, and you have the pollution of both the industrial estate and the pool again. Okay, here. Have a doctor. Just a basic doctor to chill you out. Okay. And you don't need to worry about the, the garbage situation. Is, yeah, you can just throw it in the pool again. The garbage situation is fine. You have... Oh, your education is quite poor in this bit of the world it must be said uh do you not have coverage from this this school definitely has capacity the question is is it big enough if no it's not got the capacity it doesn't reach far enough so in which case we're just going to provide you guys with a basic secondary school as well just shove that right there just give you some basic education give you some basic education too oh look at that that was a lot of stars and I think they were just what saying they people. also are very unhappy about that. But that's fine because this could also provide oh, this can also provide help for the industrial zone that's got crime problems too. So we can sort both of them out by just putting that there right there. So that's going to sort that out too. So this is that yeah. we've just spent a lot of money on this area that's probably not really barely got even that many bloody people, but 
you know, we need to move it in the right direction. Eventually, it will need assistance and it will need people living here, etc, etc. It's all going to be fine. So that was a fair bit of money, but equally, no matter how much money I spend, I always seem to just have more. Even when the game's like, oh, you're losing so much money. It's like, am I? I feel like I'm not. I feel like we're, we're making cocking tons of money, actually. Oh, just the, the central giant buildings and then the outer suburbs in a ring is so cocking pleasing. Yes. Clap. Uh, shout out to Niche Icon, who's been a member of 62 months and uh, wants to know. But really, is anyone truly enjoying playing city skylines if they aren't trapping people into circular one-way road systems that don't let them ever leave? That seems fair, you know. How's our oil doing, by the way? Because yeah, the oil, the oil, the oil business is doing well. Check the state of oil. We are producing oil. We have still got a deficit of it, but we're getting close to being able to export it. So okay, we know there is more oil available. There's an entire thing over here. I mean, this business is is thriving. Let's just get another one out here. And can I just build that here, or is that not allowed? No, I think I need to have like a road eye control rather than that. So, you know what? Let's just have uh, another nice, simple uh, floobly doop. Uh, yes, a nice four lane right here. And just have it loop around in this direction. And that's purely going to exist to service yet more oil. Lovely. Clap. Uh, yeah, shout out to Indiana Matt, who's been a member for 46 months uh, and says, I just started watching from the beginning and heard Claire say the, the city looks like boobs things and the titty skyline thing. Uh, John, how have you not married her? <laughs> ah, if Ash is not the marrying kind. <laughs> We are both not the marrying kind. We're both not really the marrying kind, to be honest, no. I mean, like, we have we we have had several pet children together, so you know what? We are we are there. Just yeah. don't need the paperwork, really. Exactly. That seems fair and reasonable. Uh it's gonna be fifteen years in January. Is it? Blimey. Yeah. Uh, shout out to Ro, who uh, gave us five pounds and uh, wants to know how are you all? And also, I'm loving the circles slash spirals slash mess. I'm loving them too. This is the mm -hmm. good shit right here. Now, okay, there is suddenly a big demand for commercial, like a lot of demand for commercial. And oh, next time we hit the yeah, air, next time we're going to have a high density business. Which is kind of exciting, because that, that feels like the big shit right there. So, okay, there is... Ooh! I kind of missed this, by the way. This would be a great spot for some more commercial. This is this is lots of, this is lots of people. You know what? Congratulations. Around here, there are quite a few people. That's going to be officially made into a whole bunch of that. Just keep an eye out for yeah, the high-density areas. Round over to here-ish. You're already high-density, and you're already where you should be. This should blatantly be, yes, a series more of that stuff. So there's some more of that. There's some more of that. We're already up to here, right here. You guys are starting to struggle with your rent and whatnot. So can we fit more in here? We could fit a tiny bit more. Oh, that could go. Yeah, that can go right there. That can go. That can go. Yeah, fine. And actually, as we're slowly tearing down a housing around the center over here, just to allow more space for businesses... We are in an interesting situation where, yeah, the demand for singling for small housing is slowly starting to creep up. But luckily, oh, Claire, mm -hmm. it's going to work out perfectly because the American estate that we just built over here has got space for, ooh, the auto center. Okay, brand new unique building. Love it. So, okay, plus one attractiveness citywide, minus one import cost citywide, plus three well-being within one kilometer. It's like, you know, a big thing for businesses, I assume. So, okay, that can just sort of be like, you know. What, it's just a car dealership, isn't it? It's a fa it's it's a fancy car dealership is what it is. How dare all you, right, Claire? All right, it's a all fancy right. car dealership. We're going to put that right over here and just, you know. There we go. Look at that. Look at that. It's fancy. It's fancy shit. Look at that. It's proper. Oh, fair enough. It's, fair not, enough, just, fair it's, enough. Not, just, it's not just like any old thing. Dear, oh, flipping dear, Claire. 
Anyway, shout out to Mary, uh, shout out to uh, Marie Pascal who gave us twenty Canadian dollars. Excellent dollars. Uh, and says this is the beginning of my ad blocks tax payment. I've been watching you for years now. I love your content. I bought so many games after seeing you play them. Take care and give Ted a treat and a hug from me. Trans rights. Trans rights. Damn straight. Indeed, trans rights. Uh, Omega Game Studio also gave us 10 Polish Slotty and says Ted is a hero of XCOM and therefore he deserves a woof. That seems fair. Oh, look at this. The yes, but that, that was after he did the woof outside at 10.30 in the evening. This district is actually recovering. Oh, very Look, nice. Look, it's actually on. It's it's being rebuilt. The abandoned Look houses are that. being built up. Same thing is, okay, right now this, build, this area is still very much in the process of needing it's being abandoned it's still being fixed up but over like we're definitely seeing people moving back in and buildings being redone etc etc and even this area over here is finally starting to actually be developed up a little bit so this is i think it, this area is slowly on the mend i think it is slowly being fixed up here so we're just going to provide a, where's a logical place to provide additional housing like there is this area should be pretty well covered. If we just create a jet, some more like two-way, yeah, another giant two-way uh, like bulge on the edge of the spiral like we've done here. This should work because it should already be covered by the, it should already be covered by the police. Now it should, yeah, it's got, it should have good coverage for much of the, oh, but then again, I won't have access to the welfare office, will it? Uh, it will have... Oh, you guys have gotten basically no education access to schools. Okay. We can fix that. I think we need to give you guys, yeah, a new school on the outside. That's the big thing you guys are lacking. You need a basic school. So, okay. I know precisely how we're going to fix that. We're going to build a giant bolt. Then we're going to build a tiny couple of new structures here. And that's how we're going to make it all work. Clap! Uh, yeah, shout out to Mothfoot, who's been a member for nine months and says, I've been too busy and tired to catch streams lately. I'm finally getting in a member chat. Thank you for all the entertainment. Oh, thank you for coming and hanging out with us this evening. Definitely. Also, uh, shout out to Maxwell Aerial Photography, who gave us two Canadian dollars. Excellent dollars. Uh, and says, I've been away for a while, but hello, John and Claire. Hello, hello. Uh, we've got a message from Andy who gave us five pounds about how the sausage is made. Uh, and yes, this is a, a really interesting one. I'm sure you'll have loads to say about it. Oh dear. Andy says, love you guys and love your videos. I want to see them all, but I feel that you sometimes cut out too much. I know that John knows what he's doing and maybe there's moments he feels he's not entertaining or some background noise that makes him cut out an entire segment, but I wouldn't mind a small sound or a moment of silence if it means the video continues. For example, in Stray, he got out so much. Recently in Starfield, I've been trying to play close to the same levels or missions and it's hard to figure out sometimes where he even is because he cut the star map segment. Ah, I try not to cut the star map segment if I can. If I, I, I should, mm. unless we've already been there in the previous part. Like you could argue, it's it's always a difficult one. And obviously, like sometimes I don't just cut because I think something doesn't sound right, or if that is, it's, I, I don't commentate it. Like I literally only commentate the bits I think work and are nice and are fun and whatnot. Like you know, like very often what comes out is the silence for the most yeah, part. Yeah, the thing is, like you know. It's not like John sits down for an hour and then you see 50 minutes. Like, sometimes yes. that happens, but it never happens on Starfield, or very rarely. You said you had one recently that was a lot of plot. Yes. And uh, maybe that might be the case. Yeah, the start but of the ranges and whatnot. Generally, it's more like a four-hour recording session or something. And then we end up with, like, maybe an hour five or an hour ten of, like, total talking and then a bunch of that is repeats and flubs and you know when you're reading something it's yes. hard to read it without making a bit of a mistake or you know there's there's most of what comes out really like you said is the silence yeah but sometimes it's just yeah you could have a little bit of extra like inventory management or talking about one gun or another. That sometimes I just made but, the decision to just kill, yeah. 
But that's, and I, and I, that's and why... I, I think that's the right thing to do. I think that's the right oh, thing yeah. to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. no, agreed. But I think also, just so people know, like, sometimes the reason that stuff comes out is because when, you know, like, you cut out a bit of talking about, like, for instance, guns or, or, or like, discussing, you know, uh, hunting some animals on a planet or whatever. Yeah. Not just because, oh, I've decided that thing is boring, but just because you make a better joke by the editing cut between the thing before and the thing after. Yes, sometimes you it just make flows it together more, a bit better that way, yeah, absolutely. You know, enjoyable, you don't... Sometimes I'm editing and I come to a point and I'm like, wait, why is he talking about that? And I have to go back like two or three kind of like... We talk about it in terms of sense block, like yes. what's a block that makes sense? And sometimes, I mean, it doesn't not make sense, but, you know, he's just said the same thing 10 minutes ago and you could get a tighter, a tighter joke or a more exciting fight or something. And, you know, it's... If I just slightly, slightly, slightly make a little change here, if I just, yeah, have you flow out a little bit, that should make the hospital work better. And I've just killed some houses, but that, that should now make the hospital flow. Yes, there we go. Thanks to that uh, one. Still a one-way system. Oh, that's so Now funny. the hospital gets out to here. Hey, John. Yes. Dennis in chat says, um, has John's mouse uh, has John's mouse wheel always been so loud? Yes, I love my mouse How wheel. How is it the first time I'm hearing this? Also, his mechanical keyboard. I love my mechanical keyboard. Incredibly loud mouse. It's great. It's the yeah, best so we thing. do, like... Obviously, it depends. Sometimes the mouse wheel There we go. Is you see, going... this area is already really well covered by nice. police. So that's already covered by, like, everything. And now we just slap down some super elite mega city parks and shit just to make this area super nice. Super I mean, that's the thing. Plaza. Like, sometimes you get something like a, a, a mouse click, a, a mouse wheel that's happening while he's talking. You can't cut it out. And then you have to make sure that it syncs up with... You know, if you have a mouse wheel noise that's very obvious and the game visual is not moving because you've had to m move the, you know. So it's that kind of thing that we pay attention to. But like, a if there's just a loud play. click in the middle of nowhere yeah. in between two words, we, we take it out because it's really easy to do and it yeah. just doesn't distract you as much and also but like oh, and also the downside is if anything ever be, if anything ever gets unsynced like just because you know i i did i i flubbed slightly and started reading re light again but then i start zooming in and out then all of a sudden the zoom isn't in line with the the clacky noise and that causes problems then that needs to be fixed manually and like sometimes if you're trying to cut something together and the image has moved only a tiny bit but yeah. not like a, a great big move that yeah. makes a clean cut then it's even more distracting yeah so like yes yeah, so there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of intricacies to to the way you my favorite uh, trick yeah. is in fallout 4 conversations when your character is talking to another character the other character finishes talking and then it cuts back to your character to look at to, to stare at your face when you're picking dialogue yeah. but obviously if i'm taking if i take a few minutes to go okay what dialogue option am i going to pick and what am i going to say what, what joke am i going to make you can simply take the point where the camera cuts away from the first character and then simply close up the point where it cuts back to my face so it all looks really smooth and that's something you do a lot with the fallout 4 and it looks lovely yeah yeah yeah. And you'd yeah. never notice it if you didn't oh, thank know it was you. i was like i was gonna say i i was thinking is john gonna say he does that and like say he invented it or whatever no you started doing that recently in fallout 4 and it's really elegant i like it oh thank you Mm -hmm. um i think it's something the mod does more than the actual game yeah um the, when a character in the mod finishes talking very often they are just like overlapping but i think it's quite nice anyway because like say in 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 starfield that doesn't happen as much it's a bit more i find it a bit more difficult but uh yeah it's all it's all very fun like it's oh you made a mickey mouse wait what did i just do Apparently, what? you made uh, some. I think that is that. Wait, what? Hang on. Whoa, Did whoa, you whoa. rezone something? Yeah, but like in a way that that you guys are supposed to be. Hang on. Yeah, you guys are all supposed to be. Yeah, I'm supposed. I'm trying to rezone some of this, but I didn't think I was rezoning all of this. Hang on, you guys are. Wait, whoa, 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 wait, wait, wait. Why are you guys all? Whoa, 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 whoa. What? Are you rezoning Ian McKellen's house. 
That is hang the cock on. That is. I think I yes, I I should not have rezoned this. Okay, this is definitely. Yeah, you're fine. You're fine. You're fine. Don't don't knock that down. You can knock down the rest of this. That's all absolutely fine. Why are you being blue? Are you, you're blue. You're, you're not. You're not. You're fine. What are you saying? Why are you saying you're about to be knocked down? So these houses need, need to be knocked down. Yes, but like none none of the rest of it. Oh, that's gone away. One of the condemned. That the icons has gone away. I don't know what just happened there, but yeah, yeah I'm more interested in this massive explosion over here, which is good. We've got a huge giant pile of new small single income houses over here, and there might be an interest in some more big houses in the center at some point too. I, I yeah, I I don't know whether it was. Where was the? No, no, that's 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 in McKellen's mansion. In McKellen's mansion's fine. Oh, good. In McKellen's mansion is fine. Don't worry. In McKellen is safe. Uh, so yeah, and these buildings are yeah. These these businesses, especially in the centre, are doing very very well indeed. That one says it's struggling, which is oh that's just the building at the base of yeah the buildings at the base of residential are weird because every build every business around is like yeah we're thriving we're fine efficiencies through the roof but like this tiny building that's like at the bottom of a uh, residential is like no we can't cope we're dying but it may just be lying. We did establish this may just be completely inaccurate information. There's no way to know whether this is accurate, actually correct or not. And yeah, these houses are being thrown up right now. So there's now 10 million extra houses there, which is good. That is looking really, really good indeed. Uh, and yeah, we should be A-OK. -okay. The situation looks under control. Clap. Uh, yes, indeed. Uh, let's see. Uh, shout out to Frank, who gave us $5. And says, hey, John and Claire, I just wanted to pop in and let you know uh, that you have a new subscriber. He nice. was born on Tuesday oh. and he's our first baby. Ah, okay. That 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 went for that went not where I was expecting. Amazing. Frank, he's not 13 years old. What is this? <laughs> this content is very officially not for children. <laughs> Well, congratulations, Frank, uh, and uh, and your partner as well, as you said, we. Uh, but yes, indeed. Ooh, more questions about editing. Yes. Uh, Carrie Han uh, wants to know, for a 50-minute episode, if it takes four hours of recording, how much time does it take uh, approximately to edit? Depends who's doing it. Obviously, Depends what I, it is. I know the shape of it better ahead of time, so I can do it faster, and I've been doing it longer. So for me, that's probably a full day mm. job. For you, maybe two day job. Also, the thing is, like, John is, you know, at the end of the day, like, obviously, it's it's a bit weird to say because it's like it's both of us running this business together and whatever. But you know, it's John's like vision for the episode, right? Yeah. So for me, sometimes I'm like double guessing what I'm going to be doing. And, you know, like, I mean, obviously you think about what you do and yes. sometimes you're thinking, is that the right choice to make? But I think you're able to be a lot more decisive because you have the kind of end shape of it. You know, you're like the buck stops with you, mm. if that makes sense. Yes. And so for me, I'm like, is that what John would be doing? Or am I doing something that he's going to want to undo that's going to take him more time, you know? Lol. So, yeah, it's... Um, for a fallout, for instance, John will give it to me and I will do a super quick pass that will take me maybe half a work day. So, like, maybe four hours. Yeah. Where I go through it at, like, one and a half or one in 1.6 speed. Yeah. Um, and I don't fix... She means she's listening to it faster. Like, literally, she's listening to it faster and I'm speaking it, like, fast forwards. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, exactly. Like yeah. Um, and so, um, and so I cut out all the silence and I cut out the bits where John's repeating himself because he didn't like a take or whatever. Mm. Uh, Happens and, all the time. And you know, I cut out like the little bits of time where he's thinking about what he's gonna say to a character. Yeah. For instance, what we were just mentioning. Uh, so that takes me about four hours for a fallout it can be shorter i think city skylines i did that for and i knocked it out 
much faster than four hours. Yeah. Um, but then that means that for John to do the final proper edit... Yeah, where I then go through it in full to make sure it's all as it should be and I'm happy with it. Then that's much faster than if he was doing also the... I mean, you know, if you're thinking about a... Um, if you're thinking about like a... I don't know, like a, a novel editing. I'm taking a, a file and I, I'm taking out all the bits that have all the notes and everything and I'm making sure everything's like almost say, in order or whatever and then John's doing like a proper editorializing. Um, no, that's only if you're that doing like, sense. that's often if you're doing something more like a fast, a first pass or something. If you're doing something that's like, you know, way more... If you, I'm doing Starfield, yes. which I am the main editor for, yes. um, then I'm doing it in full. I'm going at like regular speed. I'm not listening to John be a chipmunk. Mm -hmm. And that will take me, it depends on the length of the episode, Quite frankly, it depends on if I'm having a good ADHD day, you know? Mm. Like, I've not had a very good ADHD beginning of this week. No, we've had a bit we've had a bit of a slow beginning of this week. Yeah, well, um uh, uh, obviously, you know, much easier to figure out uh after the fact, but um yeah. I think I was PMSing, and that's Lol. why. Uh, and, you know, it's a funny thing. It happens every month, and every month it really surprises me that it, like, knocks my brain function. Anyway, um, so I've taken, like, two and a half days if to, to like, do an entire Starfield. To do one episode of Starfield, yes. And now I have to do another one in, like, a day and a half in order More like to, a day, given Fallout. Well, given Fallout, yeah. yes. Though that usually doesn't take me an entire work day. Yes. What? So, you know. What farming product could we do the best of? We're massively lacking in grain. And I know we need grain. Yeah, we've got a massive deficit for grain. Logically, we, we want to build whatever we've got the deficit of. Though actually, we're producing no cotton right now. So that would suggest to me that that probably ought to be a bit of a priority. Get a good cotton mm. farm set up here. Just get that in play. Oh, blimey, I think it's a blizzard. I think we've got a blizzard going on. Oof. That's definitely, yep, that's, that's, I was thinking, oh, that's weird. There's a weird graphical glitch. No, it's just snowing. Uh, the graphical glitch is it's snowing, it turns out. So incredibly fertile, lovely ground here. Just to move all this round. Honestly, you can have all of this. There's no reason for us to build another farm. This should be absolutely fine. You can have all this too pull you round to have the whole flipping lot as far as I'm concerned. Beautiful. So that should be a lot of cotton that we're growing in these fields. Though possibly as it's currently um, like, you know, November and snowing, you might not necessarily get like the most out of it. I'm not sure when cotton season is, but oh, hang on. Hello. Oh, oh, oh. Um. Okay, apparently we're eating a lot of electricity these days. Right, that's that's fine. Uh, coal power plant would cost a ridiculous amount of money. But I think we can just stick with I think we're still fine with small coal power plants. I don't think we need uh, I don't think we need anything else right now. Let's so just pop that. Hello, don't don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. Just pop that. Pop that round here. Anywhere where it's definitely is, it should be. Right. Brand new electricity in play. Are we good on water as water? Water's just about holding on for the time being. So that should, the electricity should be under control shortly. There we go. Sorry, sorry about the blackouts, people. We, we literally didn't have enough electricity. My bad. Everything's fine. And uh, situation is blimey. There's still a lot of demand uh, for commercial. Where would you like to be commercial? You'd like to be where there's people. Problem is, yes, we're running out of uh, we're running out of good land for you. You know what? You can have you can have some of this. You can have some of this. You can have all of this. There's some good land around there. You can have all of that. I think possibly yes. The game stuttered for a second, and that's what caused the previous confusion as to why there was or was not uh, suddenly a giant pile of uh, yes, res uh, commercial where there was supposed or not supposed to be. Right, guys, uh, sorry, this is all going to be commercial now because there are people.
who live here. And when there are people, that means they need to, you know, actually, we, we need to, we, we, you just need to give up your homes in order that there will be more commercial going forward. There we go. Lovely. Everybody's houses get, oh, it's lovely and snowy. Look at that. I like it. There's snow on the roof. That's good. It's very pretty. That actually is quite a lot prettier. That's that's quite good with all of that. So, admittedly, we're still desperately struggling to keep up with the low income. We're, we're back to bloody... Oh, oh, that's hilarious. The parks just don't get snow. <laughs> Come on. That's kind of... Oh, hang on. Are they... Are any... No, none of them. None of them. That's that's dumb. That's Mysteriously, the campsite does, but the parks don't. They're, like, heated. They've got under park heating or something. So, the poo hole is also full, by the way. That's, that's, but it's going to take a long time to fill up the, the poo again. Then we can just dig another poo hole, like a deeper one, and that will solve the problem forever. No problem. If any, it's frozen right now. The poo will freeze. The poo hole will freeze over, and that will, that will, that solves the problem, hopefully. Come on. Uh, yes, indeed. Let me see. What have we got in terms of results, Typing. by the way? Sorry. Um... Yes, shout out to Jordan who gave us $10 and says, Hey John, I fall asleep to your videos all the time. Aww. Love you all. That's lovely, I like that. Yes, indeed. I don't get it because I feel like I'm a bit too much booming and John, blah, 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 <laughs> for, to, to go to sleep. I don't feel like I'm like, you know, a nice relaxing. I'm not like I'm not like the Chugger Conroys of this world. I don't have like, <laughs> you know, a nice, relaxing, well put together, calm, well organized mm. video style. There's too much there's too much shouting and explosions. I don't think I could fall asleep to my own videos. Mm. Carry on. Yes, indeed. Uh, Howie gave us £10 and says, John, your videos really help uh, de-stress me when I did my Chartered Civil Engineer qualification this year. Nice. So thank you so much. No judgment on this stream. <laughs> you really should judge him. Also, it's wow. my 30th birthday tomorrow. Yay, question mark. <laughs> hey, Howie, happy birthday. Sorry to be... Uh, Submitting you to this on the day before your birthday. What? Happy birthday, Howie. Submitting submitting to what? So, is that a Frenchism? So, so, so. I'm sorry to be, like, making... Subjecting him. you. Subjecting Subjecting, him. right. Yes. That makes more sense. Yeah. No, that's the French. That's the French. Submit. That's the French. See. Anyway... Yeah, we can just build more housing over here. That doesn't ha that more that happens more often to be honest the other way around where I say something very English sounding in French these days, but uh, yes. We just desperately need more cocking housing. Oh god, why is it always more housing? Just keep on keeping on. Sorry, we have to demolish some more roads just to desperately make space for you all. There's, there's, there's just, we just need more. Co also, it's very hard to see the, the white zoning when it's snowing like this. That, that makes life complicated. That, that definitely makes life a little bit, uh, trickier. Uh, everything's fine though. This is gonna be, this is gonna be a lot of housing. Okay, this is a lot of housing for you. All right, you've got to, you've got to be happy with all this, you fussy Folks flaps. are very amused by the idea that the pool hall is going to freeze over and a. Little kids are gonna go skate on the frozen poo hole. Yep, seems uh, fair. And you know, won't so that be nice whimsical... memories for when we grow? Yes, exactly. Whimsical Christmas time, absolutely. Uh, B water expands when it freezes. Oh. And uh, like a, so, like it'll slowly like grow out of the ground like a giant poopsicle. And even if it doesn't <laughs> do that, if it freezes in the pipes. And backs everything up. <laughs> Just realised you are not connected. Oh dear. There we go. That should sort that out. So, well, there's a little bit of a little bit of. Yeah, there's a little bit of stuff going. There's a tiny bit of trouble with the, the the coverage with the. Oh, the school's kind of on the other side of the thing. Um. Oh, hang on. That's because that's not one of my roads. Ah, hang on. They're not. Yeah. If I build an extra road here, and then I need to... You all, so you never connected to this. And you did connect to this. Okay. 
that is. Yes, you're now covered for medicine. There's just a tiny... There's a bit of a gap at the bottom, I'll admit. But it is what it is. You are now better covered for schools, though not the absolute best. You're well covered for police. And you've got no fire coverage. But, like, plenty of places don't have fire coverage. It just takes a it's bit fine. longer. It's it's snowing right now, It anyway. just takes a bit longer for the fire brigade to get to you. It's not the worst thing in the world. It's 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 still a reasonable... It's a reasonable area. It's it's not the absolute best, but it's still pretty reasonable. It's uh, People will still happily live there. It just won't be the nicest area in town. Clap! Uh, yes, indeed. Shout out to Daniel, who gave us two Canadian dollars. Best dollars. And says, um, petition to rename this whole place Cholera City. Pfft, Cholera oh, so only. Rude. So rude. I think they mean because of all the sewage in the water. There's only that much. There's not even that much sewage in the water. Also, we need even yeah, more I'm space sure, in this bit of the world. I'm this sure is, Jon Snow wouldn't mind it at all. This is precisely where we're going to expand. This is just going to be even more housing. And you know what? Then we'll build some more facilities to cover all of this area. Uh, this is going to be absolutely fine. This is going to be lovely, in fact. Though it's very hard oh, to wow. see the, the bloody things when they're, hit, when they're against the snow. Yes, Claire. Uh, shout out to Maxwell, who gave us $50. Oh, thank you very, very much, Maxwell. Uh, and says, I started watching you guys when I was hurt. When I was, sorry, early in my college experience. I now have an advanced degree and I'm two years into my career. Thank you for all of the laughs and endless hours of entertainment over the years. I hope you revisit Planet Zoo. Planet Zoo. Ah, yes, I recall Planet Zoo. Planet Zoo was fun. Maybe, like, I definitely think they've, they've done some fun stuff. Though, actually, the one I was thinking of recently that I might go and visit from was Meg Aquarium, which oh. has just had some really cute, um, like, uh, ocean, uh, cold stuff going on. Some, like, really, which is really cool. Were so, you thinking about a Meg Aquarium live stream by any chance? I mean, possibly. Because every time we've done a Meg Aquarium live stream so far, you've given me a massive raise during the live stream. Really? <laughs> As a live stream surprise. Yeah. Is that true? I believe so. It's a weird coincidence. No, I think the first time you the first time you did it was just because that's when you wanted to do it. And then you did it again as like a, a joke the next time we did Meg Aquarium. Okay, never mind. We'll cancel that live stream then. Hmm. <laughs> Okay, hang on, you're not. I bet can't be. Is that Let's outside? see. Well, Maxwell is also excited about the new Mega Aquarium DLC, and I will not hold you to having a new race but just because we're playing a funny game, uh, a fishy game. We probably could do with a new fire thing over here. Police is fine. This is fine. Let's give you some. Let's give you a few more. Yeah, you could definitely do with a few more big, large parks over here, just to make sure you know there's a nice park and everyone's satisfied you could do with just just a little park here just a small plaza somewhere around these parts just so like you know there's <laughs> entertainment capabilities there we go every make week. a queer of live stream every week <laughs> dear oh flipping dear tiny dog park just so you know mostly i said it to annoy john by the way i would like to reassure everybody that i do not only get raises and appraisals and reviews of working conditions during live streams that I am in fact very happy with the working condition. Lol. And I just want to mess with John. Dear oh flipping dear. <laughs> right, so we've set up a whole bunch of stuff here. This should now have, yes, this should now have uh, this has now got yes, access to healthcare. The garbage seems to be under control. It's got access to education. We could probably do with a new fire station covering this sort of an area. Probably because people do get upset if there is not coverage for this sort of an area. So how about we just put that down about here. And that will make a lot of people in this corner of the world happy. Also, how's telecoms? You know, telecoms is... Ooh, actually, telecoms is fine there. But we do absolutely need more telecoms around here. So we're just going to put... One at telecoms right about there. There is a little bit of a black spot at the top of the city, but honestly, it's we can deal with that. I think that's mostly just a tiny bit at the edge of the industrial, which I think is okay. And yeah, you guys just basically desperately want more low, uh, yeah, low density housing. And there is now there are schools, there's doctors, there's plenty to support all of you. So this is just going to be a really long, simple area here. 
And there we go. That should cover all of that demand over on this side. Beautiful. Clap. Oh, dear, oh, dear. Um, shout out to Chris, who's been a member for 10 months. Uh, and says, thank you for the stream. A quick question at this point. Would you go with Cities Skylines 2 over 1? Or should I wait for Paradox to work on it some more? I mean, I didn't put that much time into one. Like, I'm enjoying this because, I mean, I don't know. I may have already put more, uh, close to as many hours into two as one. Like, that's the thing. And, like, one, in some ways, is confusing because I moved, I came into it long after there was already so many bits of DLC and I didn't know which was important and, you know, which systems have been reworked. Like, because I'm moving in on this on the ground floor, it's easier for me to understand and follow it. So I'm having an easier time with it. But, like, that doesn't necessarily count. I wouldn't count my opinion as expert. Let's, let's just say that. That that seems like an excellent, uh, that seems like a decent enough, uh, yes, uh, thing to state. Uh, yes, indeed. And shout out to Andy, who uh, said thank you for uh, answering his uh, their question earlier. Uh, sorry, so thoroughly. Uh, and gave us uh, a pound. Uh, Hi, Dad. Hey, baby dog. Also, uh, Elana gave us uh, two pounds. I'm sure they'll be very happy to hear uh, anything from Ted. Oh, Ted. Uh, <laughs> and Elana said, I just arrived and WTF has John done to this city. <laughs> but also a little, art em a little heart emoji. Oh. Because they expect that from you. Dear Oflippy. And love dear. you nonetheless. Oh, dear, oh, dear. Maxwell says, um, having put 200... Uh, Oh, hi, Ted. Did hi, you all Ted. hear him uh, yawn? Dear, oh dear. Maxwell says, having put over 200 hours in one, the base of uh, City Skyline 2 is a lot better than the base of one, but with the mods and DLC, one is in a better shape at the moment. Yes. Which is just kind of, I mean, that's. I mean, that's kind of paradox you know, games. Like Crusader of Kings 3, words. you could argue, like, okay, there's stuff from 2 that's missing, but equally, there's stuff in 3 that you just couldn't impose on 2 now. Like, the lifestyle system is just really bloody good. I really, really enjoy that. I think it's great. Uh, and then we've got ourselves. Okay. This area down here. The only particular reason you guys are miserable. You're saying a high crime. You say high crime. Ted's going, Claire's going to just go and cuddle a dog. The squitches on the tunny. Well, there's plenty of police cars doing their rounds here. There is, yeah, one police station up there that should slowly be making these streets a little bit safer over here. Like, yeah, we've definitely got, in particular, there is a big crime hotspot in this industrial zone that's just got a bit wrong. Um, but I'm sure that's all absolutely fine. If we were to, in theory... Create a. Oh, that would be a really weird little path off this. I can't create a path off this very important road here purely to let the police get down to this area faster. That industrial zone is gonna just gonna have to deal. But yes, we are now up to yeah, a really well, this, incredibly. There's still a huge amount of demand for low for the low density. Huge amount of demand for that. Despite the fact that there's, there are definitely some that were empty. And some of these that are not happy. Like, you're saying there's demand for it. But, like, I'm, I'm not seeing I'm not seeing people, like, rushing to move into the abandoned low-density housing that already exists. You stupid bastards. And, okay. You say you're unhappy. Looking at this, actually, I think when the next person moves in, they will be very happy. Because, like, the when we actually find someone, yeah, someone who's actually present... Despite high crime, which I think is going to start going down, in general, the positives way outweigh the negatives. So I think the next people that move in are going to be happy. I think we're just waiting for people to just move in. And I think they'll be like, how can you be neutral? Look at this. Look at everything you've got. You've got so many things. You're, you should be so happy right now. We've got, oh, we might have water problems. Um, okay. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Yes. Shout out to Maxwell, who once again says he's They've put uh, over 200 hours in in uh, City Skylines 1. Ironically, John's city somehow looks better than most that I've built, and I hate him for it. Nice. <laughs> right. Groundwater pumping station number uh... three, but that should be about the limit of what we can pump out of this thing, to be honest. So that should sort out the, temp the water issues. 
we've got, but that should be about the the end of it. The power situation is... Oh, how on earth are we already almost out of power again? The city must be growing so bloody fast right now. Uh, ha, 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 ha. That's fine. Sorry, you need to be um, demolished to make room for even more cocking small power plants. The power situation is getting a little bit on the dicey side, and that can spiral out of control very quickly. But we've just got to accept what we've got. Yeah, just to keep the water and keep the power. So that should be absolutely fine. So that should yeah, get us into... Oh, great. Production is... Yeah, consumption is 105 megawatt. But, like, that's still not enough to justify going over to a new different, like, mega power plant that costs a million dollars to set up. That just would not be... Not the right thing to do. Clap! Uh, uh, yes, shout out to Psycho Purple who uh, gave us 10 pounds uh, and uh, wants to know if you're interested in Factorio. Have you played it? I love the channel. Thank you for keeping me company while I'm sick. And Claire, thank you for recommending The Goblin Emperor. It was great. It's my favorite book of all time. It's so good. I'm sure you've read that several times. I've seen that sitting. I've seen that sitting. Oh, yeah. Like, yeah. Like, I've read that. You know, like five times in, in I've three seen it years sitting, or something. I've seen, you, I've seen that it's sitting my around. It's comfort book by the bed. I've seen that sitting around so much. Yes, that doesn't surprise me. Oh, here's interesting. Uh, sorry, Factorio, do the thing you love to do. I've got great news for you, which is not only their videos about Factorio, but there was like famously like a 12-hour live stream that was just <laughs> me because Claire was away, where I attempted to demonstrate the value of infinite scalability by basically doing a challenge run of Factorio. So, yes, it's uh it, it was good times. It was it was good damn times. There's there's plenty out there. There's plenty out there for Factorio. If you enjoy me and you enjoy Factorio, then you are in good shape. Uh and uh, shout out to uh TBD in chat who wants to know why what does your city look like? It was d designed by Dr. Seuss. <laughs> it's a very good city, how Which dare you. Which is a very good compliment, I would it's say. It's a very good city, how dare you. And I think we have just about got ourselves right now just a little bit of demand for some even more lovely buildings. Let's get some nice EU buildings uh, set up right over here. I think this should be uh, uh, perfectly adequate right there. That should be more than enough space to deal with the high density demand uh, that just popped up. Just a little bit of EU buildings oh. that we're just going to put over here. It's just a little bit further out. That's going to be marvellous. Yes. Folks in chat remembering the uh, No Splitters live stream. Yes, that me. was the one. That was the one. There's a small bit of traffic over here, which is fascinating. It's... Yeah, this feels like that should be... You guys should not be getting the same priority as the main road that's passing by. You guys should be getting, like, a significantly lower level of priority. You know what we're going to do? We're we going to change... like a priority uh, well, what I was thinking. What I was thinking was, actually, we get rid of the... The... Uh, the traffic lights. And instead, we impose a... Stop. Well, I want a stop sign here. I want to give these guys the right of way. Was what I was thinking. Wait, which guys you want to get the right of way? Uh, the guys on the main route. I just want the main guys on the main route. But if we just get rid of traffic lights, then basically just whoever's got the most traffic will eventually just push their way. That should oh, just yeah, clear okay. their way clear their way through. Well, you see how it's weird when you say the main route and one of them is like a six lane and the other is You see, is I don't want stop lane. signs on... Because this implies that it will apply stop signs to the entire junction. Whereas what I want is to, I want these guys to have to stop and thus these guys to gain the predominant oh, right enough. of way. But that doesn't seem to be a thing... As can be. I mean, I don't know. Done. That seems to be working the way you've done it now. Like, I those mean, guys yeah. Are these guys are stuck waiting, and these guys get a lot more ability to move. So that's kind of what I was looking for. So that seems to be working. Just taking the traffic lights away seems to be easing the the burden over there. Out of interest, the college is. Oh, blimey, the college is up to, is getting not not at capacity, but like weirdly, the college has got more people in it than the high school, which feels backwards but okay that's that's fascinating I, i'm not sure precisely how said thing happened but it did and unfortunately yes the european high-rise buildings that are popping up are relatively disappointing 
because the cranes are not that high. Dear oh flipping dear. Uh, folks in chat asking, not related to cities, but what kind of mouse does John use? That is a very clicky wheel. Oh, it's a, it's a super old, it's a super old Logitech mouse. It's actually a really old, basic, crappy mouse. It's it's decades old. Vi you ever see it on Etsy? The list is vintage. It's it's a oh, very it's a very so old sad. mouse, but it just works for me. It works for my wrist, which is the important thing. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's one of those things where if you have a thing that works and you're like, would it be more work and more annoying to find a new model of it? that also works well for me long term mm. or would it be more annoying to just go on ebay and etsy and find the exact same and thing and find that someone works? who's yeah selling the exact same and thing all well, over again john's had his answer for about many what years. 20 years many years many years at this point <laughs> there is oh okay hang on do we really have that bad school coverage over here I did not realize we had terrible school coverage up at the top of the hexagon. Is, is it because the school's at capacity? Hang on. Where's... Must be, because there's, there's super big buildings. Where is the... Hang on. Give me... School view. Aha, there it is. I mean, it's saying it's not at capacity, so how on earth is... Wait, how is this building not Wait. servicing... That's Where's the capacity of it? Oh, students. Huh. Do okay. they struggle to get to it? Maybe. Is it? What? How is it fine with elementary, but it's needing secondary? Maybe. No, that's 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 just all very peculiar. Okay. Uh, attached clinic injury. More space for more pupils. I mean, if it's flagged in yellow, that suggests that, like you know, what you would like would be there. You go. Now Oof. it's back to green, and everyone was pretty happy with that. Maybe it just wanted a tiny bit more space, but that's very peculiar. How is that not... How on earth are you not affecting these people up here? Okay, I don't... I don't... I don't quite understand that, but... I mean, if right now... You guys have very little coverage for schools... And you guys have also a little cover. You know what? You can have an extra school. Is that elementary that you're yeah, putting? Yeah, just a basic or? elementary school. Just a basic elementary school. And I do not understand how on earth that situation actually occurred. Oh, maybe it's just a bit far. Like, yeah. Uh, capacity. Oh. What? Okay. College. Eligible 6,000. Capacity 1,000. But if the if the if the eligibility for college is six thousand, college over here. Well, the, why why is it not full up? Why are more people not attending? Okay, well expand it. There we go. Give give it more space and also give it a library. Just just stick a library on the back of it. There we go. New library. Better new and improved thing. Go. Um. You never did build a university, did you? No, nah, I can't afford it at the moment. I've only got ah, $800,000, so enough. I cannot do that right now. Mm. Uh, but I was just checking, like, you know, just overall, like, what the state of the city was in di various different levels. And police is under control, aside from, yeah, the weird section that just, there's just a tiny section in the, at the end of the spiral, which we can't do much about. Fire is, oh, you know what? Would you guys like to have a fire thing? I mean, the problem is it literally only covers that because of, of the nature of the spiral. Actually, if I... Hang on. If I put... If I'm able to fit it in, like... On the same... I'm just going to put it in the same dumb road we put the flipping police station. And come on. You want to you wanna fit in here. You want, you want to fit in there. Overlapping items. Doesn't quite want to fit. Doesn't quite. Actually, it can go to the other side. It can go. It can go. The, it can go the same stupid alley as the police station is. And boom. Everyone's very happy that there's now coverage in the event they catch fire. Everyone's very. Gee, I everyone's, wonder why everyone's they are happy. Super, everyone's just super happy about that. And everyone also desperately wants corking low-density residential housing. 
Because when do they not fucking want low density residential housing? What a bunch of bastards. Is there, um, can you, can you zoom out? And yeah, your, uh, little, uh, Mickey Mouse he ears at the bottom. Yeah. Is there any room in there for more low density? It might be the tiniest, oh, tiniest fair. bit, but it's really not much. Like, oh, I, I could probably enough. squeeze a little bit more in over here. Well, you haven't bought that bit. I bought this this bit that belongs to oh, me. Oh, yeah. I can expand a tiny, tiny amount. We're, we're just desperately scratching for space at the moment but i could just about pull that off at least so yes we can we can get you into uh into position so it's not it's not much and i think possibly it might be well it's not it's not spring but bare minimum it's at least not actively snowing so I'm, I'm sorry some people are annoyed that i just knocked down their houses it's the cost of progress you bastards here you go everyone's just desperate Immediate cranes. Immediate. Everything's just built with cranes. Even like single small shacks are built with cranes. There is nothing that is not built with a crane. The snow is just retreating. I think though it is still winter. It's uh, it's it's, it's a mild December by the Luke's yop. It's, it's going to be a very mild December. Do I have anything very small I can just buy with one, just one a point? Something nice and cheap I could buy with. Oh, an emergency battery station. Now that strikes me as hello sexy the game says i have a great town an awesome town getting me high density business yes yes and next up is high density officers yes officers that yeah, th that, that thing, thing i my town that loves. thing that thing i famously need so much of i've got like three over here and i think some of them are just like not really used for much at the moment it's it's no they've they've all gone that's that. There low are density housing. Low density housing. Low density housing. That's actually very sensible. These the, these idiots aren't cooking. Do anything with their cooking space right now. Literally, there is no demand for officers. I do not Ooh, know what's could happening. Could you do like a business park with the high density business housing, like maybe here? That's what we do. That's where we're harvesting trees. That's a tree. That's oh, a tree fair enough. Fair enough. Fair enough. My bad. What I would like to do, however, is if I could just get a tiny bit of uh yeah business in. Is I wouldn't mind trading out some of these small businesses especially around the center for big businesses like i'd like i'd like some big businesses yeah, find a small center. business that's not doing as good exactly and then just a few more this oh you see hotels movie theaters concert Oof. halls theaters fitness centers department stores well i mean we do need some place for ian mckellen to uh you know play i just think all of this around the center i just want like around the central hexagon to be like the big shit and I feel like, you know, sooner or later someone's going someone's gonna come and say hi to that. Someone's gonna someone's gonna be okay with that noise. Did you rezone it or did you just I rezoned it? Of, oh, is that what gets rid of the Yeah, and that it makes them it makes them condemned because they're no longer allowed to be there. Mm. So as a result, and you know what? I think we can I think I know precisely what we're gonna do as a result of that, as the cash situation is currently excellent. We are going to say for is recreation do you think like entertainment can you, recreation can you click on the names and does it say anything ah fuck it let's just let's just two percent tax cut for everyone two percent tax cut for everyone that should lead to a little bit of increase in interest and you guys are, oh come on let's have some big buy buildings. university you have loads of money huh you have loads of money buy a university I do have loads of money, and I could buy a university. Are you just not doing it to annoy us now? Okay, fine. I'll build you a university. Thank you. One mass... Oh, cock me. I don't know if I've got space for a university. We might need to... Also, I'm more concerned about the fact that my college is apparently massively... I'm, I'm more interested in the college. That apparently my... I should have way more colleges. Like, this is... I don't understand. If there's 6,000 people that want to get in, why is it not full? Why is it not full already? We need to actually build... We need to buy a new bit of the town in order to fit a cocky university in. Just to kind of make it fit. Well, buy the one that's like over there where you've got like a hall. Huh? Go to the right-hand side. Oh, you mean by the poo hole? Yeah, good good shout. No, I meant over here. Yeah, but that's... that's that needs to be by the hexagon. Okay, fine. It needs to be by the hexagon, I think. Um... You know what? I think we could have a little area over here. I think I could deal with that. I think this this could be like a big uh, this could be a big education center. Um, 
Yes. Public Transit John College Student Support. Maybe do a bus that goes to the college. A bus, you say? Uh, yeah. <laughs> What's a bus? Interesting idea, certainly. Oh, uh, yeah. Right, so we'll just have you here. I mean, uh, I assume they... Like, I don't know how transportation... The um, the chat was interested mouse. in your ancient mouse and wanted to know if it was old enough to be a ball rolling mouse. Or no, no, it does have a laser pointer. It does have a laser pointer. Just all right. It's not. It's not quite that bad. I think we're gonna have to have yeah, like we're gonna have to have the uh, the, the university is gonna have to be out in the middle of uh, out in the middle of everything here. It's just out in the middle of nowhere. So we're gonna have that. That's officially an uh, over overlapping item. Don't know what's overlapping. And then you take a tram to it. Because obviously, there and then about we two go. tram stops from the university, there's an IKEA, and you can go have meatballs at lunchtime. There we go. We've got university. I suspect it's going to struggle slightly with recruiting uh, students. Get buses. <laughs> well, we have buses. Well, it... get them to go to the college and the university, though. Do they you have know, stops okay. there? Okay, you know what? That's that's Let's okay. Let's try it. It'll be interesting to see. Connect connect bus stops to create. Okay, so I need to first things first. I need to just set up a giant pile of uh, bus stops. So we just kind of you know, have like you know a few bus stops around here. Doesn't need to be many because people can get to them nice and easy. So you know we can have one over here. If it kind of if it makes stars, then you kind of know it's like you know doing its if it's doing its job correctly. And have like you know. One over here, for example. We can have one over here. We can have, like, you know, one right in the center. Right here, one in the center on the other side, next to all those big buildings. That was a good one. That was a good one, obviously. We should also presumably have, like, you know, one over here as well. Like, one over here. And maybe one over here. Wow, it seems like people really love these. And there's already some bus stops over here. Well, this is, I think this is more, that's the area this impacts. Rather than necessarily, I love this shit. And then obviously, there's going to need to be one outside of the education facilities that we just actually laid out. So, you know, round over to there, up to the university, right here. And now, we simply, having just built those, now we connect them together to create a bus line. So no no we don't we don't we're not doing an external bus line. We're going to say yeah we're going to start the route here and we're just going to make it uh rock in to town though probably the best thing to do would be yeah make it do the do make it do the circle. Make it make it do the spiral. So no to you. And then we're gonna go out to from here to you to you to you to you, to you. We already do a bus route that kind of does a very similar to this route here. And then from there, it's going to go to here, to here, to here, to the college. It can just kind of go there. That's fine. And then kind of, you know, loop into the middle of town to pick up some of these people. Then it can go back to the college on its way past. And finally, back to... Wait, no, it started here, didn't it? Complete route. Okay, so that is now a brand new bus route. Uh, so that's now complete. So now go to here. We've got... Put a bu bus stop at the welfare office. That's a really good point from Molly. Uh, and this is University Bus. I don't know if it needs it because people don't go to that. They it simply do people not go to the welfare office. I do not know to... if people actually go to the welfare. Oh office. yeah, I mean I guess they do go to the welfare office in real life. But, but yeah. I think in this game, the, the I think I think it simply benefits the area around it. I do not know if people actually go to it because it does not include the number of people attending it or anything. So that, as that data doesn't exist. I don't know if that actually exists in any meaningful way, I'm afraid. 
and in the meantime... People are very amused at the fact you made one giant bus line. Yes, one a huge bus line that's going to get everybody to where they need to go. Mm -hmm. All right, that's that's what's going that's what's going to happen. University bus line. There's only three buses on that. Usage is zero. I'm going to change its color to a nice hot pink right there. Bus line one was simply that was that was the spiral line. That was the spiral bus. That's just, that was just helping people move around the spiral. It just went round and round and around the spiral. Uh, it didn't it didn't do much. But it, it, yeah, but it's like you it, you already have the spiral bus. So why don't you get people to off of the spiral bus and go on the university bus instead? Well, they can do that. Yeah, but they do, um, fine. the spiral bus gets them back earlier to a point in the spiral earlier. Ah, uh, yes. Okay. It, it, if they just want to get around to an earlier point in the spiral, then they can do that. That's that's why the spiral bus exists. Helps it helps people get around the spiral nice and easily. Uh, Molly is amused that uh, the welfare office now works at one hundred and seventeen percent efficiency. One hundred percent is the baseline, which feels really weird. So, like most bit, like if a building is working at ninety eight percent efficiency, something's gone horribly wrong. If a building is working at one hundred and five percent efficiency, that's normal. It's very uh, peculiar. Yes, and Mo Molly says, uh, "What a, a magical and unrealistic number, lol." <laughs> I'm sure it's all fine. Hi, buddy. Hi, Ted. Ted. Oh, are you being a good boy? Are you doing a good boy set? Ted. Are you thinking that maybe it's time to go and sit in front of the telly and have cuddles? Okay, if I reduce your tax rate to 2% business, would you please build big buildings for me? I'm just wanting you to build a big building. That's all I want you to do. Because to be honest, we did demolish some businesses that were doing pretty well. Yeah, they were doing. And now they we were don't want to be, uh, you know. Which the right now there's just empty space in the town square, and you were supposed there's supposed to be, be big all buildings. Faced about it. There's supposed to be big buildings. Yeah, but n now there's zero uh, commercial demand, even though you've yeah. Taxes, local demand, hotel demand, labor availability, gas station availability. Mm. Okay. Is, is gas, gas station, station is gas station a very? I don't think I can build those. What I might be able to do is like give them a massive tax cut. Uh, chemicals, recreation, or is it type is it a type of industrial? I mean that's vehicle production, presumably not a, a gas specifically. I mean there's vehicle vehicle. Okay. I, I I'm willing to I'm willing to pay you. I'm willing I'm subsidizing commercial for the time being. Subsidize oh hang on, there's also Okay, rather conveniently there is also a tiny tiny bit of interest in uh mega buildings. Which if I was to just build one tiny mega building, that might create a very large amount of demand all of a sudden. So that might be able to, to do that. So if I put you to there, yes. We're just going to knock down some of the smaller buildings and put up some real high-density shit in their place. Oh, that's it. Look at that. Giant nice crane. crane. Giant crane appears. Now that giant crane is going to generate a fuck ton of demand nearby, which is going to generate a fuck ton of, uh, yeah, commercial demand. I think commercial's already ticking up, look. It's already ticking up a little bit, but it's going to be enough to take it to kick off a big... Look, this is, this is prime fucking real estate. Get in here, guys. All right, this this place. Oh, here it comes. It's starting to appear. It's starting to appear. Cheap and random. Amazing. And fatty bite. <laughs> I wanted like the Ritz. <laughs> I wanted to the Ritz, and I got fatty bites. And cheap and random. Up, uh, amazing. Absolutely amazing. I mean, at least we're going to get a nice. At least we're going to get a nice building, and that that should trigger some demand nearby. That should trigger some. That should trigger some demand nearby. I can't believe we've got cheap and random and fatty bite. I, I wanted Harrods, not cheap and random. <laughs> the fuck is this? This is this is unacceptable to me. Unacceptable, and I I feel like there should be a huge amount of demand. Like, right, if I, like, in theory, if I was to build, if I was to build, yeah, like, the, the really elite shit here. Like, this is, this is good real estate right next to a huge amount of really good stuff. I feel like this, this should be lept on. By, oh, hang on, that's, that's, some, that's, that might be enough space for something a bit bigger. That can be the big stuff. If anything big happens to show up, you guys can have that. It's just, hang on, this is, I think, I think, cheapen. 
cheap and random it has indeed. Can it's... we see it from the street? I think it's like just like an, an even bigger multi-story like. I think it's like a mega. Like maybe it's got a few. I mean, technically not offices from this game's point of view, but yes. maybe it's like it's got like the offices of the managers and like the storage rooms and stuff up up there. I mean, we've, we do have, hang on, I think, is this, these are the buildings that just finished up, by the way. We've now got 92 and 106 and Guns, Burgers and Baseball Street. So that's generated, that's generated a bunch of, that's generated that's a bunch of. 216 households. Yeah. That's, that's generated. Oh, 49 dogs versus 63 nice. over in this one. These, these apartments look a little bit nicer. Yeah. A little bit nicer, well, perhaps. Money. Are they two different colorways, or is it just that one is highlighted? No, I think it's, they're, they're, they're for these still slight, slight color oh, variants cool. there. And there's, oh, hang on, here's, here's Fatty Bite. It is literally just a, a seven-story burger joint selling almost meat. <laughs> this is, this is not what I was hoping for in, in many ways. This, this isn't, this isn't oh, what I was dear. after. This is, this is, this is not what I was after. But on the plus side, for some reason, there is a mysteriously suddenly... A, a jump in demand for the, the, the elite mega buildings, which should generate buildings around them to be better. Like, it should generate buildings nearby to be, to just, there should what just be. What about those other spots you just uh, rezoned? Huh? The little ones. What about those little sp spots you just zoned? Whether they're going to spawn anything or not, yeah. I don't know. They may be too small for the buildings that grow. Yeah, then yeah. Again, Fatty just... Bar didn't look that big. Didn't look that big at all. So Which we... is funny because it's called Fatty Bite. Mm. Sounded a lot like Proto Chunks. Mm. Yeah. Oof. It does actually. There we go. Get rid of you. Let's get some new bigger buildings in play right now. And just. just... <laughs> Fatty Bite and Cheap and <laughs> Random. Absolutely cocking amazing. That that's, that's what's. That's, that's what's happening right now. Okay. You know what? Even, even more subsidies. Even more subsidies. All right, commercial, 5%. I, I pay you to move into the town. I pay you. There we go. That's, we just, we'll, we'll, we'll get rid of it as soon as they're in. We'll yeah, get, we'll yeah, get, yeah. we'll get rid of it. It's fine. Let's get, something's being built here. We don't know what it is yet. Short markets. That sounds more interesting. Free stack books. It's a Woo! giant bookstore. It's, it's a big bookstore. It's a big bookstore. Now that is cool. Yeah, I think. And then when you've bought a bunch of books, you can go get a greasy burger at Fatty Bite. That's oh, so I quite like that. Yes, there's the, now the extended elementary school between these giant structures. And Feels those, like a weird those place. like sad little build, the sad little building in between the very tall ones. Yeah, they're not even that small. They're no, a I mean the one that's people. in between the oh, two really big ones. Yes, the very small erection. That's true. <laughs> So at the end, I believe, I think this might be, I think it looks like that over there, I think is the tallest building. 76 Belmont Street, I think is as tall as it gets. I'm pretty sure it's taller than 129 in Magnolia there. Does it tell you the number of floors 216 versus 216. No? Doesn't say the number of floors, no. Oh, well. But this one actually has more residents, but maybe they're the same. It looks to me like trying to flatten out the camera as best I can. But that looks like that's taller to me. I think that's taller. Uh, are they the same building but in a different colorway? Because they have the no, same think... shape on top. I mean, I mean, I guess a lot of them have a little square on top. No, I think this is definitely bigger. I think mm. that's definitely bigger right there. Though. Oh, hang on, no, we did get something. They, we did actually get, we did get. There's, there's another phrase stack box, and that's a really cocky big pharmacy. Boots. That's a ridiculous. Boots. That's boots. a ridiculous. Boots. That's a ridiculously large boots. Right there. So that's that's what we're heading towards right here. We've got plenty more. Oh, they're actually all being built now. We can we can take away the subsidies as soon as they're up. As soon as as soon as they're done, we can take yeah, away. Yeah, other people are saying they think it's the uh, same building in a different color. I mean, maybe, but I swear it looks okay. If I go over to this one, okay. If I go over to this, I look at this one and I think this one looks bigger. Like it's not a perspective trick. So if I go to this one, look at and try and like. And try to arrange the camera so that the roof is flat, suggesting I am a level to the floor, high to the roof. Because if the ca if I 
if I move the camera like this until such time as I cannot see the fl the roof as a three-dimensional object, that suggests I am the camera is adjacent to the thing. Yeah, I mean it's still it's still a bit of a perspective thing. But... Whereas if I do the same trick over here, mm. it's it's taller. Okay, somebody. Okay, someone pause the video and count the floors. There's floors number one, and here's building number two. All right, count the. Fl Someone pause the video and count the oh, floors. Oh, somebody's saying that the one that you say is taller is just literally on higher ground. Oh, uh, okay, that 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 would that would okay. That's that's reasonable. That's 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 a reasonable possibility. That that could be the case. Yes, that's that's fair. Anyway, uh, <laughs> are those buildings built yet? Do we know what uh, what showed up? What uh, industry showed up? Uh, we've definitely got ourselves the short market just appears to be just a big market of some description phrase stack books is a cock ton of books mm. uh, That is residential with just a little boutique at the bottom, which is delightful I'm also demolishing all the businesses in the center. We've now got a ton of demand coming in off my uh, Off my bits and pieces. Uh, there's another pharmacy Two, pha two pharmacies and a phrase uh, stack box. I see this is the French Quarter. All the pharmacies are in here. Good, good. Nothing but cocking pharmacies, by the way. I've least. discovered that France has a lot of... That, that it's apparently a famous thing that we just have a cock ton of pharmacies in well, France. Well, they also just advertise with that very distinctive blue glimmery light thing. Yeah, the green cross thing. Yeah, yeah the green... Yeah, the, 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 yes, the green, the green distinctive thing that's very, very distinctive indeed. So that's certainly true. I think we just, in general, have more little pharmacies yes. and fewer like big boots. Yeah, that that kind of make that kind of makes sense. But yeah, I just kind of wanted the I just wanted the the, the central the central hexagon to be, be a little bit more impressive in the central town. So if you come to the center of town, you can grab yourself a fatty bite. Ignore the ignore the fire in the background. <laughs> uh, have yourself a fatty bite. Grab yourself a new shirt from cheap and random. You can go to. I think that's like Ikea, but like for some reason... Scandic Barrow. But, but really like tiny Ikea. I don't oh. know why Ikea is... Why like the Ikea is like the tiniest thing in the world. And then we're just going to get all these buildings set up right here. And there should be plenty of... There should be no shortage of customers. Because there's all these things right here. There is uh, tiny toys. There we go. Oh, that's cute. These are, these are very... I mean, I think this was supposed to be the European style. These buildings feel kind of very boxy American style to me. Yeah, seriously. These, these do not feel... These do not feel like... Uh, these don't feel like European buildings. But, um... Well, somebody was saying in chat this whole... Like, this whole... Um, this whole game is just very brutalist kind of thing. Yes. I guess because, obviously, if you're setting up grids and you want buildings to fit into any particular location, then having them be a very regular shape and just be a box makes that much easier also, to do. Also, if all the buildings were, like, all, all, like, you know, personal hotels, like, in Paris, the game would never stop with the shaders. Teak Stool Co. Oh. And also, hang on, then we've got O Furniture. That's good. And also the incredibly generic Something and All. <laughs> For your literally anything needs. That's the Wilco's. Yep. That's damn, the Woolworth. Damn straight. Hey, shout out to Jonathan who gave us a hundred Canadian dollars. Best dollars and a lot of them too. Thank you so, so much. Uh, Agent West uh, just counted and they're both 53 levels. Thank you. Thank you, Agent West. Uh, Jonathan says, uh, Hey, John and Claire, I can't say how much your content has entertained me and helped me through rough times. Thank you so much for everything you do. Merci beaucoup. Oh, merci beaucoup to you too. Yes, indeed. Okay, and now that all the buildings are up, including the comic book store. Nice. There we go. That's, Treasure that's, Trove. That's a large comic book store. Treasure Trove Comics right there. Well, we did literally zone it. I its... guess it has a, a Carpoco paper mill over the top of it. Yeah, maybe it literally right to produces its own comics. That's how nice. comic book stores work. We may now cancel the flipping. We can we now bring you guys back to 6% tax. That seems eminently reasonable. You may uh, now... You're not going to get re-elected. And the commercial thing. Actually, you know what? It didn't completely collapse. It's still there a little bit. So you know what? That's that's still it's still working out just fine. So oh this is 
Okay, so this is a bit of a mess. But Hexagon City is yeah. is a bright and shiny, sexy, exciting place. There's even all these big American buildings on Guns, Burgers and Baseball Street, which is just absolutely cocky delightful. Oh, Ivatsu has a grand opening on Spruce Street. Ooh. I don't know what that is, but... Uh... Oh, that, they, they, this just constantly spurts, spurts No, out I know it is, of... but I was just wondering if that was part of... No, that's Broad Street. That's not Spruce, is it? Uh, well, oh, they the, the, way, the way names. the streets work, like this street is also oh, these wow. these are all the same street, but this is its own street, and this is this street oh. goes one way but not the other, and Broad Street goes all the way round here, and Broad Street does that. Come on, Broad Street. The the, the Broad 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 Street goes a long way actually. It's there's the the way the streets like divide or don't is wild in this game. It's kind of wild. Uh, so yeah, we've actually got ourselves. I think, you know, if you come down here, center of town, there's this lovely walkway that no one uses because I don't think people go into a place just to utilize the resources. They only go somewhere when they're trying to get somewhere. So this 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 area is completely empty. Like I don't. That looks a little creepy. Which is kind. Of, which empty, is kind. Of, which yeah. is, I mean, it's also it's a very wide for this is a pedestrian walkway. It's like, okay, it's a very wide pedestrian walkway. You're just in the center of town. You've got the skyscrapers. You've got the backs of all the businesses. This is where the deliveries come, even if no children want to play, which is, you know, kind of sad. Uh, we've actually got, you know, some proper big structures. You've got the skyscrapers around here. And then just outside there, you've got all, you've got suburbia right here. The roads are nice and wide. They're all working beautifully. You've got the big educational facilities uh, right on the edge of what the cock just happened to the high density demand. The high density demand Whoa. is... The high density demand just skyrocketed which i am a-okay with because we know precisely where that can go that can go in a you know what this is that's that's a big enough space that we can give it a a proper little neighborhood that can do with a bit of a boost just to help out the old commercial right here so you can have like i think you can have this and this and you know what? we're going to put it side by side we're going to put that over to north american we're going to put a north american right next to the eu we're gonna we're gonna race them. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna we're gonna flip in. We're gonna flip in race them, right there, oh just God. to see what happens. Yes. Apparently, another viewer has uh, counted and got a, a different number than fifty-three for both. So they are conducting a recount. Oh dear! Oh, this, it's contentious. Uh -huh. It's flipping contentious. There is mult. There are multiple recounts occurring. Uh huh. Amazing! I love it. And yeah, these buildings, even though we kind of lured them here into false pretenses, the efficiency is currently not spectacular, but the level is already good. And they've got a lot of, like, they cannot possibly have uh, problems with customers. We know that this is a bit of a problem, so this is not necessarily accurate. But, oh, this is, there's, are you new? You were the ones that just got built? I'm not sure if you were the ones that, one of the ones that just got built right there. We've definitely got more and more, uh, more and more structures popping up in the center over here. Some of those are, oh, that's some, that's some high cranes. Ooh, that's some, nice. that's some good high cranes. Okay. So we're literally for the first time going to have uh, European buildings and North American buildings directly competing. Uh, oh, so that's definitely the, North that must be the European because that was the, well, I feel like the European versus North America does not make a huge amount of difference. Well, I was going to say, are you sure these two are not the North American and then the European? That over? could, this could be the European and that could be the North American. That, that does not feel like the super high density. No, I mean, that, I mean, that, that feels pretty high density. That's like, I mean, you know, you're right. It's 48 people, which is not huge amount. Yeah, the one that currently has the... The blue on top, like this guy. Yeah. That's definitely a high density. Yes. I just meant the small one next to it. Oh, and Cherry Street is Cherry Street is, is huge. Cherry Street is ridiculously huge. And even though, yes, because I just put the taxes back up, this has not generated additional commercial demand for the simple reason that, um, yes, the, the, the taxes have been slightly raised recently. So as a result of that. But equally, we're, we're filling these buildings up. I say we're filling these buildings up. Right now, no one lives in them. But like, yeah, I think they I think they take a little bit of time to decide they want to move in. Also, this one's at full capacity. So surely this one's got to like, I don't know why this one's got one person in. And this person's this, one, this one's got 138. Like this, this person's just got, they, they, they've just got the place one, to themselves. Two. Just got the place to themselves. 
142 dogs to go with that place. Nice. Um, and also, we have now officially been streaming for six hours. Okay, then we should probably, <laughs> when this building wraps up, Quite, this is quite it's a quite a compelling game is city sky oh yes of course it is it's... i'm not complaining i'm just letting you know because somebody let me know in chat and i was like wow lol oh this i is... would not have said six hours if you'd asked me it's quite a, it's quite i pleasing. mean to be fair time has no meaning because it's ADHD, quite but... it's quite pleasing from above isn't it yes it is, it looks much less stupid now yeah we've still got we've still got the that two slightly uneven boobs like slightly two uneven boobs and then we've got Hexagon Town, which is actually, I think... Yeah, that's lovely. ...actually working. Like, it actually looks quite I good. I mean, and except it seems for the Maple be... Street in the middle, which, like, it seems really to be... should be going somewhere. Yeah, but... we should really have, yeah, like, taken advantage of the opportunity to, like, put Maple Street straight through mm. so that some pedestrians might use it. But I'm not sure, like, how pedestrians, how people choose to make their journeys work in this game. Whether, like, in the event... That they can, like, they, if they work somewhere nearby, whether they walk there, if they walk to nearby shops, or if, like, because America, like, everyone takes their car to everything, and that's just what happens all the time. Those well, I mean, they have to have people going through them, otherwise it wouldn't give you pedestrian streets. No, that's, that's fair. That's fair and reasonable. I think what we might want to do is try, yes, is put another college in, because I'm just deeply worried, education-wise... The the what yeah the university there's 290 people in it the the cost is the cost is, the, the capacity is 2,000 so that's absolutely a okay but for some reason it's the college that's really causing us trouble and the game's not suggesting there is any benefit to it being one place or another so in which case we could just kind of you know slap it up here in the education quarter right next to the university it could be like a feeder college yeah that's, that's fine. I'm okay with that. Like, the entire town acts like they're happy it exists. So, like, does this now generate... I mean, now we can have rival football games between the colleges. That's true. That's that's very true. Though I feel like some people might at some point start pointing out the slight unfairness that both the colleges and the high school and the university are all around Hexagon City and no one else gets anything, like, at all. And the high school is, it's flagged in, it is flagged in yellow. Like it could do with, uh, well, if it's flagged in yellow, then you can have an extra building to make it go green. Yellow suggests to me you want more. You've already got everything. You want a college library? I thought we already gave you a college library. It already does have a college library next then to it. Then it doesn't need another library, probably. Is anyone even jumping into this? Three people at the moment, but it does seem to take a bit of time. I was quite enjoy how, yes, these produce, like, quite a bit of noise pollution, apparently. But that's fine. We put them next to a, um... Hang on. What were you again? Oh, that was the... Cheap and random. Oh, cheap and random. This is where they grow the cotton that they sell in the giant cheap and random store. What? Cheap and random, random is a cotton store? Well, they own a cotton farm and they use it to make their own clothing. Oh, wow, okay. Well, that's kind of cool. I didn't realise that. That's awesome. That that's actually a thing. Oh, I like that. That's super cool. They they actually own apparently yes they like uh they own their own they they own their own cotton farms mm -hmm. that they use to produce the cotton that they utilise and blimey that area we built up has exploded. That is that is that that non-stop buildings all the time. So okay, I think these must be the Europeans with the slightly more to the side. Like, you know, side saddle buildings. These must be the Americans. Mm. So they actually hold the same number, but the Americans just a tiny bit on the, the taller side, aside from this one. That one looks very distinctly American to me. That one looks more American. Yeah. To me. But yeah, I can see this one looks a little bit more can European. You, can we see it from the street side? Oh, as... Uh... As uh, Lil Simsy would say, the lighting's terrible on this lot. Uh huh. Well, it's just that it's the wrong time well, of no, day. Well, no, I know it is the wrong time of day. Hello, baby Hello, dog. Hello, Ted. So oh, okay. Yes, you are a good boy. 
I think we should probably start wrapping up there, have a little bit of food, and give a dog a cuddle. Though, yes, uh, Laurie's Lentils is also doing well, FYI. They've immediately jumped up to level two. Uh, Laurie's aren't. Lentils is doing is doing excellent business, selling convenience food that obviously is... That'll be a veggie joint. But yeah, the whole thing, there is there is an entire... that We've already discussed it in the stream. There is an entire production chain system in this That's game. That's cool. Like, you know, if you... For example, if you are growing, like, you know, we've got grain farms over here. Uh, that produce, yeah, it's this side, the grain farm. So this, yeah, Flowers Flowers produces grain. If grain is available locally, mm -hmm. then factories will utilize it to produce beverages. They'll ship the grain, to, they'll ship the grain to them and then make beverages. The beverages will be shipped to beverage stores. Hello, Ted, he's come under the sofa, uh, the chair to come say hi. They'll ship that to beverage stores and they'll be sold. And if you're producing it all locally, it all just works a lot better. You're supporting local businesses, it's all cheaper, it makes everyone make more profit everyone's happier and flowers flowers is almost at five out of five they are killing it because they have got like there's a massive deficit of flour so their flour is just so much cheaper than the imported flour everyone's willing to buy it and they're doing really well so fyi what the child wants you to do now is to recreate boston based on your knowledge of fallout <laughs> is boston even a map in this game I don't know. Hi, Ted. Hey, okay, Ted's oh. decided. Ted's decided he wants attention. Yeah, Ted, Ted, is, Ted is giving us the paw, Ted is which is the ultimate. Uh, Ted, I would like Ted some. Ted has at uh, this point declared it is now. attention you know. time. Ted has just simply just declared, "Okay, excuse me, you are not paying enough attention to me. Please attention now. Thank you." I mean, this face. Yeah. He is so cute. He is a little sweetheart. I wonder how the flipping garbage collection's doing. Do we just like set that up and just like let them get on with it? And they're still not even bothering to use three of their trucks. This is and uh, the stored garbage is place from the city. Garbage processing speed depends on buildings and extensions. Well, they've they've got plenty of stored. They're the real heroes of this town. What yeah. can you say? They've just got this giant giant. Oh yeah, you did give them a massive dump. I gave them a huge dump. I gave them a, a huge dump. And if it ever gets too much, they can just... Okay, I'm going to be honest. Poo, the poo hole is completely full and it's filling up again now. We may have to dig a bigger poo hole. I feel like in many ways this might just be a temporary solution to the to the problems we've, we've got. <laughs> We're protecting the ocean from the poo. We're protecting the ocean from the poo. That's the important thing. I think we should, yes, wrap things up there, ladies and gentlemen, and go and have some dinner. But, oh, yes. Yeah, I've got a couple more that just came in oh, from yes. Urban Cohort, who has been a member for 71 months and also gave us $6.66. Nice. Uh, and says, if you vote for me, I will build another road, a new road, a road that goes clockwise, a road that has driving in two directions. All the roads go clockwise. It's the anti-clockwise that will be the strange, suspicious one. Hi, Ted. He's literally yes, collapsed under my feet now. And uh, Urban Cohort also says, yes, John, I'd be very interested in how you recreate Boston. Not like I'm a native of the place or anything, winky face. The problem is all my knowledge is from Fallout and Fallout, everything's shrunk down yeah. hugely. Like, hugely shrunk down, so... Well, oh, you know what? Hexagon City's so good. It's actually working. Hexagon City's actually sort of working, which is so fun. And just every time the opportunity shows up, to make some nice, like, huge high-density housing. We're just like, yep, shove it in, shove it in, shove it in. Let's make, let's go, let's make it happen. And just, you know, just creates nice opportunities for more commercial down the line, which is just delightful. We're on, hang on, am I in European style? Yeah, I'm always, I was already on European style, the best style, which is excellent. Just get some of that in play. Oh, just slowly replacing some of, just letting all the big buildings be in the centre just to help support the local businesses, etc, etc. Life is good. Life is good. This is, this is delightful. Hello. Ted is, okay, Ted's getting more, more aggressive with his, no, pay attention to me, not the magic box. And by box. aggressive, we mean cute. Yes, he's aggressive, he's aggressively thrusting his cuteness in our faces and now would like us to come and cuddle him on a sofa and stop playing with the magic box. So that's what we're going to do. But uh, yes, I would not be surprised if this comes back in a couple of weeks or something because, uh, oh yeah, this is, this is a good time. This is a good time. We're up to, hang on. Yeah, we've just hit in towns. 
So we've got we're kind of... Great town now. Yeah, we're a great town. Small city oh, is up next. Dun, then we're up dun, to, dun. you know, oh, we did to figure out what the cock officers are. Big city fascinating doesn't cocky do anything, which, wow. No, they don't tell you. I oh, think. did you not tell you? It uh, seems to me like it's just not telling you, it's right? It's a mystery. You can know maybe the only next know what the next. Yeah, yeah, maybe you only know what the next one is. Okay, so we don't know what's coming up, but like I think at some point, yes, in the next live stream when we do this, we might have to deal with the possibility of uh, John attempts to make a train system work in this, and yeah. also boats, maybe even airports. Oh blimey, there's there's a lot, a lot we could flip into. So, uh, all right. We're going to call it apart right there. We're going to wrap things up. We're going to go and have some food. We're going to go cuddle some dogs. Thank you very, very much for joining this evening. Thank you very much to the Super Chat Nets. You've been very generous this evening. And thank you very much to everyone for just coming along, keeping us company, having some fun uh, with us today. We've got a whole bunch of fun stuff coming up. We've got a little Halloween special coming up on uh, Saturday is the plan right now. There's a whole bunch of new releases coming up over the next few weeks. A whole bunch of new stuff coming up too. All usual fallouts as well. And of course, all usual star fields. Some very fun stuff. I'm loving star fields. Star fields great. So, okay. All sorts of bits and pieces coming along too. Thank you very much for joining us. Hopefully you're looking forward to that. Hopefully we see you next week. And uh, yes, uh, next week maybe be Uh I don't know. Because that is back. That does come out uh, over the next week. So I might bring that back. We'll have to see. Uh, there's a few of the bits and pieces I want to do to it. At some point, I, I want to bring, I want to do another crowd control charity stream as well because that was great fun and they uh, they have hooked Elden Ring into it. So you could you could just spawn Melania's at to me. So yes, uh, all sorts of fun bits and pieces coming up soon. Hopefully you can forward to that and uh, yeah, hopefully we see you next week too. But in the meantime, I've been John. I've been Claire. That's been Ted, Ted over, over there. there. There's been many a true note and this has been the delightful City Skylines too. Thank you very much and have fun. Two way roads.